BFAB Super Chat Number 10,643. That's what it'll be. It'll be until we hit. We, we might finish just in time for one uh, or 200. Maybe. BFAB 200. And then it'll reset. <laughs> like, for fuck's <laughs> sake. No! We'll never have a free Wednesday ever again. Wednesday's a myth. Never truly existed. It's only catch up day. Catch up day. Alrighty, that's working, like, that's working. Catch up day. <laughs> you like your catch up, don't you, mortal? Quirch up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is the best condiment? My ass. Mm. Um, mm. Sauce? No, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Really? Huh. I like soy sauce. I, I wouldn't put soy sauce very high. Um, a barbecue like sauce is a pretty darn good one, though. Yeah, um, that's up there for me. I do like barbecue sauce. That's up lot. there. Yeah, barbecue sauce is it called, is great. Um, is it called brown sauce for you guys over there in your respective areas, or is it called something else? I don't we think don't so. really have. We don't. I don't really have brown oh, wait. sauce over here. I was about to say, wait. I mean, a different sauce, not barbecue, because we have barbecue. We also have ketchup, and we have brown sauce. Yeah, brown sauce is great. <clears throat> I've never seen up? brown sauce in a in a shop here ever. But you know what I'm brown referring sauce. to, do you? Oh yeah, so, I do. I know. This looks like it's uh, served a food in the UK and Ireland. Oh, sorry, mm. Ireland. Ireland. Uh, it's either tart or sweet with pepper. It's similar to that of Worcestershire sauce. Sorry, Worcestershire sauce. I was gonna say um, we have that as well, but that that probably maybe that is the closest. We have that. Yeah, that's what the Wikipedia says. It's 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 either tart or sweet with a peppery taste, similar to that of. Worcestershire sauce. So there's but a subreddit thread like that says, "Do you Americans know what brown sauce is?" And the comments say, "The closest is Heinz 57, a sauce with the exact oh okay name." Another similar one that most Americans know is A1 steak sauce. Yeah, we, we I know what uh, I know what those are. I know what Heinz and uh, A1 are. How do they rank for you? Because I like brown sauce quite a bit. Uh, meh. Oh. They're they're meh. Oh. Um. But there, but that's the. Here's the thing: both Heinz and A1 are distinctly different from each other. Oh. So who knows what brown sauce is? Um, but yeah, there. Oh, um, does honey count as a condiment? I, I feel like it has to. Because if that's the case, I might put honey as my top condiment. I I don't actually have a definition for condiment. The other than definition of. Condiment is a substance such as salt, mustard, or pickle that's used to add flavor to food. Oh, in that case, it's salt. I mean, salt is in, can be incredible. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... yeah. If, if that's yeah, the case, I, I didn't even I salt, didn't even think then, about uh, yeah. it's definitely. I was just salt. thinking about sauces. So was I. But yeah. it's, it, it's might, salt. it might be salt because salt is so ubiquitously useful. Um, I think that's what I'm. That's I feel like I it still might give it to honey. I'm giving it to salt, definitely. Salt like, versus honey. Salt. As much um, as I, like, if I could only have one to use, it would be salt. But in terms of my favorite, it would be honey. I got you. Um, I think that makes sense. I think, I think pepper would I have get my to honey, um, I know a beekeeper. I get my honey straight Me. from the beekeepers. Yeah, wow. in jars. Nice. Oh, I this, assume that makes, guy. that gets the best taste, potentially? Uh, well, it, it is a matter of taste, but I like it a whole bunch. Um, it's unprocessed, just honey, just pure bee vomit. Straight from the bee's ass. Straight mm. from the ass? <laughs> I know that it doesn't come from the ass, I'm just... <laughs> okay. <meaning>. He's joshing <laughs> you. This, yep. we, we don't eat, no, we eat bee vomit, not bee poo. It's a very... We, it we're we're civilized people. Yeah. That would be gross. I'm alright with eating some poo if it tastes nice. You know, that's just that's my no, hot take. No, no, no. Sure you're alive. You're saying that live right now. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there that one that that one coffee brand and they use the coffee beans from the poo of an animal that eats the coffee beans because the digestive system? Yeah, like I think it's they some kind only of like a mink or something. Oh, yeah, some kind of a a. a what are those called? The, the minks and, um, like, uh, what are they? Uh, uh sounds... goats, weasels. Sounds pretty what are those called? I, I don't um, know. Um, it is the world's. It is. Oh, okay, it is Kopi Luwak. Kopi Luwak is a coffee 
that consists of partially digested coffee cherries, which have been eaten and defecated by the Asian palm civet. It is also oh. called civet coffee. The cherries are fermented as they pass through a civet's intestines, and after being defecated with other fecal matter, they are collected. Asian palm civets are in increasingly caught in the wild and traded for this purpose. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there's some pretty... They, they have ethical um, <clears throat> concerns about... There's a lot of issues concerning how the civets... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm... Jeez. <laughs> I'm just like... My throat is just like, guess what? It's time for... And I'm just not ready for that right now. Okay. <laughs> The traditional method of collecting feces from wild Asian palm civets has given way to an intensive farming method in which the palm civets are kept in battery <laughs> cages and are force-fed the cherries. This method of production has raised ethical concern about the treatment of civets and the conditions they're made to live in, which include isolation, poor diet, small cages, and high mortality rates. So, yeah, I can imagine if you don't... Oh, here's what, a, here's what, a, here's what one of the little guys looks like. These little poop factories is an Asian palm civet. Oh. They're like a weasel rats. It's it's yeah. it's like exactly if you took a rat and a weasel and crossed them together. Yeah, well, you're right. Adorable. <laughs> hey, weasel is adorable. I'm just saying, like that. Yeah, I like weasels too. Weasels are great. No, um, I meant weasel the character. Called, uh... Oh, let me look up Stoke. <laughs> Mustelids? Is that what it is? Yes, mustelids. They're in, like, otters. What about beavers, though? They, they're your favorite animal right now, right? Guys. Beavers are great. So let me go to Mammalia Carnivora Must Mustelidae. <laughs> Jay Jay's put out so that is... a DCEU movie tier list, and all of them are in the bottom tier. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, some of them are better than others. So for that um, distinction, I would put them in the two bot. It's either bottom tier or next to. Well, bottom so the tier. tiers are excellent, yeah. great, good, okay, bad. They're all in bad. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I would put right. I would put the Suicide, suicide squad, squad is in the in middle. Five. Um. Well, so the Has Suicide Squad that? isn't in there. It's just the everything ah. before that. Oh, and, um, okay. It's DCEU classic. Yes, and someone said, come on, Wonder Woman's good and Aquaman is at least okay. And all huh. Jay said is, I disagree. <laughs> <It's> like, <yeah. laughs> no, no, they're not. Someone look Stop out, look it. how he left out Joker to make the joke work. It's like, Joker's not DCEU. Uh, Joker's not part of the DCEU. Not the DCEU. It's a DC movie, but not the DCEU. It's a DC EU. movie, yeah. Mm -hmm. Standalone. It is, uh, yeah, not in the EU. <laughs> It almost feels like it's like, yes, the MCU is shit right now. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Don't worry. Where's um, the list? I assume it's on his channel, chat. Uh, the uh, newest tweets. I just retweeted it so you can find it there. Don't worry, it's not like a particularly intensive piece of, like, just a tier <laughs> list. <laughs> just the tier list? Wow. Oh, there's someone, there's someone else I was going to say, but now it's just, it's just gone. It's too late. Uh, yeah. uh. I am inevitable, and I am the juggernaut, bitch. That's good reference. <laughs> good times. We'll check. We'll check. We'll do an X Men little arc eventually. It'll happen. All the arcs forever. When will we see a Game of Thrones season eight final episode unbridled rage more? Hmm. If I was to guess exactly when, it'll be within 10 or 20 years. Um, but that oh is uh, something I want to happen, so... <laughs> That's all I can say. It's like, if I genuinely want a project to happen or not, I can tell you that, but I can't tell you when it'll arrive. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Bruce Willis started his career with hair. Alright. <laughs> so did, um... What's the, uh... Uh... God, what's his name? He played uh, James Bond, Indiana Jones' father. Sean Connery, he started his career with hair. Um, Are you sure? Because like, I'm pretty sure he had a hairpiece really early on. I'm pretty sure he even had think, one as Bond. Oh? I think. Chat, you'll know better than I, I will. So? 
Yeah, because I remember finding out being really shocked because I always thought he looked great with hair. Like, and I always thought that he always had hair. I didn't realize he didn't. We're almost at the um, the one year anniversary of his death. Yeah, it's, um... in fact, it is it is a month and two days, and it will be a year since he well, died. You know what I was thinking, and I'll pitch it here and now. Um, oh, no. Last year we, because because <clears throat> I kind of pitched this already, but I think it'll work. Okay, so last year we did Van Hessling. <laughs> All right, Van Van Eslin in in an EFAP this movie. One, that EFAP movies will come out one Halloween sometime. It, it ain't this one again. It's not ready yet. <laughs> but we then <laughs> did a ready. stream where we talked about um, Van Hessling, and then we covered the nostalgia critic video going over it. You remember? You guys remember? Yeah, I do. I do remember that. Absolutely. That was a fun video to cover. Nostalgia critic never disappoints. You you could. You could say that. Um, <laughs> so, like, so, like, this year I was thinking, why not watch the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen on a particular day we have off, and then for Halloween mm -hmm. episode we will talk about that movie, and then check out Nostalgia Critic's review of it. Yeah, let's sure. do it! I'd love I'm to rewatch the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I figure we'll record it, and then people will see that at some later GGG, year. the group of great guys. Because, um, that's a strange movie. You know, like it is but, a strange movie <clears throat> to the point where I'm actually. It was like a prototype it. Justice League in a way. Yeah, yeah. It's a Justice Except League it's probably of probably um, way more enjoyable. The famous characters from famous books. That was the idea, right? Because I don't know enough about yeah, it. Yeah, but... it's like classic. Yeah, because um, Jules Verne was Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, you, you had the Invisible Man, and in, I don't know who wrote. Let me double check. Um, that was written by. H.G. Wells in 1897. Uh, you had, uh, let me see, you had Alan Quartermain, who I'd never heard of before the movie. I don't know if he was an invention for the movie. I imagine but I, he's. I didn't know about him. I thought he was just like a famous uh, shooter or something from some book. Obviously, you have Mina Turner is Dracula. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, you have the picture of Dorian Gray. Yeah, um, Dorian, that's Dorian Gray's story, isn't it? Um, yeah, that's Oscar Wilde. He wrote that. Um, I, I like how they don't trust... I, I like the the aspect of them, them not trusting the Invisible Man because he's the you know, invisible. You have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, definitely. Um, of which was an interesting comparison to the Van Helsing film because he's like a hero in that one. And then in Van Helsing, he's like a strict villain that gets fucking murked. <laughs> Really um, up to the adaptation, I suppose. Let's see, who else in that? Uh... Oh, make Luigi give me coins and money and stars, do it. No. Oh, and Tom Sawyer. Yeah, Tom Sawyer is the kid in it, who's grown up. Oh. Uh, I, I don't see the connection there. Well, but... this just isn't. Mm. Obviously, he's just an all American. Character who book carry on. Yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> you, you sure you sure grew up, all right. Daddy did. Yeah. I have to give him my stars for his coins. How is this good? Fuck's sake. Oh no, wait. He has to give me my star. What is it? Oh, they trade all star, stars star. and coins. I went. To the star. Since neither of us have stars, that was pointless. Well, that worked. Oh, out. you're playing Mario Party. Shut up, metal. No, you shut the fuck up now! I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sick of your bullshit! Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Um, but yeah, that, there you go, that's the plan for the... And it'll be October 30th uh, this year for Halloween. Or at least the EFAP stream Halloween. Um, that's gonna be so much spooky content! And you guys are running out of time to get your costumes ready! You got like three days. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I do, I do. I've got a couple I can use that are still uh, good, and I'm hoping to get a, another, but uh, some bad luck in terms of some of the artists that I've been, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with, so. Still looking forward to, to, to showing you guys mine. I, got I showed mine on Real BBC games. very briefly, so some people have seen it. I've got three spooky games lined up for my streams. Isn't that insane. Hey. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen is based on a comic by Alan Moore. Oh, so he made a comic that was based on a lot of characters from books. 
Was it, how does the licensing work for all that? Um, well, a lot of that stuff would probably be public domain. domain, right? In that case, man, that's such a, like... It feels like it should work. <laughs> like, that, that could be something people would really love to watch. Like, all of these... Yeah, so... It was... it. Uh, well, oh, it just keeps going back. So the, the comic book was inspired by a 1960s film called The League of Gentlemen. Um... I want to hit credit in 1999, the, the comic, right, okay. Um, the, yeah, the concepts behind the series, according to Moore, was Justice League of Victorian England. Well, hmm. they, they tried. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did I say? It's like a prototype Justice League. I didn't even know You did, say, it. I didn't oh, even you did that. say that. Yeah. Huh. Dun, dun, I'm glad, dun, dun. I'm glad it happened. Oh, yeah, I... I am downright happy to watch that film. Um, I know I watched it a whole bunch it, when it came out. Isn't um, that like the film that prompted Sean Connery to retire? Yeah. Retire. <laughs> In fairness, really? it wasn't. The, the, a lot of people try to misconstrue that into the quality of the film itself, rather than he and the director fucking hated each other. Ah. Uh, so I'll be interested to see what we conclude quality-wise. I'll be curious because it's a movie from what, like two thousand? Is it six? Three. Oh, okay. 2003, yeah. Close. Close. <laughs> and so it's from a... That was the last a... film that director made. You know, could, could it be his... Blade. Yeah, that's that's why uh, the components that came together to make that film, I think a lot of people had hope, but it, it did not work out. Well, rather, let's, let's see how well it did or did not work out. It certainly didn't work out commercially, obviously. Right. And there was sequel bait, so it was like, well, never mind. Um, hey, it could still happen. I think we should fund it. Yeah, your super mm, chats will be no. exclusively to fund the next, the, the sequel to The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. We'll bring <laughs> back Sean Connery with the horrors of CGI. I think that's just going to upset everybody. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. <laughs> that's happened before in terms of stuff like, I'm pretty sure there was an ad where they used the likeness of uh, Audrey Hepburn. It's like, hmm, she couldn't agree mm. to that. Aren't they like, making a whole Maybe. movie with James Dean as the main character? Do you think that Audrey Hepburn would have been really shaken up to learn about that ad? <laughs> I think that's the... That's the... <laughs> I think that's the ethical dilemma though, right? Well, I don't even know if it's the dilemma. You probably shouldn't do it. No, I, I'm I'm keen on it. And I mean, unless the actor specific, which might be something they start doing, is like if I die in a car crash or whatever, you can use my likeness for oh, da 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 da. Sure, but that would be but that's a very specific would, right? thing, yeah. You but if they don't say anything, agree. like even well, this whole thing about asking the families, I'm like, fuck that. That's not me. Yeah, I was gonna say ethically, I don't like my family you, being you, you, you arguably you're in the clear there. I don't know what else. There probably is other arguments that I'm not thinking about, but I was also just gonna say like it's still just weird. When you know they're dead, and you're watching them do all this, and you're just like, okay. Uh -huh. Stop doing that, you're dead. You're lying to me. <laughs> Schindler's List, to the fury of Schindler's List. I don't know what that's... Fury of Schindler's List? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, I don't no. Know, I don't know either. Cinema Sin slash Wins is like, who's lying? The points don't matter. I mean... That's but sometimes, well, like, true, yeah, but as, as a result of them implying they do and then also they don't, and so all of them can't. Like, that's just the result. It's very confusing. There's no like, system or watch. standard. It's a shame. It is, yeah, yeah it is frustrating. frustrating. Oh, I got a golden ball. What does that mean? Bring, I got a golden um, ball. A gold. Oh, that oh my go god. To the, uh, Johnny Junka's Nike factory. I got a oh, hundred yeah. coins. That's not <clears throat> insignificant, honestly. That's you, cheating. Put them back. You guys should watch Malignant. It's a masterpiece. We're seeing that in four days, I think. Something like that. Yeah. I can tell you. I have a list where it says me, t says me things. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> tell me things. It says me things. <laughs> I, mean, so I actually need to oh, make it a says list. Me things. <laughs> All of the things yeah, that we need to do, because I'm starting to forget and I'm worried. Well, yeah, I'm after, each, after each thing we do, calendar I basically tell you guys your... what the next thing is, because there's so many things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, that calendar I, app I, on I, your uh, <laughs> Windows, I, I, I put it on the taskbar down there. I'm like, yep, I guess we'll be using you. <laughs> I <clears> actually do need to, because I'm already starting to forget. I'm like, oh, uh oh. I every <laughs> October, man. <laughs> every October from, a little, uh, from this day. Note. From, well, from last year forward, it's just going to be hyper busy. 
Oh, that makes editing so much easier. Yeah. Oh no, not a bomb game. I've got the most to lose. No! No! Please be low. Okay, that's fine. That's the same for everybody. Um, like, be slow. <laughs> can I get a... Um, can I get a hearty me. and heartfelt machiculations? Um, machiculations! Chimkinlations. They only wanted the one, so, you know, I guess it's done. Love that machiculation. Oh. Well, I was offering chicken, so it's fine. That's the that's the Popeyes jingle where they say "Love that chicken from Popeyes," except I re. I only know it. that because I see those ads when I watch Wrestling Life. <laughs> oh, do they have American yeah. ads in them. Yeah, because I have to watch some random stream because I obviously don't get it here. That's not obvious. I mean, to me, it's obvious. <laughs> oh, oh. From don't my get... point of view, it is obvious. Yeah. From my point of view, the wrestlers are wrong. Or evil. That's <laughs> whatever. Well, then you are From my lost. point of view, Gravedigger is evil, or whoever they're in there are. Gravedigger. <laughs> Undertaker, okay. You can never guess what he does. He digs up the graves of the people who leave. No, lose. he's a florist. Oh, what? Oh, that's kind of cute. He'd never guess. I have been hey, do what you love. Themes. I love what you do. Can you hear the silence? Can you see the dark? Can you fix a broken? Can you feel maha? The... Wait, ha? Huh? Can you feel maha? Uh, also, high rags. Uh, ah! Hello, uh, hello to you. Weekend hello Warrior, what's your you. favorite Hollow Live member? Well, since he's not here, should we yeah, answer we for him? It. What's oh. Hollow Live? Let me look. Ho it's probably some weeb shit. Hollow oh, Live. Oh, definitely weeb shit. <laughs> oh, those are all the, the VTubers. VTuber. Things. He's a, Hololive he is... Production is a virtual YouTuber talent agency owned by a Japanese tech entertainment company. Uh huh. Let's. What if we click? Oh yeah, instantly. <laughs> I click on Hololive for one second and it's just weeb shit. Hololi, the smartphone app where you spend time with your favorite Hololive VTuber. Fuck me, that's sad. Well, oh is God. it? This is this is what virginity looks like. Uh, uh, is it? VTuber agent from Japan. It's a person go wild, we'll... that goes on a camera and then the animations sort of match it. Is that the idea? Basically, yeah. VTuber is, yeah. is a virtual, a vir some sort of virtual represent. Which is funny because I got like a little pixel art Star Fox inspired thing in the corner of my stream. It's like, oh, VTuber. It's like I would like to ensure that there is so a distinction aren't... between that and. So you like yeah. you can buy one from them. I think you well because it's really hard to make one of your own. So I imagine that there are vendors who make them for you, custom ones. And then mm. yeah, I think they have like the webcam up. The webcam tracks you, your movements, and if you're speaking, yeah. and then it, that's just translated into the the avatar. And then that it goes. might be a fun. That might be a fun thing to do for the doggo later on. That could be nifty if it gets really good. Oh, I like see, how I think this huge potential. On it. Uh, this huh? huge potential. No, 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 no. The dogs are great. Dogs are fucking dogs great. Are great. You the click on you click cool. on that website, and you'll under you will be one hundred percent in agreement with me if you all, dare uh, if you dare click on that I website. Dare. Hold like, on. Oh, I it's, do gonna, it's all okay. going to be an oh, anime. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, god. <laughs> Literally an army of fucking anime. Anime dressed up all in the same little dicky costumes. They look all the same. What the fuck? <laughs> when e it's like, when every it's it's like they're all just MMO characters, and they're all just sparkly in slightly different ways, and it's just so depressing. I like how at. none of them are a little bit taller, or a little bit more mass, like buff, you know? Or a, oh, they're a all the same chubby. body type. Yeah, they're we ain't got like no voluptuous hot mamas in there. No, no, no. And they no. all have really big eyes. Like nobody has normal eyes. Anime, it's anime it's everywhere. Eyes. That's normal in anime world. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I mean, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, if you had like the whole plague doctor or the longman or the doggo or you know even the Kratos frog, these these are all avatars would be way more interesting than frog anime girl seventy three. It really is. It really is like a like an assembly line where they just pump out anime girls. It's a style, clearly. 
It is definitely a style. I will never deny that. Um, in Gattaca, they cast the perfect actors to play younger versions of Ethan Hawke. Last I can't night, remember uh, what uh, they looked like, but... I'm assuming that was prompted maybe. by the fact that it was Mila Jovovich's daughter playing a young Scarlett Johansson, which... Oh, right. You know, ...was fine, I guess. Um, no. do Mila Jovovich. Well, oh wait, the... what was the... the super chat? That, um, young, Sorry. the young Ethan Hawke actors for in Gattaca were well cast. Okay, I never saw Gattaca. That's probably one that would be worth watching. Yes. Yeah, like, uh, seriously or for EFAP movies? Uh, seriously. I don't know that it would okay. have much EFAP movie potential. Mm -hmm. Alright, because I've heard of it, and I don't know if it's, like, one of those so bad it's famous movies. No, or no, no. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's just a great movie. Um, mm -hmm. it's, okay. it's, it's about, like, it's, it's kind of about genetic not kind of it basically is about genetic engineering and like the from the perspective of somebody who was not genetically engineered yeah. okay. um somebody who's normal as a result it gets referenced um, a bunch in conversations like that yeah it was uh that i think that was the directorial debut of the guy who wrote the truman show and he didn't make a lot of good stuff after well, uh, I hear Lord of War's really good, but I haven't seen that. I've heard Lord of War's good. I um, like Lord of War, yeah. Yeah, but then yeah. he made In yeah, Time, yeah. which isn't good. Is that the Justin Timberlake yeah, one? Yeah, it that's is. Blood. Yeah, where time is money on your wrist. Pretty hey, over. I've got a question. Have, have you guys, did you guys ever see Surrogates with Bruce Willis? Yes. Uh, I think I might have seen that, I yeah. Think so. I think might, I might have. Pretty sure it was stupid, but I can't remember anything about it. Why'd you say that? Now I don't know what Rags is gonna say about it. No, uh, I, I just wondered if you remember, because I remember watching it, and I, I can't really remember what I thought. I didn't hate it. Um, I didn't hate it either. So I, I just couldn't remember if... It just sort of came to mind while we were talking about... Isn't it stuff. like he gets... Was, while we were talking about VTubers, it came to mind. <laughs> it's, a, it's a world where everybody is using a surrogate body from their, their house that they control, and then Bruce Willis like, fucks care. up or something, and he has to go in the real world. And he's like, Ugh. you know, sometimes a little bit unshaven or doesn't look, everyone looks perfect, but he's just like, Bleh. like, and then I think there's a killer normal, who's yeah. killing people by, it kills their surrogate and it kills them in their house or something. So I, I think that's the plot line. <laughs> I can't remember. Something, I can't remember what the plot line is. I just kind of remember the premise. Mola, what's the dollar to Welshman money conversion? Like, how much money does it cost to buy a small movie bob meal there? Also, play DDLC Dumbos. Huh. It's, uh, cross it the board. It's a lot of money to buy a small... It doesn't matter where you live. It takes a lot of money to buy a small movie bob meal. It's yeah, because it's just that much. 50 euro. Yeah, Is that do. what it cost when you did your challenge? Yeah, about 50. Jesus! <laughs> 50 <laughs> it's euros? A, it's a small Damn. meal, right? What are you talking about? We could have gotten so much that's nice like, food for that. <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's like my grocery <laughs> shopping for, God, when I go and I buy all kinds of stuff for a, lot, for a while. That's, yeah. that's a lot of food. <laughs> the idea that he thinks that's a meal when that's my entire grocery cart. Fifty bucks is like three people's meals. <laughs> <laughs> at a, it's, that's three people's meals at a plus, restaurant. At a restaurant, yeah, at a restaurant. Yeah. Plus maybe an entree as well. That is that is weeks of food for normal people from a grocery store. <laughs> I wouldn't say weeks, but it's it's definitely a good chunk of your uh, of of what you need for the week. I mean, someone could extend it into weeks. Ah, uh, somebody oh, could, like... yeah. But I guess we'd assume that's a particularly frugal person at that point. Oh yeah. He's fine bulk by smart. Well, I know people who, like, I know that it's common that people actually spend, like, way more money than I would expect on, uh, on food at, like, when they go shopping. Like, 300 I think that's the bucks. thing they're just willing to, yeah, that's insane to me. Um, well, that's uh, maybe food is just the thing they're willing right? to splurge on. Yeah, well, I, th I think it's just, like, you buy branded stuff, right? You're not used to just getting the, the store brand. Which is, yeah, it's not as good. Like, I don't like when people lie and say that it's it's the same. It's not the same. <laughs> they lie. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the same, but it's not the worst thing ever. To yeah, get. it depends which kind it is. Uh, sometimes they could be basically the same. It depends it what it, it is. Depends. It depends. It's just, um, I always get annoyed when people say it is, it is like exactly the same. It's like, well, you know, the Woolworths branded Coke is not Coca-Cola. Like, it, it just isn't. It's, uh... <laughs> 
Like, yeah, like I I don't buy vanilla Coke. I buy the what is it? I buy I buy Big K Cola, right. and they are so damn close. It's just like I'm just gonna buy the one that's half the price because it's not. It's like ninety percent is good, but it's half the price. So yeah, I'm get it. yeah, exactly. That, well, that's the, that's if, the easy way to justify it. Is it's like, well, it isn't as good, but it's it costs a lot less than the the you know how much you lose in terms of flavor. I would be curious if it actually is. It might really be, especially for stuff like sodas. I bet sometimes it really is just a, if you did a blind taste test on which one's which, I bet a lot of people would get fooled. Um, I I wouldn't be surprised if people got fooled. I think I could tell the difference though. I uh, I really do I like. I think Coke. I could. I think um, I could. Yeah. And yeah, I Coke has it's it's because people meme about Coke and Pepsi. It's like they do taste different. Like they do very they different. Do, very yeah. Coke and Pepsi absolutely do. They're yeah. Definitely different. But it, but that's not like a quality thing. That's just no, a flat that's... up different ingredients thing. Yeah, it's different. A different preference, right? If you're looking for something a little bit, maybe it's different in America, but over here it's like if you want something that's a lot sweeter, you get Pepsi. Yeah, I. Uh, that's why Coke's I don't like more Pepsi. Of a bite. No, I prefer yeah. Coke. Yeah, I I do not like Pepsi. I like um, Coke and Dr Pepper is good, but ugh. I was going to say Dr Pepper's Pepsi's my favorite of the lot. Yeah. Oh, like we, we don't have a lot of Dr Pepper here. Um, yep. Like you have to, you have to search around if you want to get Dr. Pepper. Yeah, Do you same have for me. Dr. Thunder. We don't. So the main ones that we have are like Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, um, like Fanta, okay. Sunkiss, Dr. Pepper. Um, okay. We have all. Yeah, that. Dr. Pepper is. Dr. Martin Luther Pepe. Pepe. I'd oh no! That. I just want I just want Dr Pepe now. Yeah. Like it's, uh, as a drink, it's green and it's got like a little it. Pepe smile in there on the. On well, the thing. every every and ball then, has a different emoji on it. Yeah, and then you got like, <laughs> yeah, Dr Pepe like, do or Dr Pepe is sad and Dr Pepe like. <laughs> Dr Pepe is for like, it's the kids' version is less sugary or something. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it strikes me as a like a sprite beverage, like a sprite does, like thing that kids it, really it, like. It feels like seven up. Reason. It'd be yeah. seven up. Kind of. I think, oh, did you like have DNL? We no, no. You never no. got DNL. Okay. No, we just we just there, have less. They still make that. that. They you still find DNL. Uh, I think here um. There. Here's something you guys wouldn't have though. There was something called jumpies, where it was like these little chips that were shaped like kangaroos. They're really nice, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, jumpies. That's what I believe. That's what they're called. Um, jumpies. Yeah. For, for those who are not in the know, DNL Jeez. is uh, it's Seven Up but different. Uh, it looks so much like Seven Up's logo. Well, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, look. I mean, yeah. Of course is it, it the does. Same company. What, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, oh, you you bamboozled me. You bamboozled me. <laughs> bamboozled. I feel like <laughs> Rags didn't do any bamboozling there. That was just. Oh, I, I only yourself. now looked at the. I only now looked at the picture. <laughs> like, what can you spot about this image? You're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a, think of the balls on that marketing guy to be like, wait a second. <laughs> this looks wait like DNL. Wait Let's just sell it. That's fantastic. Uh, I drank a lot of 7-Up um, <laughs> when I was in... No, it was Mountain Dew, uh, which is very similar to 7-Up, I think. But mm. Mountain Dew... Can uh, chicken it, with it, I heard. Uh, you can absolutely. <laughs> speaking of speaking of, you know, certain I parties. I believe that. Yeah, because it would. Not? I think it would taste better when it was when it if it got to room temperature. I think that Mountain Dew tasted better. It retained more of its good taste if it was room temperature, whereas the others just didn't. But why hmm. would I want to marinate chicken in Mountain Dew? Why well, would I do that? because because you have to assume in the premise of the question that you're an horrifically obese, ugly, just. <laughs> Awful human being that's just <laughs> blob and lard, with a brain floating in there somewhere. There's a brain in there, and presumably. <laughs> it just floats in, you know. And it, if you presume that is who you are, then marinating a chicken in Mountain Dew, it's, it's pretty reasonable, really. Man, um, that's just. But it wasn't even just as dude. He's a probably part of the fried. It was just purely Mountain Dew. <laughs> he's probably fried nuggies in Mountain Dew. Like, he's just... That's, no, poor nuggies. He pulls oh it into God. the pan, and he's just like, Psh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is how <laughs> we do. Do the do.
Do the do. That yeah, that's the thing. Do the do. And sometimes on the cans they would write dooby dooby do. <clears throat> they need to put school at the beginning. Which I thought was very funny. Uh. Scooby dooby doo. Where are you be dooby doo? Your facts I mean, don't so care about their feelings. You oh, no. oh boy. We've said not that, ours probably. when we talk about uh a lot our shows all the time. A when lot we talk about really midnight mass being poopy. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I went there. Saying that it's like that we were totally wrong, but it's amazing. It's like, man, do you honestly think that it's okay that at the end they're like, oh no, the last building got burnt. We can't hide. Well, from you the see, now. they will die. I've been told simultaneously that none of them knew the sun was going to burn them. Also, they were all happy with the sun burning them at this point, unifiedly. They're I mean, just at like, that yep. point, it's like, what do, do you feel? Like that is not a very good argument, I would say. Correct. It's that a, is a really however, good argument. However, it is a great, like, flawless argument if you're in love with the show. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's I cool. guess, but it's okay to love it and... Like, it's, it's fine, you know? I mean, we loved it, right up until that episode. Yeah, <laughs> up until that point, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> it was funny, it, there was just murmurs in that, because we were silent throughout the whole episode for the most part, but, um... We were I very think it was quiet. We were quiet as the grave. When, uh... When Aaron was tackled, I think Rags went, mm. And when... <laughs> I think I went, yeah, I think I made a visible, Ugh. And when... Yeah. When character was digging... I'm trying to revoice, <laughs> I, I realize now I should probably... You know, be a little bit vaguer. Um, I'm pretty sure I was like, "You kidding me?" <laughs> like, I remember that it, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I think at that point I was like, "Oh, I'm not alone." <laughs> well, yeah. I, I think at that point I had already said, "Like, dig a hole. <laughs> Just dig yeah. a hole. <laughs> Please dig a hole." <laughs> exactly. Just stick uh, your head under your clothes. They might prolong their deaths, but they'll still die eventually, or at least go rabid and eat each other. No. Actually. Uh, did no. somebody say no. that? They're prolonging their true. deaths. You no. know that when you like eat food and stuff, you're prolonging your death, right? Yeah. You still do it. <laughs> Honestly, it, fe it feels like we were the only ones that. It sucks to say this, it's really mean, but like, did no one else pay attention? Like, being a vampire isn't that bad. It's not. Really pay attention. That's like what final, I said. The final it, episode it's... makes you think it's way worse than, than it had presented earlier. Yeah, as long as you don't die. Like, if you get trace amounts. Then, like, that's just well, nothing at, but um, a, that's just a flat fucking positive. Look at Pru like, Pru give me that. Look at Pruitt throughout most of the show. He is calm, yep, collected, and he, he isn't rabidly eating people. So you can't make no. the argument. I'm sorry, you can't. That was invented in the last episode because they needed it to yeah. be scary and horrible. And then every single person in the town loses their agency, except for a few important characters. That somehow managed to get over it, but their existence should prove that that's possible. It's um. Honestly, uh, I think we talked about this, but I, I think it was on, it could have been free stream or someone's stream, but I was just like, being a vampire? Not, from from that universe? Not the worst thing ever, honestly. Fucking sign me up! I mean, I'll- I'm not sure that I'm eager to sign up, um, just I would it's like, man, so I if don't I, if to I've go got out to the sun, or- Terminal uh, diseases, oh, well, well, sign this me up. Is... Yeah, if this is, if you, if I can get trace amounts, absolutely so. Oh, if I can get trace if amounts, between, hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that is portrayed as nothing but positive in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. 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 But as far as being a vampire, I mean, I'll take it over being dead. Um, this, yeah. this is kind of what I'm arguing. Uh, and if I was on that island and I would found out someone made me a vampire, and then, like, I can control that thirst, which they all figure out pretty quickly, some of them at least. Um, it's like, yeah, you bet your ass I'm doing that. I'm gonna wrap myself Definitely. in a big old blankie, and then when rescue arrives on the form of a fairy, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, it was horrible, the fucking people in the church tried to kill me, help me out, and also, uh, get me to the mainland right now. Go, 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 go. Oh, you know what? You can just paddle to the mainland with a big blankie. <laughs> there are so Absolutely. many options, it drives me nuts that everybody just decided collectively, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> like, we're done, so. I'm out. That is bizarre. Especially when a good 20 of them had specifically committed to the decision of I want to live forever, like, a few hours earlier. What happened? And then just this fucking notion, it's like, you, how could you want to live a life as a vampire? And I'm just sitting here awkwardly, like, yeah. At my computer, there's... indoors. Half time <laughs> nocturnal anyway. Like I don't know. I feel like I'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
I'm pretty I, sure like, I am I a vampire. Get a VTuber. Like... <laughs> I could get I could go to Hololive and get a VTuber and my life would be complete. <laughs> you fucking uh, as a vampire, you read you know, everything's registered. You're sitting in your house, you just order online and <laughs> you become a YouTuber. It's like, why not? <laughs> what are you ordering online? It's like, oh you know, I buy a steak, I buy a, some sausages, bit 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 of blood, uh you know, yeah, just normal stuff. I'm sure you could slip it's under the radar stuff. doing that. Yeah. What is what is you a reasonable yeah, you... reason to buy blood that the police could ask for? What what can be a reason you're buying blood? There must be because people buy it, right? Um, um absolutely. Uh, it, let's see. Let me see. Um, reasons for buying you cook with animal blood? blood. You absolutely can. I think. Um, uh, let me see. Reasons for buying animal blood. Can you buy animal blood? What is <laughs> Um, let's see. The most uh, most blood is sold or used as animal feed or fertilizer in the U.S. There you go. Easy. Uh, so if you contact a slaughterhouse or butcher, um, then he, they could probably be more than happy to sell it to you. Um, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Why is blood sausage? Da, 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 is it Did you say you can just live on animal blood in the show? You can just buy that. Yes, 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 and exactly. yes. Exactly. Yeah. That's the big thing. If it's if you can use animal blood, if it was only human blood, that would be more of a problem. Yeah. If it was, yeah, then that would be. At that be, point, um, I think you you would actually be. Yeah, unless you have the money to be version. able to purchase human blood, is that the thing you can even do? Right. Uh. uh I don't know that Probably. You can. I, I imagine that there's a chance you can do that for maybe private hospitals. I fucking I'm really out of the loop on that. Blood, one. plasma, sera, and more ready to ship today. Wait, you never bought human blood before? Oh, well, I did the one time when, when you came over and I never asked you about what you needed it for, but uh Bio yeah. I put him yeah, a bum. This is bioivt.com. You can buy uh let me see. Um yeah, it looks like uh, BioIVT specializes in human and animal whole blood, plasma, serum, and other blood-derived de specimens which are used in drug discovery and development, toxicity testing, and diagnostics development. Interesting. Animal blood product. Yeah, so it looks like, um, I tell you, this capitalism, man, if there's a need, <laughs> and see you need fill need. Give me that need, blood. Uh, we have inoff.research.com, or biochems.com, solomon.org, uh... Yeah, and I I wouldn't be surprised if you had like a friend and you said, "Hey, listen, I'm gonna explain to you my scenario here." Yeah, I need to, you know, da 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 da, and they're like, "Oh shit, that's insane." Um, if you can convince them that you actually need it, you could probably legitimately get, um, like treatment for. It. Or what you might do is you might just. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that they would. Doctors, that you just have a condition. I you have that... some strange, weird condition, and they'll just like say you. You just they'll just well, hook you up. I guess you'd be worried. So when you say with a friend, I believe it. But like, if you let this let the hospital know you have like a disease that you have to drink blood, I'm pretty sure you get studied at that point, right? They'd be like, sure. They I'll, might. I mean, I mean, you wouldn't die, but they're presumably. Not, yeah, they wouldn't. I don't. Well, think I don't. They wouldn't like lock you in like down like a prisoner. They would just probably just do a lot of studies and tests and stuff on you, and you'd come in every whenever. Oh yeah, you know what? You're right. It's not like stuff. they'd go, "You're a vampire, kill him." You'd be like, "Well, no." <laughs> they'd be like, "What the fuck? This is incredible. This is a what wonder of science is this?" And you know I mean, what? Could we well, find a way, work? buddy, to actually make this in a way that's useful for other people? Well, I was, was going to say. And then you tell them, "Yeah, so I'm going to live for like ever." I have no. like all of these abilities. Um, it, yeah, I just have some. I, it, uh, I basically I can't go out in the sun. The it reverts you to your me. primary self or whatever, right? That's what they say, which is around age, like late twenties, according to the show. I think uh, something yeah. like that. You're the prime of you know human, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah and so, uh, if they find that out about you, they're going to consider that like, that would be revolutionary. Of course, it would. It would be absolutely. And they're like, there's one issue. You might even say. It, yeah, it might encourage some people to kill humans and drink their blood, and they'll be like, "Oh shit!" And it's like, "Yeah, but if you're a good well, person, you won't do that." So really, the risk is there regardless of being a vampire, of you we killing have people. We a Daybreaker I mean. situation on our hand. That was a, I liked Daybreakers. That was a neat Sam Neill in that one. Yes, I remember his ending. Let's put it that way. 
Yes, yeah. That was I, that, I liked that movie. It was neat. That is what I wanted for Bev's ending. We didn't get that. <laughs> Daybreakers confirmed better than Midnight. Oh, I'm sure Daybreakers <laughs> ends more satisfactorily. <laughs> But yeah, I was going to say, you could maybe as well, because there's so many options, have a friend who's willing, through payment, to bloodlet for you. I don't know if it's often enough that it would it would be enough. But if you had a selection of friends, and you're like, I will pay you if you give me a blood, because i got to drink some shit. Um, you know, I, I mean, wait. yeah, you could probably... Yeah, I mean, it might just be as simple as, again, going online or to a blood bank and being like, hey, um, I'm, I need to buy some blood. Uh, you know, how much is it? And that's the whole thing. It's like, you know, maybe give it a chance instead of just killing yourself. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, I wanna... Yeah, that's yeah. the thing, man. Just try. <laughs> Don't give up, you fuck. God, the controls on this are just not that good. Um... Hmm. Shad, you should read Vagabond. It's great. I think we've had You're that recommended Vagabond. before for him, I'm not sure. I think so. Also, there's a nice little heart here. Oh. Oh. Can't show skull in China market? Is that a thing? I've heard sure. that. I've heard that China, yeah. the, the Chinese are... They're not too culturally keen on a lot of image, deaf imagery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I so. don't know, though. Neither did yeah. I. Yeah. Um, I think Ghostbusters was banned in China. Um, but they're busting the ghosts. <laughs> nope, uh, not Ghostbusters good enough. Ghostbusters denied release in China. Uh, not only do they have just fucking obscene censorship shit, um, but there's, uh, yeah, super because of the supernatural theme right. uh, it, under China's censorship laws. Uh, oh, under China censorship laws, any film suggesting the existence of the supernatural can be banned from distribution. Oh my god, okay. Fuck me. Well, China wait, number what about, one. Do zombies not count as supernatural? Because they have loads of Korean zombie films. Oh, sorry, China zombie films as well. Don't they? Don't or do they not? I mean, justify that as science, maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah. Science fiction yeah, rather maybe, than... Yeah, maybe, yeah. Because it's, like, yeah, it's almost always like a virus or something. Does, but what about like Marvel movies? Because but does Doctor Strange not allowed? Science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I got Waluigi's calendar. <laughs> Look at that. I'd like a Waluigi calendar. He made his own little each, calendar. <laughs> each each month will just show you some crazy thing that Waluigi got up to. The, the Waluigi <laughs> tri Waluigi, trivia. Wanna, wanna, yeah. Time. I've completed the Waluigi room now. Do I unlock even more things? The womb? No, that's Binding of Isaac. That's true. The womb. The wombus. Um, the wombus. Mola, can you remove the long in your walk? Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, what the fuck? I want to keep being long. The fuck is wrong with you? I was about to say, that's pretty offensive. Mm -hmm. Women outnumber men demographically. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So that that would have come up when it was you were saying to help hide the identity. We you make it so that they, they don't realize it's a woman instead of man. It's like why make all the Counter effort to, to then yeah. reduce the pool? <laughs> oh shit! I guess I fight Bowser when I unlock it. Oh my god, he crushed Toad. Toad's dead. There's nothing else to it. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Toad <laughs> is dead. <laughs> you said that so just like oh my god, Toad is dead. <laughs> Like, Look at him. Where's you... the blood? What? Where is his organs? He's just a mushroom person, isn't he? <laughs> Do they not Whoa. have any of that? He's just I nothing but... That. There's just air yeah. inside him. Oh god, Bowser's even... taking <laughs> me away. I wonder if all of the organs would be in his head. Maybe. He's just inflatable from, the he from below the head, the neck down. <laughs> There's nothing there. Ooh, Bowser's gnarly party. Okay. Gnarly. That sounds gnarly, gnarly bruh. bro. <laughs> the exaggerated swagger of a man wailing like a woman walking like a man. Alright. Mm -hmm. Walk without gender and we won't attract the re. 
That was such a bizarre point from Cinema Winds. <laughs> Want a tractory? Okay. If you guys do a Fox X Men arc, can you cover Deadpool and Legion? Deadpool Legion maybe, is a but whole Le show, yeah, man. Legion's a TV Legion. show. How many seasons is that? Is it just I one think it's or? two or three seasons. And what's the idea behind it? I couldn't tell you. I think it's like supernatural. Okay. Was it just because it's on my mind? I was I was watching a um. Yeah, there's a yeah, MC Tune is one of the is the flat Earth guy that I watch. He does the flat Earth debates and stuff. And I, I think he's really good. Um, I think he's better than the rest uh, when it comes to just presenting useful information that you can use. Um, but he he had a pre-recorded like hour long debate or so with some guy, and <laughs> in that debate. This guy said essentially, basically, this guy's claim is that you cannot measure the shape of water. Essentially, like it's not possible for us to survey like the surface of water to see if it curves and stuff. Um, so he says this. He says basically, you can't use all of these methods to survey water and things at a distance. And so MC Toon says, uh, surveyors, uh, surveyors do that all the time. So, so the flat earther says. No, none of the surveyors do this. It's not possible for it to be done. MC Toon says, yeah, that, that's literally what surveying is. That's what surveyors <laughs> do. And so the guy responds with, that's an appeal to authority fallacy. <laughs> Which legitimately did catch me off guard. It was pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty wild. But... Oh. It's top notch. Shad, what happened to your analysis of fantasy creatures? Would love to see one on deriders or golems, or the implication of humans and non-humans cohabitation. Maybe you will in future? I don't know. Um, happy belated birthday, Frongo. Oh, thanks. Um, otters are violent rapists, necrophiliac, brought to you by CG. Okay. <laughs> I mean, all right then. Um, Rags is high enough, so hi Muller and hi Fringy. All right, hello. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah. Ooh. You know what starts with a W and ends with an A? Watch Vindland Saga. Also. Oh, I thought I thought that was a Waluigi thing where you're gonna yeah. go. Wah! <laughs> Wah! But what? There's plenty of words that probably start with um, W and end with A. I would um, imagine. Like... Uh, Wampa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Wampa for it, that's right. No, it well, a Wampa oh, does it not end with an H? Oh, Wampas? Oh yeah, the Womp Wampa. Wait, so they have Wampas and Womp Rats? That's just confusing. Well, they're from different planets, you know, it's fine. I guess, yeah, I guess that's fine. Yeah, it, it checks out. It's just, you know, you didn't have to make it that way, but it's fine that it is that way. You just didn't have to make it that way. But that, that's fine. That's fine. It's all right. Um. Hmm. Uh, w and ends with A. Wh Wicca? W I C C A? Let me check. Oh, right. yeah. Wicca and modern pagan religion. If we're going to accept uh, proper nouns, which I think it is, uh, then Wicca. There's one. You did it. That was in, that was in Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost. Neat. Wakanda. Wakanda. Yeah. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. And then they open Wakanda the shield. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Destroy Wakanda. <laughs> that was a very smart decision. Yeah. <laughs> How did Wakanda last this long? It makes you wonder. <laughs> and then M'Baku aptly points out this will be the end of Wakanda. It's like, oh, it'll be the noblest ending. It's like, I don't know if noble's the right mm. word. Just opening up the barrier, but all right. It'll be the noblest ending. Aim's gun ahead. <laughs> <laughs> also, what are some of your favorite director debuts? Hmm. Uh, I feel like Reservoir Dogs is one of the... Yeah. That has to be there. Top notch. I um, like Duel by Steven Spielberg. Is that his first I don't movie? Think I've seen that. I huh? don't know. Is that his first movie? I think so. Um, from 1971. Let me double check. I think it is. 
Um, let me see. If Terminator is James Cameron's first movie, or is rather his directorial debut, then yeah, that would be one uh, as well. I think it was. And if if so, then yeah. Uh, no, his it first wasn't. movie his was first movie, Xenogenesis, uh... which I haven't seen. Oh, it's a short film though. I don't know if we're talking. No, his theatrical was Piranha mm. Two this morning. <laughs> okay. nice. I'm sure it's his great. His first film is I Want to Hold Your Hand. No, that's no, that's produced. Hmm. Produced his first film. Okay, uh, director. Evil Dead. That's yeah, that's fair. It seems I think it's Duel. The Witch I'm was that a directorial debut? Oh, was it? Cause damn, that was quite. That was a great movie. Yeah. I really liked The Witch. That was a trip, man. Talk about acting. That's horror, that's a, right? That's a, that's a horror movie. That is, that's horror, yeah. The Witch is great. That's from 2015. Witch is great. Everyone go see The Witch. No, that's, that's, that's a question. What's your least favorite movie of the first phase of the MCU? Um, Ooh, probably, uh, I, uh, oh. Hmm. Um, it's not going to be First Avenger favorite. or Iron Man. Those two are safe. No, they're definitely safe. And Avengers too. So it has to be between Incredible Hulk, Thor, and um. Probably Incredible Hulk for me. Okay, so Wait, Phase One two. and Iron Man two. All right, so here, just so that we're clear, it is Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man two, Thor, Captain America one, and The Avengers. Uh, you know what? I'd give it to Thor because I actually do like the the final fight scene a lot. Uh, An incredible Hulk. Makes, yeah, I I don't really like anything else about that movie, but I like that fight, and I don't know that there's anything in Thor that gets me super. <sighs> I like the, the, the family dynamics in Thor enough for me to pull it past the Incredible Hulk. Like I guess that's Loki, true, Odin, yeah. Thor sort of thing. Right. I think I will put. I can't yeah, remember I Incredible Hulk much. Mm. I know I've seen it. But I'll probably put Hulk there. Um, but I, I'm never interested to watch the first Thor again. I just think it's really boring and not a lot happens. Well, I mean, I rewatched it when I was fun, doing my yeah. prep, and yeah, it's 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 it's, it's okay. Um, it's fine. That's basically mm -hmm. it is it is fine movie. So there you go. I'm gonna go with Hulk. There you go. When I remember, Iron Man Two is probably the weakest. Uh, either Iron Man Two or Incredible Hulk are probably the weakest though in terms of like. You know, I'm gonna go with Iron Man 2. I've never seen the Incredible Hulk one, so yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't really need to. <laughs> this thing. <laughs> See Waluigi run yeah, across that bridge. Fucking great. Oh look, I get to step on women. Yes. Oh. Step on me, Daddy Waluigi. <laughs> cool. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I mean, hi, not hit. I'm sorry I'm hitting you, Mola. Also, I saw Cry Macho. Good film. That's the new Clint Eastwood film. Cry Macho? Duh. Oh. I've not seen it, but, uh... I hope it's good, innit? I hope so. Aye. Do, 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 do. Mythbusters <clears throat> tested smashing bottles on an analog head. Lots of cuts and potential concussion. Possibly fatal, depending on the bottle and throw strength. Yeah, that's what I've always known it to be. The, to be fair, a lot of stories will use a hit to the head with a bottle as the kill shot, and it'll be the, like, I'm trying to think of what, what am I picturing? I'm picturing something very particular. Oh, I know what it is. Fucking spoilers, damn it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I, I gotta send it to Fringy just to hear him go, oh yeah. Alright, let me da, see. Da, da, da. But yeah, times Goodbye. and, times Bias and content okay. where... Someone hits someone with a bottle, and they do it to knock them out, but it kills them instead. Yeah. Yeah, they don't yeah. they don't mean to do it, but it happens because bottles can do that. Um. Yeah, if you don't know how to use a bottle properly, when you yeah, if you're like a idiot. fucking bottle noob. Yeah. Bottle noob. I had my own issues with competence and confidence. I became the Idahoan chess champion and rep represented my state in the nationals. I got BTFO'd. Oh. I mean, 
That's the thing about fucking chess. I would expect that no matter how good I get at it, Idaho. that there's gonna be someone out there who's gonna be like chess wizard, and I'll just be like, alright, fine, yeah, fine, you win. Starcraft. Yeah. Samus is and would be a great character to work with. Space bounty hunter, orphaned at a young age, raised by birds, and she's hot. But she's not biological, so no. No love. Okay. Yeah, you know, you could be getting a Metroid movie at some point. No? Yeah, sure. maybe. I'm sure it'll be great. Voiced by... Uh... <laughs> Melissa I McCarthy. Do. I'd probably, probably be live action, <laughs> I, I would imagine. Okay, played by Melissa yeah, McCarthy. Yeah, probably. Um, speaking of Jackie Chan, can I give a shout out to Chris Tucker in the Rush Hour series? He does a lot of the choreography in those movies and it's great. I'm assuming you mean stunt work, and that's neat. He, he is fun in that movie. His voice is just iconic. I, I have... I have never seen the Rush Hour movies. Really? They would work real I well really for haven't. EFAP movies. That's what, yeah, I've heard they're I've heard they're good. Shit. I've really heard they're good. Yeah. They just, all I remember is they're fun, so it should should work out. I'm sure everyone would like to see us react to good old Rush Hour. Uh, Deadwing Dork on EFAP when he's a streamer. Uh, maybe at some point in the future. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. There is only one way to save the Mario movie, make it live action. I want to see live action Key as Toad. Imagine live action Seth Rogen as fucking Dr. DK. <laughs> yeah, that would work out. They just awkwardly no CGI his face onto like a CGI body of DK. Oh, I see. It'd be great. Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a little Jackie Chan arc we could do, maybe. Um... Blue represents purity. It is associated with the sanctity of the Virgin Mary. Is that true? That was some of Mary's colors, yeah. She would often mm. be portrayed in blue clothes. Or with lots of blue in her outfit. So. Oh, maybe. <sighs> if you don't buy me a toy, I'm going to tell my mom you took me to a black person's house. That's a quote from It's Always Sunny in <laughs> Philadelphia, apparently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, that's funny though. Rags, I've come to realize like you and I could be the bestest as friends, but I'm probably too old for you. Also, I live in DK, so now I'm para depressed. Oh. Live in DK. Yeah, Donkey that's what it says. Donkey Kong, I guess. Yeah. D uh. DK. I... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Dakota? Denmark? Oh, well, north or South? Den... I... Oh. Dominican oh, that would, Yeah, that would create an issue. Darth Korea? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Dank Korea. Um, Dank Korea. What if Thor went for the head? I'm not sure if that would be that interesting of a what-if story. I guess it's just the aftermath of they did it. They beat Thanos. Nice. Yeah, we did it. All right. No, high five. Good. I guess yeah. you could you could find a way to make that interesting for sure. Um. Yeah. Yeah, like what do his armies do, perhaps? Mm-hmm. Fringy, say the word Homer Simpson uses the most dough. Homer Simpson uses the most dough. I don't know fucking... Nice. Oh wait, maybe they wanted you to say just it. Doe, but as Homer Simpson as well. Just do that in case. What? Uh, Doe! Oh, I fucked it up. Alright. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. You can you can do it. Doe! You, you, I believe in you. You can make it something. Trying to make my first proper Photoshop yeah. or gimped uh, thumbnail. Wish me luck. It's a learning curve. It is. It really is. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll find... Don't... You do it, and then you complex. upload it, and you're like, oh, wait, no one can make out the thing I put there. Also, ah, the time is on top of the thing. Ah. <laughs> yeah. The, you know, the thing that you would think you'd learn really quickly, channels have not given a fuck about for years. Yep. Mm. It's like There's they don't even all, know. Ever since the always, there have been thumb... The timestamp thingy is always in the bottom right. Always. It's always been there. And people who make YouTube thumbnails, they just don't give a shit. I'll put text down there, and then I can't- what, what are you doing? Uh, 
Fringy's rampant racism is starting to annoy me. Yeah. But... <laughs> we have asked him to stop, but we understand that it's a process to change one's behavior, so... You know, in some ways, it, it, it is you don't want to change a person. You, know, you want to accept them for who they are. The emus running in the Australian government have used the current crisis to seize sweeping powers, including internet surveillance. Careful, Fringy. They're going to see your goo um, purchases. Oh, no. That, I didn't have that. I mean, I, I, as long as they... Look, you can... Uh, it's, it's it's about the process more so than anything else. So it's okay. They'll they'll not learn nothing. It's not, it's not okay. Yeah, exactly. That that yeah. Um, that laugh was goose being stimulated by hand. Oh, one of the many fake laughs of uh, Cinema Winds. I assume they're referencing. Oh yeah. He, was, <laughs> he he needs to like. Go on a stream Work on that. where he actually laughs genuinely, and then take that and just put it into his video whenever he needs a fake laugh, because then he'll be like, oh, at least that's one of his real ones. That's nice. <clears throat> you know, he's trying. Uh, Cinema Wins is oh, tearing his family much. apart. I think Cinema Wins Ours. and Cinema Sins should make a video together. Yeah. Just imagine just them to talking. Yeah, like, like he's, he's like, how stupid is it that the, the, the visor tells her not to go for uh thing? And then, he's, and then Cinema Wins is like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, what if I told you that I've thought to this day that those two were at the same network of people? Like, it was run by the same people? Did you actually think that? I Yeah, I did. Honestly. Oh, Cinema Wins <laughs> was many years later. Well, I say many. It could have been like three or four or something. Um... And it's made specifically to oppose Cinema Sins' negativity. Oh, okay. And all he did was fuck it all up because I <laughs> hate hyper positivity. It drives me nuts. Oh, it was That's real good like... that uh, that uh, Natasha could just do anything. I think that's what I think. Like, okay. That's great. Great. At least stop thinking. Wow, dominated. Uh, pedantic arguing about real fake laughs, peak EFAB. I think so. I absolutely I agree. Was that literally or literally tinfoiling? I'm not or, sure what literally or, is. Or maybe it was clitorally. Oh. Oh, oh very interesting. There's a joke in there if you could find it. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Uh, it's really hard to eat dinner with mum and dad and dad and dad and dad fighting. I know. I know. <laughs> Mom and Ta -da 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 -do 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 -do. y'all done got so confused, y'all crab bucketed. All you crabs stuck in a bucket, and y'all could get out, but instead you keep yanking each other down. Well, that's more funny than everyone escaping the bucket. They're putting chemicals in the water to make the fake laughs real. <laughs> Terrible. That would be <laughs> unacceptable. <clears throat> Please enable 7TV extension like BTTV, but better, 200 free slots. I want to use all the Discord emotes in the YouTube chat, like Peepo Foil and LOL. I'm, I'm thinking pretty sure of, that's um... not ready yet. Well, I was going to say, I, I, oh, I'd be curious YouTube. how that works as well, because uh, the way that it works on OBS is it's a direct link to the chat itself. Mm. So I don't know that OBS would be able to um, do show emotes. It's not the same. I've not captured my... Uh, do you understand what I mean? Like, I, 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 it's not my view of the chat that we're seeing. It is OBS's uh, yeah, view yeah. of the chat. So I don't know if OBS would be able to do that. Um, going off what Shad said, Jesus' name can be interpreted as Joshua Josephson, thereby making him a JoJo character. Oh. <laughs> I, know I already that. believe that Jesus is a JoJo character. Yeah, it makes nice. sense. I'm going his little adventures. But, yeah, he had, he had capabilities. We'll say that. Ah, ooh, that's my fake laugh. And also, what I shout when I throw empty beer cans at passing cars. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do that. It's mean. Uh... It's directing me. Sign me up. Cinema wins. Yeah, again, really weird commentary. Really weird. Very bizarre. But you end up saying really weird shit when you have to compliment no matter what. 
Like that was that that was one of his worst in terms of just he had nothing to say to compliment the film. He really didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently he really liked it, and then people were like, no, 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 he lies. It's like D what? D <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he lies. <laughs> oh well then. Well, all right then. Fun fact, prisons often have hospitals to take care of inmates, so Nat killed not just wardens and prisoners, but doctors and nurses. Of course, and then there's Should all the staff who work there. Yeah, and there's potential, yeah, like, delivery people, or, you know, God knows whoever, like, plumbers, yeah, maybe? Yeah, you can have electricians and what plumbers, people yeah. people visit, you know? People visit their Oh family. my god, like, a visiting, like, a visiting family just get fucking plumbed, hey. like, maybe there, oh. What if there was a school trip to the prison, like, a, f a field trip? All right, kids, we are going to because this is Russia, so they mm -hmm. do that. I can see Russia's Russian, you know, kids doing that. All right, we are going to a field trip to the prison. Uh, I want to make sure as many of you little ones do not end up there as uh, inmates, and then they all just get killed. <laughs> Remember, try not to eat each other <laughs> in your desperation to survive, children. The government will rescue us. We are sure of it. Of course. <laughs> if you sim close your eyes and pray to Putin. And then like little kids like where's where's the big fat you know one of the prisoners like the fat ones are there first i'm sorry <laughs> oh it's a simple ratio it's like <laughs> stalingrad we will eat the children last so don't worry uh cinema wins would give this, atler this a nine your, this is why your parents had to had to sign waiver <laughs> Oh god, it's the pot is baked into the whole trip. Just in case of sudden Avengers avalanche. Your child shall well, that's be. That's what they'd say, they'd say, Oh, if only the Avengers were here. No. Little, little did they know that it was an Avenger who caused all oh. this. <laughs> it's okay, the story is about her getting the red out of her ledger, you know? That's, that's totally fine. Mm. Yeah, but not They're replacing the it with a white. Ledger red, so that at that point there's no distinction. It's, it's like it's just a red page. Yeah. Just a huge fucking mistake. Cinema Wins would give Atler a 9 out of 10, if not a 10. That wouldn't surprise me at all. I think Cinema no, Wins would do that, yeah. Imagine he's, calling yourself Cinema so Wins. easily impressed, he probably would, yeah. Imagine calling yourself Cinema Wins and being bad at praising movies. That, that's. He's, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. See, Very his much. job could have been done by literally anybody ever. Uh, he makes. He does the thing that everyone accuses me of, where it's like, you're just saying what happens in the movie. It's like, no, 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 he literally does that, and it dings, and then he moves on. <laughs> Ding. It's horrible. Bowser's magic will make you mini for this turn. What if I take a Mega Mushroom? What happens then? You just normal. Oh. Fleams. I become size. Fleam Man. I have the soul of a skeleton knight. Hello. Hello, fellow massives. Appreciate you guys and helping my days at work. Go by faster. Love you all. Oh, that's nice. Thank Aww. you. Mauler, Rags, yeah. I'm hiring you to read out the Iliad via $5 Super Chats. Fringy, you get a cut to edit it together. Uh, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> what the, I'm, I hope not. Get ready? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a chunker. I can't what remember that. What does that even... I would, I would be like, how does that even work? Do I need to... Okay, well, maybe we'll see as we go. Hey guys, my wife and I started Haunting of Blind Manor. Oh, Manor Fringy! Um, uh, well, Fringy could play, because uh, he already did the voice, he could play Homer Simpson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Homer, but it, yeah. Hey guys, my wife and I started Haunting of Blind Manor, and we love it. Thanks for the recommendation, and hi, Rags. Hello, glad you like it. I was on Real BBC yesterday, and someone super chatted in, Muller, I've lost respect for you because you said Blind Manor was good and the romance was forced. Forced. I was just like, lost respect for me. <laughs> like, what, what does that even? Well, like, I was just like, what are we supposed to do with really this? Really well developed. They, it, they did a lot of work to make to put that takes, together. It's so slowly uh -huh. done. It's such a slow burn. One of the first big conversations they have with each other is like the meaning of love. I'm just like, I'm sorry. Do you think that that's like an irrelevant conversation? Do you think there's no reason they were maybe talking about that. I don't know. I, <laughs> And it's just, and I think they followed with like, they didn't mean to offend you. And I was just like, I'm not, you, the, you said you'd lost respect because I thought it was good. Didn't like, mean what? to offend you. How about you go fuck yourself? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. I just get confused by it. I'm like, if, if Rags was like, oh, the fucking, the, the love story in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was what you remember being good, and we watch it and it's not very good, or whatever, I don't lose respect for him. 
Just be like, <laughs> oh, what did you think was so great about it? And if he's like, I don't remember, like, all right then. <laughs> no, I'm all actually right, okay about the second one that came was like, oh, didn't mean to offend you. It's like, clearly that's a lie. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, oh, that's a lie. I know what those are. <laughs> Jesus. As said, that was a different person, Mola. He did, and then the person in chat said, no, it was me. <laughs> but it doesn't matter anyway, because we're not naming anybody. It's just, uh... It says, it's strange. The Iliad by Homer, book one. Sing, O goddess, the anger of Achilles, son of Peleus, that brought countless ills upon the Archeans. Archaeans? Arch Archaeans? Okay. Uh, it, it amuses me if you try and piece this together, you'll just hear fucking Mario Party in the background. <laughs> I can imagine on the beach a massive Yoshi made of wood. Yes. And outpours loads of Waluigi's and Wario's. Yeah. It'd be horrible because they just kill everybody. Dude, you remember that fucking movie, Rags, where they're just throwing babies? <laughs> like, they just pick them up and throw them. <laughs> In Troy, do you remember? Oh, oh, yeah, I do remember that. We were yeah. fucking laughing like, our asses off. We couldn't believe what was happening. It was just like, they just, there's a lady with a baby. A guy, like, wrestles the baby off it and just tosses the baby. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, fuck this baby. Piece I hate shit. babies. I always cry. Check out how Star Wars was saved in the edit was saved in the edit by Nerd Anonymous, debunking the saved by Marsha Lucas myth. It's as well researched as YMS Kimber video and only has 30k views. I actually thoroughly recommended it on um, Real BBC. I still need to watch the rest of it, it's on my to-do list, but um, to give you guys an example, it's uh, the how Star Wars was saved in the edit video is like a bazillion views and everyone references it as how Marsha Lucas saved Star Wars and it's something that I've heard so much that I was like, yeah, that's true then. Um, but it might not be that simple. And uh, mm. what I've started saying now, after seeing a lot of that video, is that everyone who was involved had a decent hand in making Star Wars what it is, the most, the, the, the fence-sitter position, because I don't know what happened for sure. But if you watch that video, um, it's like, oh, the, the title crawl was a mess. It was just a mess. And it's just like, oh, no. And then and you showed um, Brian De Palma the the... the the title crawl, and he, he, like, gave him a draft and fixed it up, and then the guy, like, goes over that with all the references from different books and things, and it's just, like, bullshit. Um, <laughs> loads of it is bullshit. And I don't mean that as, like, a huge criticism of the original video, because I think some of it comes from sources that were unreliable. And so, it's complicated. Hmm. But, um... Marsha Lucas said she didn't save Star Wars through the edit. I mean, if she fucking... <laughs> that might be an interesting piece of information. Um, it is thorough as hell. And, um, yeah, it's it's. I, I thought it was quite interesting. Uh, the guy shows deleted scenes, and then he's like, it's good they deleted these, it was stupid. And then the guy in the next, the, the current video is like, they're not stupid scenes, they do this. Like, why, What? what is your reasoning? And there just isn't any, and you're just like, well, there you go then. All right. <laughs> More Batwoman, please. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It is coming. It is I'm, coming. I'm coming right now. Oof. What? What do you mean? Where are you? Where are you going? Where are you coming? Coming from, um, I from the from kitchen where, into my living room. Okay. Oh boy. That's uh, that's quite the distance. Yeah, I, might, I, I load it up. <laughs> I might have mentioned this video on EFAP before, that is true, but it, it, it's, uh, it's worth mentioning every time to spread the word a little bit because it seems to be a, a, a little bit of an agreed upon lie. Uh, which is, you know, it happens. Oh. Fucking Kimba, am I right? That was yeah, such, that was such a, 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 like, what the hell? I was told this was true for so long, but it's absolute horseshit. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Consume! Shut up, I don't care. Cinema wins. That actually sums him up perfectly. I don't even, does it? <laughs> Shut Sorry. up, I don't care. I mean, I'm sure he... He's had real conversations about films. He just doesn't do it in the videos. Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, reading makes you wonder how much more praise early duds like Iron Man 2 or Thor 2 would have gotten if they came out nowadays. A lot. 
I feel like a lot, yeah. A they're, lot they're, of money. Dare I say, they're way more classic stories where just... Oh, I'm I'm Hero Man and things are, things aren't perfect. Oh no, Villain Man. He's over there and he's doing villain things. I'll defeat him by the end and then we'll talk about how I've kind of grown. We're like, oh, there you go. That was a movie. That was, that was nice. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, that sounds nice. Damn you, villain man. I wonder man. when we'll get those again. On location with Clarence Claymore is better than Dravok Consume. Does that mean Dravok anything to you guys? No. No. <gasps> Dravok no. Consume. Booze Crystal Ball. <laughs> balls. Yeah, balls. Phase 4 is going to turn it's more in... Again. Phase 4 is going to turn Mauler into a Winter Soldier fan with the amount he's praised it in recent weeks. I have praised it very specifically. Okay. And it accounts for like 3% of the movie. There are other things in it, okay. Other horrible things. Uh, Jeb Bush locked his keys in a van, used CVS phone for help. Yeah. Yeah. I saw yeah. that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how a Jeb. Wait, what? Wait, what kind of phone? CVS? What was that? Oh, CVS the is store. like a, it's like a general store, corner store. Yeah, he had to use that phone, basically. Oh, to, okay. To, yeah. Poor little, poor little jab. He's just, he's, he's, he's rooting and tooting out there, and, you know, I hope he's alright. Um, he had to tear down other additions to the Marvel Universe, such as Tony and the Guardians. It's pretty negative to me. Um, is this in regards to Cinema Wins? I do not know, I'm not sorry. sure. I'm not sure. Though that would uh, present him an issue. If he was like exclusively praising stuff and then one of the later movies criticizes older movies, it's like, does he side yeah. with one or the other? What happens then? Right. Be quite awkward. What do I throw? Oh, there we go. Um, poop. But door only close nice. bath or house door pick one. Oh, so your house... Say that one what? more time. So you're pooping and you can close the bathroom door but leave the house door open or close the house door and leave the bathroom door open. Close the house door. I'm not here to... Yeah. I'm not going to air condition the outside. <laughs> all right. I don't want... I don't want like bugs getting in and I don't want all the cold air going out the front. I got to have some privacy. And the front door is like numero uno barrier for personal privacy when it comes to your home. Oh, you Pretty don't have, much. like, gun turrets on your lawn? <laughs> I am the turret. Ah. Look I at me. I am the turret now. Marvel Studios may drop the men from X-Men. That's what that I've heard. Uh, I don't know how fucking awkward that's gonna be. I don't know what new name they'll try and come up with. X people would be embarrassing. X women. It'll be it'll be X women. <laughs> X I'll just go people. for female. Um, X people. That sounds it, so stupid. It sounds stupid. Yeah, X Men is perfectly fine, but I mean X people. <sighs> Do whatever you want, I guess. Um, I love Pandorum. You guys, you guys seen Pandorum? No. I have not seen Pandorum. And I know what, of what it. Was but I have not seen it. Dennis Quaid is in that with guy I used to know the name of, but for some reason I've forgotten who was in Three Ten to Yuma. Guy, ben, man. Ben something. Swolo. It wasn't Ben Swolo. Ben, uh. he was he was Angel in um, X-Men 3. Someone in chat know Ben... Ben Huombo? Foster, that's it. Huombo. <laughs> Somebody ben mentioned Wombo. the original Black Christmas. I only saw the remake, I never saw the original. As far as I know... All the most that that's known for is someone got cooked into cookies, I think, for, for Christmas. Mm. Like flesh cookies. So cute. Alright, I'm doing the battle Christmas game. Cookies. Fringy rags, you gotta do bets. Will I win this time? The same one. The chain sure. chomp. Yes, I believe in you. Oh. I don't. Yeah, like, thank you, Metal. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate I that, Metal. You, You're always there for me, even when I'm a failure. No, no, I just said I'm not. Like, no, I, I mean, you're I there to die. tell me the truth about my failure. Oh, yeah. Which I appreciate, That's, you know? Yeah, okay. Um, thing counter for Goodelb? We, I could do that. 
That could be funny. Where it's just like, as it goes through the Gadel, it's just got a, a counter in the top left for things. And <laughs> you just never know why. Alright, I'll pop that in the maybe pile. Maybe. In Soviet Russia, door opens you. That's not actually a joke. Ha <laughs> ha! Like, that's, that's his joke. It's such a fucking... Ugh. It's hilarious. It is precisely the opposite. And it upsets me. It is unlarious. Yes. Bringy has denied so many properties of his goo, it's hard to believe it has any, if it exists at all. Oof. Uh oh. Mm, that's lies. Oh, is <clears throat> it? Is it now? What can you say to quell this thought? I'm not, I, I'm not going to be forced to, like, just disclose things I want to keep to myself just because somebody's out there telling lies on the internet. Why would anyone do People that? People wouldn't do that. I know. I don't know why anybody would do that. Just go on the internet and tell lies. Just, yeah. That is madness. Balls. Just how gooey is Fringy's goo? Is it sticky or more like liquid? It's goo. He is more sticky than licky now. It's goo, all right. Put your goo in my butt. I'm just reading a quote. Put your wasn't goo me. in my butt. Put that goo right in the butt. What? What? Yeah. What? What? In the butt. The Finger so... bang bang. I remember that. Studio Trigger Insanity normally works because it's expected with anything they touch and the universes they create, e.g. kill a kill. Visions, if I still cared about Star Wars, I'd probably hate it, but I don't. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Well, the reason it's mountain-sized is that it's powered by a kyber crystal. Aren't they all powered by kyber crystals? Yeah, they're all powered by kyber crystals. I guess it's a real big Maybe one. Maybe they borrowed one from Star Trek. They're made out of dilithium crystals. Oh. Perhaps that is it. Huh. Um, Rags and Ringy. Clips of that scene are in EFAP Talk 2. Watch, discuss. Oh, about the anime thing. I I, I think they'll be okay. They're all right. It's, yep. it's yeah, bad enough that I have fine. to describe it to them. <laughs> uh, just say no to Nintendo Cinematic Universe, please. I don't think we said nobody said yes to it when we got it, so like it's <laughs> I don't know that they care what we think. Yeah. Moller, I just watched the episode of the anime Star Wars you were talking about. As a fan of both Star Wars, excluding sequels and beyond the anime, I can say the episode is stupid and complete shit. <laughs> yeah. Imagine my shock. I think we read that one out last time actually, but you know what? It's worth repeating. <gasps> Um, to be fair, the first Double episode of Visions damage. is kind of cool. It has a really neat main character. The rest is cringe nonsense, and I can't stand it. Um, there you go. Uh, uh -huh. to, to me, it's just, like, highlighted the blatant fucking hypocrisy. Everyone makes fun of Rebels for stupid helicopter lightsaber. But then they do it in anime style, and now it's suddenly the most badass thing ever. So it's like, are you... <laughs> You're so easy. Oh my god. Just make everything in anime. Animal. Yeah, then, you, you're then, immune. Then everything is fucking beyond reproach. It's just the the constant struggle of having to put up with anime fans who are like, no, it's different because it's this is. It, look at him when he lands with the helicopter lightsaber. It's cool. He's like, Whew, and his cloak is like rushing in the wind. Don't don't see that every day. Yeah. Also, man, Donkey, Donkey Kong's doing well. Oh, bless his heart. Oh, he died. Still my favorite minigame. I would I would go as far as wishing that I could pluck this out and just have it be a Steam game that I can play with you guys. Ah. I don't know how much I'd pay for that, though. It'd be pretty ridiculous, actually. <laughs> um, boop -a -doo. Has anybody seen the Apple original series based on Isaac Asimov Foundation series? Personally, I find it insufferable as an adaptation. Has anyone seen it? And does anyone have any thoughts on it? I haven't seen it. Oh. I have not seen it. I'm no. afraid not. No. Poor Isaac. Probably has all of his work shit on regularly. <coughs> For the record, hate roller coasters. Like some horror, but most modern horror is drek, and my handwriting makes doctors go, what the fuck is this shit? Well. <laughs> I think handwriting was the conversation. Well, all of those things were discussed. Yeah. Um. 
And High Rags, Longman, and Fringy, the Holy Trinity of EFAP hosts. Hello. Oh, thank you. I mean, we're on the Very three, perfect. but mm -hmm. yeah. Many a brave soul did it send hurrying down to Hades, and many a hero did it yield a prey to dogs and vultures. All right. I guess we're continuing with the Iliad reading. I'm assuming so, yeah. <laughs> For so were the counsels of Jove fulfilled from the day on which the son of Atreus, king of man, and the great Achilles first fell out with one another. Very well. I can't. I like that. Even there. back then, that was an idiom. If you're, if you're, if you're no longer friends, you had a falling out. Like you fell out with each other. Yeah. Maybe they would we be surprised. We talked about idioms. Day. We were. Is, no, is that one Googleable? Like, what? Why did that come from? Falling out with someone? Or is that going to be so far back that they won't have any idea? Uh, or is it intuitive? I don't know. Falling out with someone. Mm -hmm. Uh. Longman dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's hard to find, and I'm not that invested in finding out <laughs> where it came from. Very well. Uh, warg. All right. Do you think the 80-year-old priest managing to survive a storm and the heat in the desert to find a cave which the vampire is in makes sense? Say that one more time. Do you think that the 80-year-old priest managing to survive a storm and the heat in the desert to find a cave which has a vampire in it makes sense? Yeah. Which part of that? I mean, it seems to be the inciting incident. Because uh, all that happened before our story began. Perhaps they're trying um, to say, is it possible at all? In, in which case I'd be like, surely it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that the priest was definitely in dire straits. Um, yeah. Seemed that he would have been dead um, had he not found this this thing that he happened upon. Mm -hmm. um, I think you missed my joke in the super chat earlier. I asked about horror movies and monitors, then I said I forgot to poke a bit of fun at drunk rags. Oh, I knew. I recognized it completely, but I answered them candidly. I'm sure, I don't even know if Rags remembers what we're talking about with that. No, no, <laughs> no, I really, I really don't. Ooh, they have a minigame based after Fringy's goo in this. Do you know that, Fringy? Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I don't... Fringy, do no. you, are you going to get sued for copyright infringement? It's not my goo, so it's okay. It's, you sure? It's, One of them's green. That doesn't make it... Wow. Wow. What? I said, are you sure? <laughs> wow. I'm just saying, that's not my goose, so it's okay. Like, if I saw someone had been, you know, hit with a, like, like bleeding, I could be like, you sure it wasn't a knife? It looks like a knife could do that. That wouldn't be offensive, would it? Oh, I've yeah, I guess him. you got me beat there. Just, uh, <laughs> that's what I know about it, because you've been so protective of the goo that all I know is it's, it's gooish and green. Yeah, and for some right. reason, the um, the Skinner guy in uh, in the Hundred and One Dalmatians '90s movie had some of your goo too. I don't know what that was about. That's someone else's goo. It's always someone else's goo, isn't it, Ring? It's never yours. Yeah, because mine is top secret, so of course it's always someone else's. Unless someone steals it one day without you knowing. That's not gonna happen. All right, yeah, for sure. Um, short man, you bad, you bad now, short man. And do you know why they said that? Mm -mm. No. Thank, thank you for prompting me, Mel. I appreciate that. Um, no problem. I noticed no one will say anything. That's the <laughs> end of end of one five four super chats. We caught up with them. Good job, everybody. No. Now, wow. I, I was clapping, but Discord was like, nah. It's not human speech. You can't be having that. Now, exactly. we'll do today's ones. Transformers Arc Wait, when? That... What? Are you okay? What's, what's happening? No, it's all good. <coughs> uh -huh. 
Uh, so Transformers arc, I mean, that's, that's yeah, it's just going to be down the line someday. We'll probably throw Bumblebee in there too, right? That's the nice thing to do. I uh, guess, yeah, yeah. I suppose we should. <laughs> Bumbletism. Started Buffy on a whim, yes to tag. Yes to tag. <gasps> uh, so yes, no spoils tag this. Tag is day, right? Is that German for yesterday? Yeah, no. right? Guten oh. Tag, right? <laughs> Just, no, no, I'm sorry. no, those are not even connected. Gebort, Gebort's Tag? No, that's something else. Mel, you lied to us. No, maybe. Hmm. Montag? Yeast of Fry Tag? Freedom Tag? Freedom Tag. Uh, so no spoils from this hour henceforth. Also, rags. Watch Band of Brothers. Mm. I'll keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you're mostly fine with Buffy spoilers, unless it's just me and Fringy at any point. Then you might get a few. <gasps> Other than that, you'll be fine. Mooble, pay Hollow Knight and race. It has best bosses. Oh, play Hollow, Hollow Knight, Knight cool. and race it. Play. I guess I played Hollow Knight years ago. No, they want me to play I'm gonna it because it. they find me more interesting than you. I'm sorry. The goo night. I could hear you mutely. I heard that. Oh, I thought I muted. Hurt. Fuck. Yeah. That made my pee pee hurt. Mm hmm. I'm going to replay it though when at some point they announce the next one. Because then I would replay the first one again. <laughs> Hello, EFAP crew, and hi, Rags. Hello to you. Or... Hi. Was watching your Lord of the Rings content was curious. Is it a problem that Shelob sticks Frodo despite him wearing Mithril? Seems like an issue that doesn't no. cripple but should change the story, right? No. Jesus, what um, the fuck? She stabs him. Ah, I remember when stop. this was a, a thing that stop. came up. Why are you uh, so but... loud? Rag, Rag, stop, stop. Your, your microphone is tismic out. <laughs> This is very oh? loud. For Why are you reason. so loud? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Did you do anything? <laughs> Chess going <in> my ears. <laughs> it, it sounded funny in terms of like. Oh wait, is it better? Is it back to normal? It's back to normal yeah, now. It's okay. back to normal now. Yeah. Okay, I, I checked my microphone properties and for some fucking reason it shot the level from where it normally is, which is at 50 to 100 yeah. and it maxed it out. And it, I have no idea why. It sounded it, so it like. defensive. <laughs> it was like, no. Yeah, was like, no. no. <laughs> Alright, Rags. Repeat what you were saying now that... You're not gonna okay. Hurt what what was I what was I saying? The Shelob Mithril. Blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, she stabs him in the front, and it it hangs down pretty far, on his uh, on his chest. If you go back and you kind of take a look at it at the time, he kind of has it open a bit. Uh, so it, it absolutely could uh probably could have stabbed him in the chest where the Mithril was not protecting him. Would that then move it to a contrivance that he had? unzipped slash unhooked the top portion? No, probably because it was just much more comfortable for him to travel with it like that. It could have became loose or tussled around while he was trying to escape Shelob's lair. Um, Shelob? No, I don't think it's a contrivance. Also, Shelob is pretty intelligent Shelob? as far as we're... <laughs> Shelob? You pronounced it three different ways in the past minute. Like, <laughs> That's fine. I'm like a... I'm, that, that's fine. That's all right. That's all good. Very well. Oh, so yeah, uh, Shalob is, is is often portrayed as being very, like, uh, like intelligent-ish, you know? So it's possible that she knows not to stab into armor after all of this time. So maybe she just went for the flesh that she saw and stabbed there. That That's makes a, a fair point, too. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that it's a contrivance or an issue with a film in any way. No. This this came up once, and which is why I looked into it. Someone had mentioned it, and I didn't know, so I went and checked. And it, it checks out. It checks out. Um, I want an EFAP General Hospital arc for the absolute black hole of long content. EFAP General, General hospital? hospital? Is that a show? Is that a... Is Was he in the army, or...? Oh. 
I, I like it. I was listening to you, Rax. Yeah, I get Is it. The like other two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I mean, I got it, but I was still thinking. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just soap opera. Yeah, people are saying it's a soap opera. The opera of soap. Yeah, something like that. Are you fucking kidding me? I accidentally walked into the second star and I don't have enough coins. I usually always have enough <laughs> coins. Sad. <laughs> I'm very sad. That's life. Uh, normally I have enough coins. But <laughs> <not yet. laughs> Thanks, you <laughs> lovely not. massives, for helping me through all the hard times lately. Your streams are objectively the best thing for me on the internet. Nice. No, Here we are, chatting about goo and penis. And there's someone out there who's like, this is the best content. Boom. Yeah, you. Ooh, we get to see if women are good at football. You guys ready? They're not. Rags, we're about to find out if that's true. <laughs> oh my goodness. Peach versus all of, let's oh be honest, goodness. the most Sigma oh males in all of the Mario series. Oh, Luigi? she's, she's kind of winning. Wait, is Luigi a Sigma male or does he try to... Oh. Buy for the affection of some lady ah, at oh some point. Oh, the microphone. Oh, again. Rags, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Schlumpf. Come on, Sigma Males. Oh, we were one away. Now she's the Sigma female. You flumped it up. But yeah, that sounds really annoying, Rags. Is there maybe like, is there a game that's doing this to you? Are you playing right now? Or is it something else? I don't know. Hey, can I get an ice latte with rhino milk? I mean breast milk. I mean breast. I mean breast milk. I mean I mean breast milk. That's that's all it is. Like, all right. Well, I read it. You know, I I did my job. Good job. Just a Funny. reminder for when you record the EFAP movies for Crimbo. <clears throat> you need to watch Fat Man with Mel Gibson. Hi, Rags, and happy Halloween, everyone. Metal. Thank you. Yeah, that's nice of them to make sure they mention you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you just have to give Bowser half your coins if you bump into him? Damn. Byro just lost 42 coins. Well, try that. I fiddled with some things. <laughs> you nice. are back to normal. We will let you know if it goes grumbo again. Oh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> Um, but yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll check out some more Santa-related movies. You know. Would you all rather date a sequel trilogy fan, or someone that wasn't a fan of any IPs? I don't know if you could find someone who was isn't a fan was... of any yeah. IPs. I don't know what that yeah. team looked like. <laughs> Plus, they, maybe they're a sequel fan, and they just... They're just dumb, and they, you know, it's it's not the most important thing being smart. It's it, more important <laughs> that you're honest and kind, and you care about mm -hmm. people. Honesty so is the best they, policy. Honesty, yeah. And maybe they just like it because they just like every kind of movie, and that's just kind of how they are. They just sort of like everything. Well, the weird thing was that it so said it, they were only a fan of that, and it's just like, really? Ow. Maybe it's the only things they've seen, then. Maybe. In which case, we can rescue them, right? That's true. That was my immediate thought. We can, I we can, can be saved. They There's can be hope shaved. For you. I'm a giant person, Bowser. Don't fuck with me. Uh, so this little megafied runt thinks I can be defeated. Hmm. Very interesting. Prepare yourself. What's he gonna do? Oh, we're gonna fight. Bastard. Hey, this is a cool little interaction, I guess. If you're a mega person, you. Oh, what is this? Guys, do you know numbers? I've it's heard of seven. Them. Panels of doom. Match Nine. dice with Bowser. <laughs> First, you must pick a number. Then we roll the dice. The place matching the number on the dice will crumble away and fall. If you roll the dice and get your hmm. opponent's face, then you win instantly. What? I, I want the number where you win instantly. I like that number. So, so Bowser... <sighs> this is a very confusing game. He killed himself. Does the dice? Nice. Oh, nice. Great, great, <laughs> best game ever. <laughs> what? Free is gonna be so proud. Why do we... Free. Free. Why would be proud? Yeah. Oh right, survival, survival strategy. <laughs> survival strategy. <laughs> what do I do? Do I do I just win everything now? I killed Bowser. 
Yeah, you save the lands. I guess lands. you can go home. I don't get anything. Bullshit. <laughs> okay, I squished a fat guy. That's something. <laughs> God, I'm just running around this thing over and over again. How about that? Okay. Uh, make your best Elvis impression. Thank you, thank you very much. That was so uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Rags uh, is the one see. that has to do it because he's uh, the American. Like, like, uh, hmm. of course, his catchphrase is, of course, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. you, thank you he, much. He's almost got a little Heisenberg in him, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I can see that, yeah. Thanks for coming on out here today to listen to me sing. <laughs> what, what are some of his favorite uh, famous songs? Um, let me see. I'm not a big Elvis fan. Uh... Elvis Presley song. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Do you know why I know that? Specifically? Because I know why I know that. Why? And I'm curious if you guys... I think Free might be able to know why I know that. That little quote. Wow. I'm Buffy then. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally about oh, to be... I was about to say that. as like, <laughs> No, it's a, it's, a, it's a different shared passion. Uh, was Angel. It from Classic Rock. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. The, I work hard for the money. Nope. Work hard. Oh. Wait, that's, so, is some, that an Elvis song? Someone in. I don't think so, no. Someone in chat no. has guessed it. It's in and among all of the guesses. Do, 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 you, do you give in? I can give you a clue. So, the thing that you know that from. The but reason I know, I know that that is Elvis is to do with Pixar. Oh, um... Oh, was it Slinky? No. Hmm. Huh. So, something from Pixar, where they did, I guess, I guess someone was doing an Elvis impression? Or... Oh, is it Toy Story? No. I mean, I don't mind the process of elimination. Throw throw some films out in Pixar and see if you if you hit it, and All then right, you can... Nope. Bugs Life. Nope. Finding Nemo. Nope. Wait, fuck. Wally. I've screwed up. It's not Pixar. It's Disney Animation. <laughs> and Lilo and Stitch, because that's what everybody was Lilo saying. Lilo and Stitch. She loves. Oh, you're not Elvis. supposed to look at chat. No, okay. she loves Elvis. They dressed up Stitch's Elvis. No, no, Elvis. I meant I meant because uh, Fringy said that's what everyone's saying. Yeah. Oh, Fringy, did you look wrong. at the chat? Well, the thing is, is they were all saying Lilo and Stitch is like, wait, Pixar, okay, and then... Well, yeah, but you don't yeah. supposed to look at them anyway, because <laughs> that's going to give it away. Okay. Yeah, yeah fair enough. It. I didn't ruin it. Did. Literally did. Well, I got it. Later. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm willing it, to give but... it to Rags, yeah. but not you, Fringy, you cheated. Okay. Is that uh, Lilo, I don't Lilo know. Stitch? I got it. All on my own. <laughs> it was all me. On me, baby. On me. Well, you know, I mean, sheesh. just to finish it out then, Fringy, what is the reference? I don't remember. Oh. Rags, what is the reference? Well, Elvis was the king of cool, and we needed to make Stitch... Stitch was very angry. We had to make Stitch cool. So she dressed him up as Elvis and played the record. She even gave uh, him a ukulele, yeah, no. No. and he went out to the beach and everything, and she was like, hit it. True. Um, the particular scene I was talking about is she... He opens his mouth, I think, and puts his his finger or his nail on uh, the record. That's true, yeah. And the sound play and she opens his mouth, and I think it's you ain't nothing but yeah, a she's hound like, watch dog. this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that was fun. That was a great. Movie. It that was a really specific reference too. So I like it when those happen. It's like my brain is just fucking around with me, I guess. What an adventure we just went on. Me. Lilo and Stitch. I'd like to watch that oh, again yeah. sometime. That'd be fun. Make an EFAB React arc if Star Wars visions bring Shad, Theo, Robot, Head, Chase, Face, and Morty. Like he can't. He doesn't like being called Morty. But also enough Morty. blood pressure medicine on. I don't want to watch it. I just it's it's not. I, I'm alright. You know we got. I want. You know what I want to watch? Final Destination. That's top quality compared Ooh. to Star Wars visions. Hey, okay? this is almost the season of the year to be. Um, 
watching those kinds of movies because it's a Tis. it's like a spooky flism. Maybe people will see us watching them next year because this year they're gonna watch us watch uh, Resident Evil. Oh, oh my wow! Dreams. Which, by the way, the first one for no, that is coming out in two days. How very interesting! Yes, the arc begins. Would you guys get a long, sorry, get on a long distance one way trip into deep space? Nope. I really don't know. Where are we going? Like, if it's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a one way trip into deep space? I was like, going to say. No. I'm, I, I All assume, my stuff is here. I assume they might be referencing, like, <laughs> for the sake of exploration. I'd be like, I'm all right. I, no, I, it's too uh, risky in terms of. It's too risky in terms of it could be nothing, and then I just age and die. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well. Now, if you were to ask. Now, if you asked me, Rags, would you go on the Lewis and Clark expedition? Yes, I would. I would do that. Um, but if deep space, like, no. Like, I want to come back. What about Clewis and Locke? <laughs> I think, I forget which one was depressed. Well, either Lewis or Clark was depressed, and he killed himself by shooting himself in the head and the stomach at once. Oh. Um, That's effective. EFAP's Weebophobia is so problematic. I think it's good to be afraid of Star Wars visions, from what I've seen, alright? That's a healthy fear. <laughs> Would you go. Oh, well, the second part of that was also discuss morality of Chris Pratt's decision to wake a crewmate in passengers. Do you guys know what that's referencing? I have, yeah, I have not I'm seen that movie, sure that but I don't have any interest premise... in it, so go ahead. Well, I've seen it, the so premise... I can explain it. Okay, I. Uh, you'd probably be better then, because I haven't seen it. I just know what it's about. It's a distant future. Got a, a resort ship that's traveling from Earth to just another planet that we've got um, colonized, and everything's great. Um, uh, everyone's put into deep, like, hypersleep. Unfortunately, the shielding for the ship gets damaged by a series of, like, unexpected asteroids or something. And uh, through different pieces of damage to the ship, it all ultimately leads to one pod being opened up early. And it's Chris Pratt's. And um, we see okay. him take advantage of the resorts on this whole ship for good. I want to say a while. I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, but he starts to lose his mind because there's no one he can talk to. And then he eventually decides okay. to fake someone else's pod activating when he actually woke them up. And what it means oh. to wake up is that you will age to death before they get to their location. That is a very immoral thing to do. I don't. I don't know that there's much more to say than that. Like, cause it, it yeah, the film it's frames yeah. it. Yeah, it's really wrong. Yeah. Uh, he knows that too. The film frames it as he's very aware that he's he's done something that's pretty horrible. Mm, yeah, that's uh, not pleased with that decision. If someone did that. I guess. I guess you can't be refreezed. No, at least not in the the premise for that movie. Okay. Um. I might be forgetting maybe some details here and there, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure that's... I, I do know that, like, at the end of that movie that... I think the, the character is presented with the choice that Jennifer Lawrence to go back in, and then she doesn't, and they hang out and die or something. It's like, hi. Oh, that's, like, a bit Stockholm-y, a little bit. I'm pretty sure as well, the way she finds out wasn't smooth. It was like... There's an AI uh, bartender, and it, and he like tells the bartender not to tell her that he decided because he talks to the bartender AI basically to try and keep himself sane. And I think right. that bartender, because Michael Sheen I think plays that bartender, I'm not sure, but it, um, um, like Chris Pratt goes to the toilet or something, and the bartender I think says something like, "I'm very glad he chose to wake you up," and she's like, "What?" Who? I can't remember if it's that clunky or not, but I remember just being like, oh. Come on, job! You fool. Um, but it didn't... I, I don't think that movie has a good reputation. Uh, I don't know many people who like it. Um... Do, 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 do. New member. Thank you very much. Uh, in Visions, droids require breather helmets in space, but humans don't. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's anime. <laughs> Alright then. Is uh is Dark Souls 1 still objectively the best Soulsborne game? Yes. 
Um, it's just a, it's always a tough a question to answer exactly. It's definitely <laughs> my favorite. You got Dark Souls Three yeah. is probably competition, uh, but maybe not in terms of map building. It's 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 a complicated one. It ain't fucking yeah. Bloodborne. I'm sorry. It ain't Dark Souls Two. Um, yep. It ain't gonna be Demon Souls, but it could be Sekiro. Is that possible, Metal? I haven't played it really. Uh. It's very different. Sekiro is very different. Uh, it doesn't have as much replay value, I feel like. Like, I never even finished my new game plus one. Because, like, oh, I know these bosses work now, <clears throat> basically. It's fun, but I, I, pr I prefer the Dark Souls game play, I guess. Like in Sekiro, it's like, oh, I do this, now I do this. That's just the correct move to make, that sort of thing. It's it's almost like a rhythm game because you, you get the oh, rhythm of the man. attack patterns of the enemies because it plays very differently because you don't really dodge anything but you block all the time like parry. you block block yeah. parry block parry until the bar goes down enough and then you can do like a kill move or in a boss case you get this first uh bar down or whatever yeah, it's it's super fun, but I, I've never I never had the urge to go back to play it again. Mm -hmm. Like I would still recommend playing it, but I don't I I I, I didn't get anything from a second playthrough on that on that game specifically. All right. Um, Ibratas has one of my favorite themes, but I never get to hear it in game. Yeah, because you kill him in the first few seconds, so it's done. <laughs> like the stu That's the pasta monster. Um, how often do y'all bother with moon presence? Um, if I can be asked... Is I'll, that a Bloodborne thing? It's a, um, it's a bonus boss you can get if you want. Yeah. <laughs> how too often I'm... Hmm. Just... I when I feel like it, basically. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They say it takes a big man to admit when he's wrong. In that case, what's Movie Bob's excuse? Raise a fist. Ah. Uh, well. Because he's a bit. Yeah. Maybe he's actually he's small boy. of whatever the species of him is. Yeah. Um, that's not fair, Rags. I'm all of those things, and marinating chicken and Mountain Dew disgusts me. <laughs> oh, I forgot what your requirements were for thinking that that's something normal. <laughs> but... well, fat and ugly. <laughs> right, I'm all of those things. <laughs> I'm all, I'll have you know. The fat, ugly community is <laughs> very upset with this assumption. Um, oh, Seath, how's it feel to be a bitch? That's a, that's a Dark Souls reference again. This person likes Dark Souls a lot. Just imagine Rags' fury a bed of chaos if he played it. That chat would lose the chat would lose their minds. The thing is he'd be right. Um <laughs> to that that's one of the worst bosses in gaming. Like bar none. Yeah, it's really bad. They really fucked up Bed of Chaos. In Doom Eternal the area is garbage. Yeah. In Doom Eternal, Hell canonically didn't invade Australia or New Zealand. Arachnophobia? Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I wouldn't why New presume. Zealand? Like, I get the Australia joke, but why New Zealand? Because it's close by. You don't want, you don't want to dip your toe in, in <laughs> fakeness, even by going to New Zealand, you know? Right. Jaws is a 9 out of 10 for me. Favorite movie. I mean, yeah. I've heard it's very, very good. I don't think I've watched it from, like, start to finish ever. I've I never, ever watched seen it. it a couple of times, but it's all been really long ago. Um, but always thought it was a good movie. Damn, didn't know they added Seth Rogen and Charlie Day into this game. They were truly ahead of their time. Yep. <laughs> Pretty neat. Imagine being a sunscreen salesman on that island like an old snake oil peddler from the Wild West. Can make a killing. Pun intended. Um, I don't know that sunscreen would be enough, but fuck it, you could try. Gotcha. Rags and Fringy, did Morden's final scene get you teary-eyed the first time? Yep, still does. Yeah, it's a good one. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, I feel that having Rags or Fringy reading Super Chats will make it easier for Morley. I mean, technically, that I mean, would probably well, be true, yeah. but it's just easier on my end to have it all set up. Because so. I wouldn't have to keep passing things over. Besides, I don't know that it's... I assume people aren't that frustrated that I pause Mario Party to read. Like, you know. I hate I'm very it. Upset. It's like, I need yeah. to see what happens next. I... It's like, you'll be fine. It's okay. Molly, are you on today's Super Chats? Yes! Oh my god. Um, Y'all ever watch Joel Edgerton's The Gift? Nope. No. Um. I have not. Well, there you go. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I've not even heard of it. Um, the feds might want to take you to some black site and harvest your blood for its properties. Glowies ruin everything. So, this is what I mean. If you were an actual vampire, they probably would be like, we're going to need you to come with us. We need to find out everything about you, and that's going to involve some unpleasant testing, probably. Um, I don't know how far they would go past that, though. Mm -hmm. Y'all are making me think of the show In the Heat of the Night. I've never heard of that either. Why? Holy duck, I've been resubscribed uh, for over two years. What the fuck am I doing with my life? <laughs> They're correct decisions? You're e fapping buddy. Um, I believe in most vampire lore, non-human blood can sustain them, but it's not nearly as tasty or filling, and most vamps break and eat humans eventually. Yeah, uh, that, that was Vampire the Masquerade. They do that in a lot the... of stuff, yeah. The human blood tastes better it's than animal blood. Make, you know? But that is, this is the thing. If someone told me, like, you have to, I don't know, eat tofu to exist in the world now, I'd be like, well, I mean, I'll do that rather than die. Can I, can I put condiments on it? Maybe they don't taste like anything. <clears throat> the condiments? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe everything well, tastes like tofu. Water. Maybe that's the point. I'm trying to, what is, what is more tasteless than stuff like that? Like, water cubes. <laughs> water cubes, yeah. Water <laughs> cubes. Water jelly. <laughs> um, I can't believe Bowser killed Keegan-Michael Key. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so fucked up. Lol, what a small weird world. Y'all covered the surfs. He debated Sitchin Adam and he's friends with Jack Saint. Also high rags. Yeah, Hello. networks everywhere. And, uh, I just, it's no secret, I have zero respect for the Sims. He's like a, he's a, a malicious moron. So, not, not the greatest kind of person. Um, the Donkey Kong podcast has a source at Nintendo confirm they did put Donkey Kong and Cranky in the Mario movie as set up for their own movie. Possible NCU incoming. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Woohoo! Why you, you guys aren't excited, and that that's sad to me, you know? Boo. You should get Cardinal West on EFAP. He's a fan. Any of you guys know Cardinal West? Can't say that I do. I do not. I'm not familiar, I'm afraid. Um, I like how they set up that tiny island where the kids go in episode one and the start of the finale, and they do literally nothing when it passes with it past the cats. Well, would there be anything to do? Out to? Yeah, I guess I'm wondering what there is to do out there. If it is literally just like There's a, a place little... place they could hide? If it's a Maybe, little bit of land uh, at the end, and that's it? Yeah, because yeah, if there's buildings on it, then yeah, for sure. Oh, did I win? Did I win? Did you win? I did win. Wow! Have I got to battle Bowser again? I already killed him twice. Or, <laughs> well, I can't remember anyone. <laughs> I got the Bowser <laughs> gift. I don't even know what that means. The big D. <laughs> the big um, D. Oh, yeah. More Super Chats with the Super Chaps will be a good evening. I hope so. Mm-hmm. I hope so, too, because I have to do it. Um, I feel like that confidence competence graph you had up is super applicable to modern politics and figures, e.g. Nuggy Man. I... Nuggie hell yeah. Man. That's like one yeah. of the ones you'll find it with the most, honestly. <clears throat> J. Michael Straczynski helped write Thor 2011. 
This is the thing, as much as he's apparently coming back for Babylon 5's reboot on the CW. Have we even mentioned- have I told you guys about this? You're talking um, about- no. Uh, <laughs> I don't- Babylon yeah. 5 is like one of the most respected sci-fi shows of all time. It's yeah. complete. Oh yeah, the just... CW have- uh, they're gonna reboot Babylon 5 and people generally really like that show. And so it's just like, nightmare fuel, I think, it's anyway. It's gonna be terrible. Yeah. I guess they have that kind of, I don't, well, maybe I don't know how much the rights to that cost, but I guess they had the money to spend on Babylon 5. Um, so yeah, the fact that, you know, it's not hugely reassuring that he's attached, but I guess that's the best chance you got, so hopefully it'll be good. Doctor Strange said there was only one way to win against Thanos, so wouldn't Thor going for the head have failed somehow based on that? Does that, that doesn't make any sense though, does it? I don't see how it could fail. And, like, I don't yeah. like this cop-out of, like, well, it would've, trust me. It's like, oh. Okay. That's not how heads work. Imagine Doctor Strange was just like, I just want to find a way that Iron Man dies. Because, like, he's annoying. Like, well, you know, let's do it that way. Wow, look at this big cube set. Have I got to do some platforming? Don't think you'll get in so easily. That's right, things are going to get hot. Oh. What yes. if Marvel actually used What If to vent the quality of writers, to vet the quality of writers, seeing how they can work in a universe without their work being canon? They don't even know what good and bad is, so that yeah, <laughs> like, that's the it thing. make a difference. A, like that could be a clever <laughs> idea for them to do. However, they don't know what good and bad is. I've been saying that for ages now. They don't know what the good and bad is to aim for. Nope. So what the fuck is gonna happen? Nothing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Midnight Mass question. Is the clipped wings not healing an issue, or did I miss something? Yes. That's exactly. It's definitely an issue. So all you can do is head yeah. cannon. You'd have to be like, the wings didn't heal quickly because they are... No, I of... thought you were talking about her story. Uh, but y'all with the vampire. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it mm. just didn't heal for whatever reason. But the, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure several of us were talking about that when it happened we were like why why wouldn't he just heal and um, yep. especially when he would be at like at the height of his regeneration because he just drained a human of their blood and yeah. that's that's when vampires are supposed to be at their most powerful at least wait what am i gonna do oh that's interesting oh look at that oh that was really easy they only dropped a little ball on me <laughs> losers Cinema wins coverage of Birth of a Nation when? <laughs> Cinema wins on Birth of a Nation. Um, also, hi, Rags and others, I guess. Hello. hello. Well, hello, I guess. I guess. Uh, would I you guess. rather have super speed but with no changes to your reaction speed, or super strength but you get no more durable so punching something hard will explode your hand, bones will get crushed with too much weight, etc.? It doesn't sound like it's very useful then if I yeah. am gonna. <laughs> um. All right. Oh what? That insta kills me. What a shit game. <laughs> you are fucking dead. I really am. I have to do all that again. Ugh, that's rough. That runs with Banjo Kazooie. I'm tired. Carry me to bed. No, I will not. Man. Um. So, with the whole super speed but no change to reaction speed, that just seems like I'm gonna kill people. Yeah, yeah. it seems like I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt myself. The um super strength but no more durable just means well my life will generally get easier than it is right now, because I know what I can and can't pick up that'll fucking hurt my back or whatever I guess. I don't know. It's a weird one, but I'm guessing Super Strength is the one to go for there. Um, speaking of Jesus, and Jojo in Steel Ball run the main characters... In Steel Ball Run, the main ca Commas, everybody, please. The main characters <laughs> need to race the president to collect the severed body parts of Jesus. Nice. He's nice. like Exodia. What happens when you put them together? <laughs> Does he go on like Super Jesus? Yeah. 
Idea for Black Widow sequel. Five years later, one of the inmates survived and hates the Widow family for what they did, so he kills the remaining ones. Oh, it would be great. It would be so great. What needs to happen? <laughs> Metal is adorable. Thanks. Not really, not really cool to lie, but you know it's fine. Howdy I'll, from I'll Texas, it. everyone. An issue with Black Widow I thought of is, what would Cap slash the Avengers slash the world think of the whole prison disaster? Also, y'all's thoughts on Sicario. But first... Sicario's great. Yeah, fucking love it. Top, top, top notch. Um, yes. As for <sighs> what would the world think of um, the prison thing? I mean... Would they be pretty appalled? Yeah, like... It kind of spits in the face of the whole fucking point of the Accords. But yeah. oh well. Um, I wonder what Cap would think about it. I mean, we know what he'd think about it, but like the result of all that happening, like, ugh, did they... If they would have learned about that, how many of them... Maybe, who knows, maybe someone would have changed their mind, or maybe, who knows? I mean, if that, like, canonically, if everyone knew about this thing happening and that she was the cause of it, man, mm -hmm. that would have really made the anti, you know, the the, the Accords people really kind of go, whoa, shit, we need this bad. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. Look, Rags, I have to use my brain to solve puzzles. Ugh, that's not how that's supposed to work. Yeah. And yet, here we are. Yet, ain't nobody going to fucking defend Black Widow for doing what she did, and it would be cool to have a scene of cap just ripping into it. The thing is, he might be a little mm -hmm. bit busy, because he's got to rip into uh, Bucky and Falcon first. <laughs> so many rippings to do. I lost a heart. I'm terrible. Idiot. I told you not to do that. Stupid. EFAP always gets me through the night shift. Love y'all. Oh, thanks. We'll thanks be here. Much. Another movie to watch because you guys need more of those. SAS Red Notice. It's a die-hard type action flick with Ruby Rose as a sociopath villain. Oh, wow. boy. That sounds it's interesting. Just just now. So just regular <laughs> Batwoman, yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh, I gotta make, like, um, uh, a pentagram to kill Bowser because he's, like, super evil. That makes sense. Gosh. How evil is Bowser? Um. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh. Well, I mean, it's complicated. Oh, it's complicated. Evil is evil is a complicated <laughs> thing. That's, yeah. I can't tell from here. I mean, it's not fear. Ugh. There you go. Gotcha. Oh, you little bitch. Um. Oh, I said little bitch, and my phone's like, how many calories are in an apple? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you, phone. Out of curiosity, how would you guys rewrite the modern Godzilla movies? As a big fan, I was kind of disappointed and mildly entertained. Also, hi, Fringy. Um, I don't know. That's that's asking a lot on the spot, but some sort of event causes multiple monsters to emerge at the same time. One of them appears to be less evil than the other. And so we grapple with, do we need this Godzilla? Are we going to risk it and allow Godzilla to live so that his destructive power kills the really evil one? And if we do, I guess that's just a price we pay. I mean, yeah. Thought, maybe? Yeah. Mm. I mean, we're certainly not going to have a character that's like, we need to unleash all monsters on Earth to destroy everything, to reset the ecology of Earth for the better of Mother Nature, or some shit. We ain't doing that. Oh, you can just push me into the lava and I die? That's good. Oh, like, I don't understand how you missed this, Nintendo. All you have to do is make me bounce out of the lava and back in and I lose a heart. That's, that's like, literally yep. the easy answer here. You fucked up big time, because now you reset me on the whole game every time. That is bad. That's big, Gnarly big... party. It's this poo-poo in the butt, but, like, when you don't want it to be there. You know? Invasion poo-poo, as they say. 
I'm gonna poop in the butt. I'm gonna go to bed now. So oh, okay. I'll, 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 I'll catch you all uh, later. Goodbye, yeah, Mr. Metal. Yeah. Guten Nacht, Heimers. You're bad at this, Mola. So that's actually irrelevant to my point. Um, and if if what I was saying was true, I think I would have uh, won by now. But unfortunately, they've got the insta kill thing going on, which I'm telling you, only makes it fun. Um. Uh... Frog, thoughts on Australians' war crime in Order 66? What, 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 what do you think they're referring to with that? So, uh, as I was walking in with my coffee, I overheard Australian war crime through my head. Is that bad? I don't know, really. It's, it says, what are your thoughts on the Australian war crime in Order 66? Order 66. Mm hmm. Oh, they're not Australians, they're New Zealand. Oh, yeah. Um... I'm sorry, Order 66? What do you well, mean? Well, because the clone troopers are New Zealand, not Australian. I forget. Tamira Morrison, Tamira right? Tamira Morrison that's his name. is yeah. New Zealand. He's Maori. I believe he's. He, I would presume he's Maori, but more so New Zealand. He's got a cool name. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Oh, and also, uh, Book of Boba Fett's coming out on the 29th of December. That's oh, the but for fuck's sake, game, why are you designed oh, this way? I thought you were saying, like, oh, for fuck's sake. We gotta no, watch I mean, Book of Boba Fett on the 29th of December specifically? Oh, no. Well, I'm sure I'll be real excited. That's gonna be awkward, isn't it? It's like, who the fuck's gonna be available to edit that? <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> Krimbus. All of a sudden, everyone becomes very busy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Aren't New Zealanders and Australians both Kiwis? What are you talking about, friend? <laughs> no, no, New Zealanders are Kiwis, Australians are koalas. Yeah. I mean, I always like to present it as basically New Zealand is like Australia's Canada. Um, they're very Australia similar, but they're a little Canada. bit different. Yeah, in the sense that it's like, of the two countries, yeah. Australia is more significant in terms of just, you know, like, relevance on the global stage. But... You know, New Zealand's super nice too, and it's probably really easy to adjust to living in New Zealand, more so than basically moving to any other country if you're an Australian. Um, yeah. They're further south, Canada's further north. Bringu is made of unobtainagu, or ragu. No, no. Oh. No. Disagreement. Oh, ragu? Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, hi, Rags. Hello to you. Did Kevin Smith write the last episode of Midnight Mass? My expectations of a good season finale were subverted. I'm lost how they messed it up that badly. So are we. Yep. So are we. I don't know what happened. I can't believe they managed to, like, fumble it worse than Hill House, which it's like, as we've said many times, it's like, they really fucked that up. But there we are. Um, Fringy, talk about the biological warfare used by Australia to control rabbit populations after the failure of the Great War. Um, I'm not familiar with that. Well, there you go. Um, Splitgate is FPS Halo combat with portal physics. I've heard good things about Splitgate. Is that new? I don't know if it's new. Maybe. I have never heard of it, or at least I don't think I have. That's fine. Um, what is a hundred in Welsh? Oh. So, in daitri pedwa pimkwe saith oith now deg is is one to ten. Um, I don't know if I can remember what one hundred is though. I'd have to Google it. Welshman couldn't count to a hundred anyway. I don't even know why he'd buy it. Well, it's just in case, right? Just in case. You never know with these fellas, these folks. Um, yesterday is Gester in German, but day is Tag. Gester Tag? Right. Learning German every day. Oh, this fucking thing's in the wrong place. Ah! 
Uh, when is the DS2 hot tub stream with naked rags and fringy in the tub with you? And Alex Jones being the I'm announcer. Naked. Yeah. It's and, rare that I'm not naked. And Mootle versus Movie Bob wrestling match. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't want to confirm when any of these events are taking place, but uh, let's just say, you know, get excited. Could be at any point. Hello, you massives. Does Fringy's goo have any supernatural qualities, or does its mechanics align with one of our current understandings of physics? Hi, Rex. Hello. I mean, I'm a man of science, so... So it's non-supernatural is what you're saying. I'm saying I'm a man of science. So it's non-supernatural, yeah? I'm a man of science. Hmm. I don't know if we can trust this guy, Rex. I don't know what's going on with this goo. I got my eye on him. Hmm. I don't know. Rags, re your mic and say, where did you train? On a farm? I, I, I don't know. Where did was... you train? <laughs> on a farm? Oh, God. Nothing worse than, uh, than Angry Zod, you know? He starts talking about farms. A farmer must have hurt him as a child at some point. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Bowser be nice. That's fine. Okay. Hi, Rex. Hello to you. As I understand it, your main issue with anime is when characters simply say how they feel, motives, etc. How would you fix this if you were making an anime? Hi, Rags, Fringy Goo, um, Don Bless, etc. I just wouldn't have them do it. I'm gonna say, like, I'm not so, entirely yeah, sure why they You just don't have them do that. Uh, and it's one of my issues with anime. One of my many. Many of them, many of them are stylistic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rags just ruined Grandma's ears. Also, hi, Metal Man. I'm sure Grandma will be fine. Oh, they fucking reset. That's mean. Oh, it doesn't affect me. That's great. Um, EFAP plus mean repository plus Gothic phone equals every frame of penis. There's usually one that every crops up. Every frame of penis? A penis? Yeah, penises are cropping up all the time on Gothic phone, right? All the time. They as, are, actually. As someone who's consumed a lot of foreign media, I can't stand the it's foreign, therefore good argument. It's quite reductive to say something is good simply based on it belonging to X genre or coming from X country. Well, completely agreed. I'm not sure how often I come across that. I don't think... I can't remember the last time I did. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um... Also, hi, Rags. Fringy, Moodle, by Mumblo. Um, hello. Hello there. Yes. Oh, okay. Bly spoiler. Alright, you hit it, chat. Better mute for a sec. Bly spoiler. Bly spoiler. Here it comes. Alarm! Anna died the day Danny arrived, yet is still in physical contact with people, while Quint clearly can't. Did I miss an explanation? Yes, she's not um, accepted she's dead. Um, he pretty much did straight away. Because, uh... The thing with Quint, when you, his death scene, is that he watches, um... They're, they're, they're looking at him like they don't understand, because he just died. Like, he has direct contact with someone who watched him die, and then he sees his body being pulled across the, um... The hallway or whatever, while Hannah gets reset to just seconds ago, and she's confused, and then someone's like, Hello, Hannah, and she's like, Oh, fuck, hi. And, um... I think they make it about willpower, right? Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, you mother! How did you do that? The lightning strike took right, ages. Hey, you have no right to tell me to calm down. You do this all the time in Hollow Knight. Yeah, true. Right. You got me. Oh man, he's good. Oh, that missed. Okay. It's your opinion game. Oh, 
my god, this is pain. People always say hi to drunk rags, but no one ever says drunk to high rags. Also high rags. Drunk. Someone in chat said, I think Quinton's death scene is the best written in cinema. <laughs> what? Quinton's? I, I didn't know Quinton had a death scene. Maybe he filmed one. He was like, he's, he's doing his first movie. Well, it's, like a, it's like a death on the inside sort of thing. Ah. Uh. He died on the inside when he had to buy 250 of his own fucking machines. I feel like anybody would die on the inside at that point. Man. <laughs> Damn. Like, just... Uh. Yeah, Bowser, get fucked. Finish. Also, this is me beating the game, question mark? I've never known what it means to beat the, the, the game in Mario Party that often, because I just played it with friends, you know? This is single-player mode. I did. We did it. Has Fringy had a chance to check out Sassy Justice? If so, thoughts? I haven't. I'm not sure what that is, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I've never even heard of that. Never, but maybe maybe it has been mentioned. I think a line is of dialogue... Sure where I'm the superhero? A line of dialogue Bowser just had superhero. was, How could I lose to Waluigi? <laughs> How could I lose to Waluigi? Oh! No, I remember this was being mentioned. It was, uh... Trey Parker, Matt Stone, Peter Serrano... I always get his last name mixed up. It's some web series. I might actually... Hold on, I might pull that up. Not watch it right now, but... I've unlocked the Bowser bath. Alright. It's like a little hot tub. I'm okay with this. <laughs> um, apparently Dog the Bounty Hunter is closing in on Brian Laundry. Laundry? Obi finds him both to bring him to justice, to the girl's family, and for the memes. I, I have no idea. I, I'm afraid I don't know who these people are. I know who Dog the Bounty Hunter is. Yeah. But, I'm yeah. I'm the oh. dog, the big bad dog. <laughs> the hallway monitor. Oh my god, Bowser just said happy birthday. I'm like... I'm like happy and stuff. I'm not good with mushy things. It's like, what is this? Bowser said happy birthday? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thanks, Bowser. Yeah. You know, you don't Why have to send me. Why is he walking away so sad looking? Because I beat him in the video game, but he's like, okay, but happy birthday is just saying. It's like, oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah. Right, I see. There's someone else. Does this story never end? Am I have to fight God? Oh, this is pre rendered now. Wait, is Waluigi oh, crying? What is with his eyes? Anna's eyes always got those, like, blue... No, wait, no they don't. What's what's going on? Well, I was gonna feel like, I, like have I never noticed that before? <laughs> is he really upset that he lost? Well, I think he's upset because he's never won anything and celebrated his own birthday, you know? And that's why this is so special. No, Waluigi has blue around his eyes all the time. I guess it's more prominent here than usual. I don't know, because I, I feel like I've never seen that before. Cursed. <laughs> oh, look, this is so nice. Waluigi just gets to have his moment. Oh, look, he's a constellation. <gasps> wow, like the Greek heroes of old. But look at the star, it just gibbed out in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Waluigi. We did it, everyone! Is there a happier ending you could achieve? I don't think so. Yeah, this is the time to do the credits for the game, I guess. That makes sense. Um, oh, you're a Disney fan? Name every IP and studio owned by Disney. That's no, becoming increasingly Well, impossible. by the time you finish the list, the list will have gotten bigger. Yep. Everyone think of the most creatively OP superpower you would like to have. Wouldn't it just be omnipotence uh, or whatever? Yeah, it would be something like that. Like uh, omnipotence or like a time travel shenanigan. W's in the chat for Waluigi. Uh, everyone else write in law to balance them. How can you have a... Cr like deliberately OP power. Can't be and, overpowered and yeah. And balanced. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Unless you're talking like monkey poor shit or whatever, where it's like you have the power to fly, and it's like yeah, but you shit whenever you do it. 
Or, or are we just doing... Because, like, if, if, if Rag says omnipotence and then I go, I'm going to balance it by making it not omnipotence. It's like, okay. Yeah, we're going to put some <laughs> limits on that omnipotence. I mean, omnipotence already doesn't make sense as a power. Like, it can't exist. It's not logically coherent. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe it's the whole, you know, can God make a rock so big you can't lift it? Like, you can't, you cannot be omnipotent. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, it would be... Yeah, I mean, you could have, like, I get it in over terms of overpoweredness. Why would you ask us that and then tell us to balance it? I, don't I mean, know. maybe it's this, like a, the one to, like, what is your overpowered power now that we've established it is overpowered? Like, okay, now what would you do to balance that power? Maybe that's what they're asking. In which case, I can, I can see that. I can get it, you know? I did say creatively OP. What, is, what does it mean? Creatively, mean creatively OP? OP. <laughs> what does that mean, yeah? I'm assuming they mean some. I don't know if, like I said, oh, I have the power to just fucking laser and oh, like, like Cyclops. Like, and oh, then, I have invincibility armor, you know? Oh, well, I assume they would then say, like, oh, yeah, well, you do have the lasers, but they can't be turned off. That's how it's balanced. And you have to, <laughs> you have to have, like, technology or something. He's like, oh, okay. Maybe that's what they mean. I don't know. Do they have Cyclops glasses or something like that? Yeah. Uh, can we all agree that Tully's. That the Tullys in Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire are the worst house, especially the women. Except Blackfish, he's cool. I was gonna say, Blackfish pretty badass. They fucking wasted him in the show, holy shit. Um, morbidly curious what Rags would think of the song Kingslayer featuring Baby Metal. And what's a country you guys haven't been to but want to explore? Uh, I'd like to go to Japan. I wanna go to America. I was gonna say, mine's America, yeah. But Japan would also be really cool. I would like to go to yeah. Japan. Uh, I'd like to go to Canada. I'm gonna go to France, Germany. There are a lot of countries that would be cool to visit. What film? Would be, uh... What film has made you the most emotional? Hmm. Uh... Um. It might. It might be Endgame. I remember when I first watched Interstellar when it came out, I got very emotional. Um, I didn't. Um, <laughs> There's no I point asking confused. me that question. <laughs> I was confused see. as to why he was floating around. And, uh, Wally's pretty high up there. Let me see. Hmm. Well, while you're having a look, uh, Ladder 49. Either of you guys heard of that? No. No. From, I've heard I haven't seen the film in so long, a... but... What I remember Fire is... Firefighter movie? Yes. I watched it with my two sisters when it came out. It was Joaquin Phoenix. Man, one of the strongest memories I have of that film is the two of them crying because of how sad that film is. It's Let's just put it this way. It's firefighters doing what firefighters do and bad things happen. Um, right. And I remember being like, fuck, this movie is really, really sad. What's that movie called, sorry? Ladder 49. That would be cool for us to check out at some point just for my right. myself in terms of... Uh, remembering what it was about fully. Oh, the father is probably that last scene of oh, the father. That there. was that hit pretty hard. Yeah, that's yeah. getting up there. I mean, I know it's a client, like it's almost. It feels like obligatory, but the 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 end of Terminator Two that gets a lot of people. It certainly got me that's when I was a good young one, man. Yeah. But I I always get teary at the end of a uh, Return of the King. Hmm. Th there's plenty actually. There's there's a whole bunch. There's all kinds. I got upset with Luke's death for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, I can see that. I can see it's being distraught instead of it. That's potential. Um. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot. But off the top of my head, this. There's some answers. Um, Mott, explain why half America is Erica with flowers. Sometimes I just don't understand Erica Super Chats, you know? Mott, explain why half America is Erica 
with flowers. I don't, I don't understand. Erica with flowers? Half of America is Erica. Am Erica. Am. Like am, is am flowers? I, yeah, I don't know. Am Erica. Or the song? I don't know. I, yeah, I don't. I, I do not know what it is that you mean. Belch. So now that I completed the game with Waluigi, what 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 is the point of this game's existence, you know? Yeah, I mean, you might as well just, like, that's it, right? I guess I should move on to Mario Party 5, because, <laughs> like, I've completed the point of this game. This option... Who are you, gonna explore you have extracted next all the fun from this game. There's none left. When you win with Waluigi... Been, you've crypto-mined it. Yeah. Um, if Paddington 3 is as good as the first two, would that make it the better than most movie trilogies? Sheesh. I haven't seen any of them, so... I'm pretty sure those films are incredibly highly rated. Mm. Um, yeah. And if it was, then I suppose it would, at least, if general consensus... As far as I... Guys, check out my Waluigi room. It's fucking awesome. I got all my Waluigi stuff. Mm. This is Bowser's bath. The water is always 1,000 degrees. What? <laughs> well... Oh, and there's a little shower for it as well. Okay. And it spits flame. I don't know that this is going to be useful for me. A thousand degree bath with a shower head that spits flame. That's just not my deal, but I guess it's a cool collector's item, you know? If you were like a magical creature who could like literally bathe in fire and do things like that, that could be useful. Mm-hmm. If you needed fire to live like a vampire needed blood to live. A little lava creature, yeah. Well... I think there's a book squim mode for um, uh, an infinite book squim. I'll see how well I can do on that. Um, please whisper, come, a scent by Calvin and Klein. Um. Say that one more time. Was that come? Please whisper. Oh, like a commercial. Yeah. Come, a Come. scent by Calvin and Klein. There you Come, go, you got it. A scent by Calvin Klein. Or is it Calvin and Klein? I thought it was just Calvin Klein. It is just Calvin Klein. I think that's the. But joke. I mean, yeah, I think that might be part of their request. I don't know if it's. I okay, mean, that's fair enough. You could say, yeah, you, you just do it like commercials. Come, a fragrance by Calvin and Klein. Beautiful. Wario DK. Oop. Uh, Lego City Undercover is GTA plus Lego. It's on Switch. Fair enough. Uh, H3 and Hassan on the same podcast? Pain. I was, whatever the people want, right? Mm -hmm. I, I do think it's funny that it's called Leftovers, because it, it really does feel like that that is the inception of that thing. It's like, this, But, you know, go, go ahead, have fun. I don't know, just... You, yeah, you remember how there was that earlier super chat, and like, oh, Dunning-Kruger for politics. <laughs> A little bit. Like, H3, like, often annoys people when he talks about politics, because he's just so hideously uninformed. And then he's like... But I mean, hasn't he previously admitted that he's not super well informed on politics? So what would spur him to then make a show that is about politics? Why, why, I guess because why... it's, uh, it's pulling numbers Because his days? audience is retarded? I guess, so but like, have to actually just because be good it pulls it. numbers doesn't mean you have to do it. Yeah, but like, I'm assuming he feels like it'll work. Because this is the thing, it works for his you know? I, I guess, but... Like, I don't know, you, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Because to be honest you with know. you, it probably will work. Uh, yeah, probably, because Hassan's Their, their audiences are already popular. so big, yeah. And plus, they've both established that you don't really have to be, like, insightful, or intelligent, or clever to really build a massive audience, I guess. And they're both lefties, so... I guess both of them could just get away with saying capitalism and bad. And that's just... While well, they, they, like, sit on their fucking... <laughs> mountain Mansions. of money. Like, the, they could swap mansions of who houses each episode. 
Doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, H3, like, he lives in Bel Air, right? I don't know. They both live in luxurious like homes. Some in crazy palace yeah. somewhere Dude, in it LA. Is, it is incredible to look at Hassan's, like, fans defending his purchase of the three million mansion. These people were like, the it is I... not a mansion, it's a house. And it's like... It... Dude, it's got, like, five <laughs> bathrooms! Fucking a house, mansion. Fringy. A house can do that. It's totally chill. I, I guess at that point, like, this is just... I will, I will go down to Muck Mansion. That's as low as you can push me on that one. Um, the one that really annoyed me was that's the average price in West Hollywood. It ain't. It just isn't. I don't know why that it's... would matter. Well, it doesn't yeah, matter because does, the yeah. average house price in Liechtenstein is probably really high too. Like, yeah, you chose to live there. And yeah, and the, and yes, the... the average house price tends to be very high in very wealthy areas. It's true. As, as, as if then it's just like you see normal people buy this stuff it's like where has he been living this whole time like and you answer that as in what i'm saying is like he hasn't been doing this this whole time and now he does it and then it's like it's totally normal it's like oh i guess he hasn't been doing normal things this whole time huh it does feel like the term champagne socialist is like yeah perfect it's, is that like it's it, like why is it like all of them? I don't get it. <laughs> well, it's just it, it's weird. It feels like um how 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 exactly do you rationalize it? Do you always just say, well, there's someone worse than me? It's like yeah, I guess, but is that you could just do that for everything at that point? Curious. Um, living in a I don't know. Living in accordance with your principles is really important. I can't, this game is so hard. Yeah, um, maybe they just don't have any... They just don't have any principles to go... They, they um, just don't have I any. Think, I think it is... I think it's the more... The more charitable one would be... You have the principles, but when it gets tough, you buckle. So they're not really your principles. You think they are, but they're not. Um... Because principles are more or less derived from what you actually do, rather than what you say you'll do, until the situation arises when you make a tough choice. And you just decide not to do that. I think that's what it is. I mean, yeah, it's, uh... The whole thing is fascinating to me, I guess. And I'm sure this show yeah. will be really popular in that it'll have a lot of viewers. I don't think it's, anyone, it's gonna be anyone's favorite show. Um... Yeah. I guess. It's just gonna be them, they read tweets, articles, or quotes from Republicans, and then they'll say, how fucking stupid. They're like, oh, that's dumb, Republicans are dumb and evil and stupid. That's gonna be it. Um... I know it's, like, one of the things that's been frustrating is just it feels like internet politics in general, there's, like, less of a, uh, standard that you almost hold yourself to. Like, editorial no. standards just don't exist. Like, at all. Anywhere. <laughs> it was like... It's just really hard to come by. Anyway, let's I'm press on. I've got standards. Well, then at least Rax has standards. Isn't the argument uh, yeah. justify the means? Usually the argument is, yeah, the consequentialist thing, right? Of like, well, you're advancing the position. But it's, it's a situation of... You just need to think about it. If everybody acted like you did, would that advance the world that you want? If the answer is no, then something's gone wrong. It's just all there is to it. If everybody acted that way, then it doesn't These really matter what These people use justify the means all the time. We gotta yeah, take away your stuff. It it's, yeah, I'm gonna take away your stuff. I'm gonna take away your things. We have to control your private life, and it's well, all it's, worth it because it'll create the fucking socialist utopia. Well, so it's it, all fine. The, well, the problem Just is that do you, don't, you don't know what will actually happen based on your behavior. You, do, you don't know. That is a retroactive thing that you can say when you win. Of like, well, it worked out. It's like, yeah, but when you commit to the action, you actually know that it's going to advance the world that you want. But you do know that it's a breach of your principles. So it just has to work out otherwise otherwise you're fucked whereas if you're just entirely just doing principles to control the people they don't like people say i'm pausing to cheat I, literally i only have a, <laughs> i only have a pause whenever they stop talking so i was about to read the next out. there's like no it's still going it's fine if uh, if i were pause yeah, coming this this game then why wouldn't i be doing it all the time instead of just randomly 
what is pause scumming? So if this game, you line, have to... The difficult part of this is identifying where the next hole is going to be. If I pause, I can read it. Oh, did you have all the time to check? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. But I'm actually tempted to try that one time to see how far I can get. Man, you keep Ooh, losing. That would be interesting. I do keep losing. It's true. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think uh, I did that curious meme did a lot of uh, legwork. It's not working anymore though. The um, participating society no. bullshit. I'm so glad we well, passed that. It's not applicable because if you you're you're not living if you're not living in society, you are thriving. You are doing you are doing very well. You're doing better than most people. Um, you're almost oh the yeah, they're not even cream part of the crop. They're the one percent. Well, yeah, I mean you are the one percent if you're making like. Three hundred thousand plus dollars a year. That's that's one percent oh, yeah. of income. Um, but it, it's just the thing of like, <sighs> they're point one percenters. Some of them are, yeah. Um, it, yeah, that's a person. Nah. <laughs> Wait, are you Mario or are you? Yes. Oh, uh, I don't know oh, that okay. I could have done that. That's yeah, the best I could do on this game, I think. Come on, guys. That was a pretty oh, good run, right, chat? Thirty-one. That's pretty good. They start to put them on the opposite ends of the book, and it's just like, you, you know, I don't even know that you can it make it. a little it. telepathic. A little bit. Um, a lot of powers would require super durability. True. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Alrighty, everybody, we're upgrading to Mario Party 5. If that's an upgrade. I don't know if it actually... How exciting. Is, is it? I... I, mean, I don't know. Might be debatable. Back in the day, when I had these on GameCube, my favorite was four, but that could just be because it was the first one I got and I played it the most. I don't know which one's the best. Oh, it could be. Um, we played the Super Mario Smash Brothers Duda Mario song for laughs and memes in uh, our in our butt. I, hmm. There's no punctuation, but we all started crying. Screw the new Mario movie, also high rags, suck mortal. Oh. Hello. Dude, Mario. I mean, I'm not gonna say screw it, but... I mean, we'll give I it mean, a shot. I, like, I hope it's good. Yeah, I like. I hope it's good. I, well, if it's gonna exist, I'd rather it be good. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Fuck, Mary kill Zeus, Odin, Osiris. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's damn. I'm not sure. Um. Am I a Mario Cyrus? I feel like we got a lot of access to a. What is it? Reser is he the god of death or the god of the. He is the god of fertility, agriculture, afterlife, the dead, resurrection, life, and vegetation. I'm kind of leaning towards that, um, and I think I'd probably then fuck Zeus and kill Odin. I think I'll line up with that, yeah. I think I would... Oh, fuck Zeus and kill... I don't Am think I... I'd want to marry Odin or Zeus. Yeah, well, being married to Zeus, like, doesn't even mean anything, so... Yeah, exactly, uh, that's what I'm saying. It... Yeah, yeah, which might be positive or negative, depending on how you look at it. Um. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. I'm happy with that choice. That. Bonus mode options. All right, we're doing story mode, I guess. Metal commander, more like malleable commander. Am I right? Oh. Oof. Hey yo. Nailed it. Uh, just realized the key casting as Toad is probably inspired by the Toy Story Four thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, he's a fine actor and a fine voice actor. I think he's funny. Yeah. And so this is the problem. I guess it's like, just all, that's the thing. I don't want it to be. I hope people don't get the wrong impression when we laugh at these casting choices. It's not like, oh my god, Zach, J Zach Black, Jack Black, what a terrible actor. It's like, no, no, no. It's just these are all pretty uh, great, like performers. Um, I just don't see it. No. Yeah, I can't assign. It's difficult for me to marry them to the character. Yeah. And play as Waluigi That's like saying again. Christopher Lee playing Princess Peach, which would be <laughs> hilarious for memes, but to play that seriously, I'd be like, I just can't see it. I don't. Mario. Mario. Save me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so will save Mario. Me, Mario. It is a me. 
<laughs> Mario. Guys, what is the furthest you've traveled from home, assuming you were born in the country you currently reside in? Mola, you need to drive eventually. Oh, uh, furthest. Uh, well, for me, I'd it's the United Kingdom. It's, half, it's like the opposite side of the planet. I've been mostly oh, all over okay. Europe. So I'm trying to think of which one's the furthest. I have. I think it would be two. Let me double check. Map of USA. Okay, let's. Austria, see. maybe? That might be the furthest I've gone. That's not very far at all. Well, I'm trying to think of what will be further. Um, but that's... So, have you never been beyond Europe? No. Okay, right. But knowing that. Is Austria reasonable? What else could I have traveled to? Because I, I need a map. Um, have you been to Scandinavia? Well, no, no. that'd be that'd be fair. Uh, have you been to like Greece? Ooh, I can't remember. I think I have. Because Greece would be further away. I'm almost certain I have. Wait, is um, I've been to Italy. I'm trying to remember the fucking it, um, map. So Italy is further south than Austria. In fact, yeah, if you've been to Italy, you probably that's probably further than Austria, because Austria is like smack bang in the middle of Europe. Oh, well there you go then. It's probably Italy. Right. To what about Ryan? you, Rogers? For me, it has probably been Las Vegas. Have you so... never left America? No, not yet. Okay, Las Vegas right. to... Um... Have you ever been to, like, Washington or something? That's probably further away. I'm I'm actually kind of double checking now because I have been to DC, but I oh. think Las Vegas is further. Yeah, Las Vegas is further away than DC. I think. Have you been further north of DC ever? Or? Yeah, yeah. I've been to the Dakotas. I've been to South Dakota. Are you sure the Dakotas are not uh, further away? Um, from north where Dakota. I am, no. Uh, I don't. Okay. No, no, I haven't been to North Dakota. I've been to South Dakota. Um. But it is oh. it is somewhat closer than Las Vegas to me. Sure. And I think let's see. What I'm amused it? by this image because of Waluigi's face. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm it's here. Just <laughs> fear almost. Yeah. So it's about. I've been about. Let's see. What's the distance? It's about fifteen hundred miles. Let me let me see how far it is which, from. Uh, yeah. Yeah, which is a long way. Um, it's just our country is quite wide. Um, so so have, it looks like the furthest I've traveled in terms of distance is like 16,000 kilometers. Neat. <laughs> yeah, it is basically from one side of the planet to the other. It's a, it's about a 21... Well, I guess it depends how you do it. But yeah, it's 1,500 miles is uh, thereabouts. Because... Uh, yeah, we've driven around what? Las Vegas, especially in order to get to places here or there. But yeah, Las Vegas probably the, the most relatable thing I could say. So that's about 1,500 right. miles. First item I got is the Cursed Mushroom. I don't know what that means. No, I just realized the... Oh wait, that's the... Uh... Uh, so, fuck you, Mauler. The Joe Collins forgiveness scene had me crying for literally 30 minutes. It punched me in the soul. The acting was top-notch. I think that was the first scene in Midnight Mass where I was just like, so this show is on track to be incredible. Mm, and then look what happened. That scene was still fucking great. This, yeah. It was. Uh, I'm and, looking at how wide is Europe as a reference. Europe is the second smallest continent after, uh, before Australia. Stop. It's Did small. I... Yeah. Um... It's small. If you got rid of Russia, I, it would probably be smaller than Australia. If you... Like, if I could travel within 1,500 miles, I probably could see, like, all of Europe. But that still leaves a bit... You know, it still leaves more to go in the U.S. It's just size, you know? Yeah, of course. So many places. I was beaten by Bowser's child. How fast low I have sunk since Mario Party 4. Fast low, I think. Mm hmm. But yeah, the guy who plays Joe Collins, um, I would say out of the two shows I've seen him in, he, he got to really fucking act his ass off in uh, Midnight Mass. Kind of doesn't help that I don't particularly like what you could call the resolution of his story. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I would write the Godzilla movies as no humans focus characters, we just follow Godzilla on his trail of destruction, like walking with dinosaurs. I don't know about no humans. Um I feel like we can probably make that work. I don't know if how it worked harder, I think we could make it work, but they don't work. I don't know. It feels like we're barely doing anything with these characters. It's always a shitty character writing in general. Yeah, exactly. Um, is Fringy's goo even goo, or does he just call it goo in order to hide what it really is? No, it's it's goo. Fringy's poo? Oh. It's goo. No, does it's he have a, like a jelly-based diet, so it's just really runny poo? Oh. It's, it's not it's a nice, solid, meaty, absolutely meaty goo. poo? It's absolutely goo. Oh, I, I, your poo can be goo, yeah. But it's not poo, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. He's just making sure. He doesn't want any mistakes being made. Can your goo be used as fertilizer, like poo? Um, what, like specifically for plants, or are you asking, like, can it be used to, you know, make stuff <laughs> yes. grow? Like plants? Um, I don't know about plants. I haven't tested that yet. I'll get back what to you What else do you fertilize? Like, ovaries? Well, no, it's like if you imagine that it has healing properties or something like that, but again, I'll, I'll get Because I said fertilize. I, I, it's just weird because I, I asked if you could use it as fertilizer and you're like, you mean like for plants? And I'm sitting here wondering, like, <laughs> I'm just, what else? Hey, look, I mean, <laughs> there's no harm in asking for questions. Yeah, though. yeah, there's, there's no harm in asking, no harm in yeah. That. Better to look foolish than to, you know. To what? To not look foolish and then fuck up later on because you just didn't ask. That's eloquent as ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Green the mile. The George Bush of euphemisms. <laughs> oh man, I didn't want to lose, but I'm totally gonna. Oh. Is there a sciencey thing you guys have never understood but wanted to? E.g., magnets. How do they work? I have been told. <laughs> I I have heard from like theoretical and fucking like suit like space scientists physics masters of the universe like not i heard that it is physically possible because of space time and all kinds of other just i'm just gonna call it magic bullshit mm -hmm. that the distance between two objects can increase while the objects are the same distance apart I've heard I've heard that from I'm assuming you want to use different people. words, right? Because if you say the distance can increase while not increasing, it's like what? It's like the the space between two objects can increase while the objects don't move in a sense. Right. Cuz of something with how time and well, space can get right? warped by just different sorts of things and I in like there's stuff about the universe that just doesn't make any fucking sense. Um well, so I got one. And as I've far always as we been know, you know, right now. Yeah, NFTs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not NFTs, science. That's a scientific principle that you it just, just can't wrap your head around. I just don't understand it. I still don't understand it. And the more I try to learn, it doesn't help. It's just like there, there's things about the universe that don't apply to the physics and the science that we use in 99.9999% well, of our existence. I was watching which means that we're video, just not yes. evolved to Figure fathom these things. Mm -hmm. You know, well, I, we just I ain't watched, ready for that. I watched a video from Kurzgesagt that was um talking about just trying to figure stuff out for black holes. It's like, oh, but like the physics can get really complicated because they're probably spinning and we can't fucking see them. And like you have to, you have to do a lot of um, you have to do a lot of assuming. Ass I might be totally wrong on this, but I got the impression that it was there's a lot that we don't understand about how black holes work because when things get that massive in terms of you know just the sheer gravitational pull it's like it just gets harder it gets really difficult to understand how they work and physics doesn't seem to work the same way when we're dealing with things that are really big and really small because i'm pretty sure that's the thing right quantum physics and just regular physics are somewhat incompatible or was it string theory it's um incompatible with, i think um, you're right once you get small enough things just don't quite work. yeah and so it's the idea that you have two contradictory systems that work whenever you're dealing with their specific things it's like well that doesn't seem to be how do we reconcile that and maybe we'll figure it out eventually or maybe maybe they are just incompatible and that's just how the universe works um 
Yeah, it's it's a it's mm. a mysterious thing. However, what that also means is that the world cannot be deterministic. Uh, so that's nice. What do you mean the world can't be deter? What What do you mean? The way that uh, the way that particles on you know subatomic levels interact with each other, like it, it there, it, it kind of removes an aspect of, of course, everything can actually be traced back to. I've heard you know, when you that. get down to the minutia, minutia, you know that's how it works, which is I a have, comforting thought. I don't know that I'm any more or less comforted by that um, because I'm not sure how much it matters to me as a as a being who. Oh, is. it doesn't really matter, but it's still like in a in a sense, an almost in an almost symbolic sort of sense. Um, it's like it's kind of nice that there's some element of it's just I don't know. It's strange. Um, yeah, I guess it's uh. I'm not sure how much bearing it has on the idea of free will, though, when we're talking None. about sub Yeah, right. Like well, in the in the sense of if you if you let's say if the world was deterministic purely, uh, like truly purely deterministic, just knowing that's the case influences your behavior. So don't right. worry about it. Uh, well, it's not worth worrying about anyway because there's nothing we can do about it. Because the compatibilist mindset gets you out of that, regardless of the uh, quantum stuff. Right. Compatibilism is normally used like a compatibilism in what sense? That you can simultaneously operate as though you have free will, even if you believe it's deterministic, because as a entity you have no way to operate otherwise. Mm -hmm. I mean, that tends to be okay, sort okay. of the way I view it, because it's like, yeah, free will probably doesn't exist, but I don't know, like the way that I exist in reality. I sit, like I literally like couldn't give less of a fuck. I'm still gonna tell you my reasons for why I do things. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah everything course, still happens for a reason, and you are aware of, you know, the things, so... It's not like you're just acting, you're not just a slave to everything around you. I was listening to a bit uh, from Sam Harris a couple of days ago that was on Free Will, and it was the conversation of, like, your th you know, when you have a thought, the thought arises sort of before you recognize what the thought is and then decide to act on it. So it's like... But there, and there's kind of nothing that you can do to change that. Like, the thought arises before you are aware of it. Um, and in that sense, it's like, well, do you control your thoughts? Or is it the idea of, like... Uh, it, gets, it gets tough when you start trying to figure out what is the difference between you and your thoughts, what is consciousness, things like that, where we don't really have good answers. There's a small interjection. When I take all of the money off the children in this game, they die. So that's nice. Well, that's just cutting out the middleman. I mean, I don't intend for the death to happen, but I do need the money, so... I'm gonna take it. If other things happen, it's out of my control, you know? Repeatedly and simultaneously press every button shown on the blocks. Okay. Ba -da 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 -ba. Uh, Green Mile, Gladiator, Bridge to Terabithia are my top emotional films. Yeah, Green Mile, definitely, for me. Yeah, that's one of those ones. Oh, I was supposed to tap what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Knowing that you enjoy Clarkson, Grand Tour, etc., have you watched any Drive Tribe? They have a stream where May and Hammond take shots and build Lego. That's the main one I've watched. I thought it was fucking... That's... When I... I saw the video and it was like... James May and Richard Hammond are going to build a little, like, a complicated Lego car. Uh, while I taking... I saw that. Yeah, yeah. While taking shots for every time they get a car trivia question wrong. I was like, that sounds like the most amazing thing ever. It was fun to watch. <laughs> They got drunk. James quick. May is, uh, he also has done, uh, The Reassembler. So that, that's good. I would recommend y'all watch that. That's interesting to watch. Where he just puts things together. Mm-hmm. Like, legit, almost from scratch. Like, all the individual components that can be assembled, he puts them all together. Uh, Rags is a snack. Mmm. Oh, alright. Nah, nah, baby, I'm a full-course meal. I'll fill you up. Ornstein versus Smo. Fight. Who would win? Probably Ornstein. Um, Sounds good to me. Smo's a chungus. Uh, though, I mean, if I was to read the lore, I'd probably be able to give you a better answer than just looking at them and being like, I mean, Ornstein's got, like, can fire lightning and moves real fast and is a hunter versus Smo's this fat guy with a big hammer that tries to hit you. I don't know. I feel like the... One of them maybe winning that. I, I, I don't know. 
Fuck, marry, kill. A pineapple, a cactus, and a gimpy gimpy plant. Kill the plant, kill fuck the pineapple, plant, yeah. and marry the cactus, I guess. I think, yeah. Probably, I don't know, I, I don't want to... Do would you want to be around something that prickly for that long? Compared to... Look at our other options, though, Ranks. <laughs> so a pineapple? But they don't, like, hurt you to touch or anything. They're not, like... They're, uh, they're uh, a little rough on the outside, but they're not... I'm not referring to our other marrying options. I'm referring to if you marry the pineapple, you know where that cactus is going, right? That's true. Yeah. Or you're... Maybe you can go into the bottom of the cactus? Maybe. 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 Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. Like, and, it, and, and it's about touching the gimpy gimpy plant, right? You can't touch it? You can't touch it. Or at least, uh, why in the world would anybody want to? Uh, yeah, that's. I feel like that's the instant kill. We just kill that one for sure. Yeah, yeah that's fair enough. Because you could de... You could de... Um, needle a cactus. So if you're going to live with one, you could de-needle it. Take the needles off. Right. Make it a smoothie, a cactus smoothie. Uh, do do do. Austria visiting a failed artist's childhood home. <laughs> totally, yeah. That's why I went there. I was like, you know what? It's time to visit my hero. Um, even if you don't have free will, you have free will. Confucius. Oi, Morley! Bet you this super chat amount that you can't remember even three ingredients to the tripper snipper recipe from the legendary Sassy of Sassy Foods. I mean, if I were to guess, it would be like speed, weed, heroin, cocaine, mushrooms, pinoclean, petrol, battery acid, just acid in general, salvia, meth, herbs and spices, lettuce, tomato, vodka sauce, bam and the dirt is gone, Ajax spray, and wipe, chicken, cheese, all wrapped in a tortilla. That's probably what I would say, as a guess. And hey, that's more than three ingredients. So, Rags, as light speed in the universal speed limit... Well, is the universal speed limit, sorry. When your speed goes up, everything slows down and the space shrinks. Distance per time is speed. Math. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna post that for you in case that makes better sense when read compared to me trying to read it. That interested, but all right. Um, do you want to be around something that prickly for that long? I don't know. I tolerate my wife pretty well already. Oh, <laughs> hey. whoa! Uh, similarly, you appear to have a slower time and be sort of pancaked to everything else. You also gain a sort of lag. So simultaneously, sorry. So simultaneity is impossible. Yeah, I'm afraid you've lost me. I'm sorry. That he has me play my little cartoon game with little little buttons and stuff. I just I, I don't know. I'm out, out out of the loop. Morley, I stand corrected. You are a legendary memorizer. Oh, clearly, hundred percent. And with that, that we caught up to today's. So we can go back to episode one fifties. Yay! Hallelujah. Oh. Well, uh, you Wait, guys. Wait, what? What? Wait, what'd you say? What that I just cheered for? <laughs> we caught up to today's with 154s, and so now we're back to 150s. Alright, let's make a dent. I was gonna say, you guys happy to go for another hour and 50 minutes? Yeah, that's I'm, fine. That's totally fine. Very well. Happy anniversary, guys. This podcast gives me life, so here's the next 50. Keep it up, you lovable massives. Will do. Thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers. Thanks much. Um... I use Noom, and when I finished the day with a caloric deficit, I lost weight. The articles, they have a cringe, but everything else is kind of helpful. There's no way that it can't help someone. It's just that um, a lot of the stuff has red flags in it, that's all. It might Dunning-Kruger someone. Oh! This one just says, I have returned. Alright, good stuff. Good for you. I'm very glad. Oh, look at this little mini-game. Me and my, my my computer are trying to open a can. We're a can opener. How adorable is that? Um, our GIF cinema. GIFs are moving pictures. I 
Anything? Um. Hmm. I no, they're not in theaters. No, that wouldn't be cinema. No, I don't think a GIF is a cinema. Um. I don't think it would. It would qualify. I don't think it would qualify under his definition. Oh yeah, but what about ours? I don't. I. I I mean, I guess an extremely elaborate gif could, yeah. I don't even think it was hard to, to like, go with. I, don't, I, I think that the idea there is to try and be like, wow, your system allows a gif to be cinema? And it's like, yeah, probably. Uh, if it's, I guess, qualifies just enough, it would... I wonder if sound is important. Because hmm. I was just going to say, if you have a high-resolution gif of Shrek that plays sound, and it's just the movie, I'd just be like, well, yeah. That's that. But, um, yeah, I, I'd wonder about sound as a clarification. Uh, maybe that's involved in the uh, requirements for cinema? I don't think that would be out of reason. Congrats on three years. Watched almost all your content three or more times and never been bored. Hi, Rags. Hail, Longman. Hello, Fringy. Howdy, guests. Hey. Oh, hello. <laughs> I watched Blind Mana because you lot wouldn't shut up about how amazing it is, and I've now watched it three times over in the course of two weeks. It's so good. Huh. Glad you're having fun with it. We, uh, we, we do very much approve. Mm -hmm. Most people got behind better help because they were contracted, though. DeFranco, who took the next to no backlash. Well, well, of course. Sure. I mean, you agreed that's, to that. That's, uh, that's, yeah. I was gonna say, that, that is what we would have... I don't believe anybody's getting behind better help because they thoroughly searched it through it and said it was incredible, because nobody fucking would have if they'd looked at what they do. People just saw that they could make cash, dollar, and dollar, so they dollar, dollar. something. It was like one of the first you proper really times that... go help for money? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll just do it. Fuck it. Silent films, wouldn't that be cinema? Yeah, that's probably true, actually. I mean, if we wanted to turn cinema into a word that means films that are shown in theaters, I don't care for the label at all. As in, like, be it being like... I mean, because that was something that um, wouldn't even work for... Trying to separate it out into some kind of category is, is fucking difficult. Because uh, it just sounds like you want to bring down particular films, I guess. My therapist told me to use BetterHelp a few months ago. Fucking hell. Hmm. I wonder what it's, where it's at these days, then. Because the first thing they need yeah, to do is get qualified people on there. That would have been a good start. Yeah, maybe you can not give me a Cursed Mushroom this time. How about that? A Goomba capsule, alright. Coin. Is EFAP not cinema itself? That's the thing about these categories, it's like, we would just call it a podcast, but then can a podcast be cinema? Maybe. <laughs> I guess. Podcast is probably can cover all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. If you focus on the visual aspect of a podcast, sure it could be a miniseries, like a radio show. Um, sadly missed most of this stream and I have to work all week starting tomorrow. Send help, you massives. Also, high ranks. Hi. I hope you're all right. That's no Noom. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of Noom discussion coming up. Um, Ivan et Nioj, which backwards is join the... Navy. I mean, yeah, if you wanna. Um. Moon Ut Ebuskbus. Which backwards is subscribe to Noom. Uh. Alright. The Noom, the Jab, and the Medea. Or Medea. The three genders. I would, I would watch it. 
Attack your opponents by showing various attack signs. If the same signs are raised, the solo player wins. Okay. Chicken Noomies. That's a Simpsons reference? Which one? Hmm. Chicken Noomies. The Noom, the Jeb, and the Medea? I mean, that's obviously good, the bad, and the ugly. The, the words being backwards... Would one say those are Simpsons references? Why? Help me Yvonne out, chat. Yvonne and joined the Navy. Ah, okay. It's super... I think we mentioned super lumin... Uh, what was it? Luminal... Lim, uh, luminal. luminal, subliminal, and super luminal. And then he just opens luminal, the window. Hey, you! Join the Navy! Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> now that you know the truth, I can't let you leave. And then Lisa's already, like, yeah. outside walking away. The men who stare at nooms. You guys ever see The Men Who Stare at Goats? No. I have. It's an interesting movie. That is an odd movie. I, I thought it was funny. I gotta find, hand over five coins per... Man, this story mode's not easy. When I want to practice the dark arts, I read the Necronomicon. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, one moment. Use a little. Finding Numo, the haunting of Noom Manor. The N in EFAP stands for Noom. There's no N in EFAP. You're EFAP a liar. Enap. Enap. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, just let me take an Enap. I'll be back in 74 hours. Willy Noom and the Chocolate Factory. The Turnumator. Turn there you go. Apollo Noom, Noom Fellas, the Noom of Wall Street, Gangs of Noom York, Noom Sazy, Two Girls, One Noom, Black Widow and Unbridled Noom, Oh God, I'm Nooming, Robin Noom, Noom, huh? Yeah, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing, Noom. Slip Noom, the man who can shill anything. Tell that to Zod Snapped Noom. Relishing in it? Scar Joe sued Disney? Oh wait, what was it? Uh, I'm afraid I'm not entirely sure what that's the response to. It's, it's been, a, it been a while. Yeah, I don't know. Tap A and B simultaneously. Alright, this sounds easy. If I lose this, guys, uh, I guess I'll, I'll do... I'll shame Waluigi. Oof, that was close. All you talk about is Marvel. Gosh, I leave for six hours and return and it's still Marvel. You dicks need attention too. Oh, your dicks need attention. Don't worry, we so this will sort out different points in time. Okay? Gets attention. Yeah. I've been shot. Help. Call Noom 1-1. I mean, I wouldn't recommend Someone it. Someone call Noom 1-1. Van Van. As if I would be in trouble. Noom hard too. Noom harder. H. Numa guy, Jenny Numason, Cos Numort Variety Hour. Uh, terrifying potentials in this world. Sky Survivor, alright. Love you guys, thanks for teaching me so much over the years. Here's to many more years of analysis and knowledge. Oh, wow. Absolutely, oh, that's the plan. Uh, EFAP's Newman Coom, formerly Chucks. <laughs> Okay. Formerly Chucks. Um. Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Lance Armstrong Live Strong Bracelets. All right. Weekend at Black Widows. Roll off the tongue. Yeah. If a movie didn't come out in well. theaters, is it still cinema? <laughs> that is the question. Uh, order from Mattress Firm for all your assassin needs. There you go. How to see a wild sniper in its natural habitat. Put a mattress on a roof. <laughs> You'll tempt them out, oh, yeah. I remember all the mattress stuff. I, I, okay, I was about to say mattress, and then I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. But just, they just had to put a random fucking mattress up there. Yeah, because it makes you, it starts making it you ask like questions that are just, you know. <laughs> Did she bring a mattress with her? <laughs> 
through a random mattress? Is that did she pick to be on the one with the mattress, or does it, by sheer coincidence was the best place to be? Is it also had a mattress up there that she could lay on? Was the actress like... that much of a fucking pussy that she couldn't just lay down on a building? I don't. That much of a noom. Um, can we go back and discuss the Catman movies? Catman? No. I do not know. I do not know of this Catman. Catman do. Do what? I don't know. Um, been watching for years. You've seen me through thick and thin. Stay awesome, lads, and high rags, you best doggo you. Hello. Thank you. Here's to more years, many more years, and laughs, you massives. Is to that indeed. More on the way. No. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not claiming Natasha pulling Hulk back to Bruce is sexist since it utilized the Beauty and the Beast trope. Oh my. Wouldn't want to do that. That would be terrible. Oh yeah, that would be awful. I really wish I could stay up and watch this along. Oh, watch along, I guess what they want to say. But I need sleep. Also, greetings to you, Sir Long. Lord Longman, and to you, Grand Doggo Rags. Thank you. Hmm. Oh my god, this minigame is fucking crazy. Uh, thanks, James Moore, for meme support on Discord. Yeah, thanks to all the memers out there and uh, the people cycling them. We still need to record an e uh, meme fap soon. So many memes. So little time. Zack Snyder's Afghanistan.
I, I mean, I'm assuming this related to the video because we I mean, we certainly weren't really simple for it. <laughs> nope. We didn't have the nicest things uh, to say. BRB. Okay. Prisons, especially maximum security ones like in Black Widow, have hospitals, so doctors and nurses probably died and the characters celebrated that fact. Ah, oh, there you go. We read that one out today as well. Sorry we didn't That's get to true. it earlier, no, but there we are. And you're probably right. There's hospital staff that are all dead as well. Well, this is the thing. There is a chance that nobody died and that they got people there to rescue them all real quick. Um, but the creators of this fucking movie didn't care. And so the characters don't care. Which is unfortunate. Can't wait to catch up on the Dark Noom saga after this. I was busy at worktisms. Oh, don't worry, it's all there. We are further away from the Isle of Man flag than the Isle of Man flag was to proto EFAP. Wow. Yeah, there we are. Why is Bowser punishing his sons? I don't understand. Because he's a good father and he knows what he has to do. But, like, flattening them to the point of them being paper thin? I feel like that's abusive. Maybe not in this world, though. Um... Lara Croft's story was great until Captain America stole the Bond-like espionage to be the fantasy adventure we all expected. Black Widow, 10 out of 10. That all made sense to me. Cleopatra from the series Rome? I have not seen that. Yeah, if either of us referenced Cleopatra, it wouldn't have been from Rome. If, um... In fact, have you seen any of Rome? Because I, I don't think I have, actually. I have not seen any of Rome, no. No. Um... Eve was just a supporting character for Adam. Well, you know, that's, that's misogyny right there. They say a politician is someone who can talk for hours and say nothing at all. Half the guys you lot cover could run for president of the universe. I mean, I've always felt that, that they... That is true. They oftentimes struggle to fill that 10 or 15 minutes. You can see that happening for Cinema Wins. He stretched that out into two videos. Unbelievable, honestly, because he didn't fucking say anything. He just he just said, oh, it's two videos. He just declared it's two videos. Because when the one begins and the other ends, it's just a cut. Well, so interestingly They enough, were supposed to be glued together. I was like... Yeah, you could definitely tell it was so fucking harshly done and it just um, it just fades and it's like oh that's that i uh, when referencing cinema wins i've said before like he gets millions of views and then when we were looking at him the other day i was like oh shit he's not really getting that and and that's not to say he's not getting good views it's just i thought he used to get millions because he's at two million subscribers and so if you look at most popular We've got 11 million, 9 million, 7 million, 8 million, 7 million, 7 million, 7 million, 6, 6, 5, 5, 5, 5, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. But yeah, he's, he's, you know, he's doing just fine, just great. But recently, not so much. And I honestly think it might be because he's not trying as hard anymore. Because, like, these... You can make these videos better. I swear to God, the three of us could have made a Everything Great About Black Widow and it would have been a better video. Like... Maybe it's an aspect of, like, the hum- maybe he thinks he's funny and he really isn't, and people are like, oh yeah, this isn't funny. I'm not laughing when I watch these. Why am I watching these? I wonder if maybe- because, like, everything great about Michelin, the Mitchells versus the Machines, he's got two million views on that, and that was four months ago. I wonder if that one's actually better, and it's because what's good about the content is clearer to him. He doesn't have to make as much stuff up, so it's, like, much more appealing, because- the people who liked Black Widow, I don't know what they would have gotten out of his video. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Oh wait, have I just made it steal five coins from myself, or do I get to choose? Please let me choose. Oh. Does that go to me? It just takes five coins from me. Well, that was worthwhile. Everything's a learning curve, people. Um, if you were tasked to make a Black Widow movie tagging along with Austin Powers, what would you make the plot be? Probably the must-see MCU film ever. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have to work very hard on What's the plot. The premise one more time? So, 
If you were tasked to make a Black Widow movie tagging along with Austin Powers, what would you make the plot be? I was, I was gonna say, it's easy to get that to happen because of the multiverse. Um, we'll just, you know, whatever. But as for, like, what the plot would be about... I don't know, actually. What can, what can she um, maybe learn from... You could just do, just do a standard, oh no, there's an evil man we have to stop. Ah, And they go and stop the evil man. It's kind of comboing up someone who's very doctor. not serious with someone who's much more serious, so I don't know. Yeah, the, the question is, is it a serious plot, like Black Widow, that the, 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 the funny guy is with, or do we flip it? It's a very funny plot that's crazy that the straight man, Black Widow, is tagging along with. Mm -hmm. I probably have her learned something from him, though. Especially about killing people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good morning. Can't just go around burying people in snow. Yeah. Good morning, you massives. Good morning. Good morning. Got some super stickers, thanks so much. Can you believe it? 150 faps. This long man and co journey has been a delight. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. More to come. Black Widow is in my top 24 MCU movies so far. Oh, you know, that's, yeah. Top 24 is not so bad. Not so bad. Fun fact, in Africa, 10 years ago was 2011. Or, every high rags gets a hello back. I'm very confused. What's, what's... It says fun fact, and then it says or. I legit don't know. Fun fact, in Africa, 10 years ago was 2011, or every high rags gets a hello back, or every 60 seconds a minute passes. Africa's a cool place, yo. High rags. Hi. Because I know about the every 60 seconds a minute passes in Africa thing. So, uh -huh. I don't know, maybe it's just like different versions of that. Alright. Is that a wooden knife? I mean, it's not like it... It'd be useless or anything, but you know, you just, you just don't expect it. Yeah. Scarlet got blacklisted by Disney. No more movies. I've heard about that. There was a movie she was going to do, and she's been booted off it now. I suppose mm. that's to be expected to a degree. Yeah, if you do that with, uh, yeah. Good morning, EFAP. Thanks for the new perspectives and fun times. Here's to many more EFAPs. Time for me to catch on this stream. Also, high rags. Hello. Oh, no. oh, oh. Um, meme is staying for the Snyder Cut premiere. That uh, that had to be moved like a week forward. We couldn't quite get it ready in time. Copyright, man. It is a bitch, especially with that video. Yeah. No Bond or Tomb Raider in the trailers. Zero out of ten. Simple as that, yeah. Hey, Moore and friends, here to send some more support. I sent a super chat during EFAP 100 saying I was working on catching up, and I'm still at it. Maybe I'll be able to watch episode 200 live. Currently on 66. Wish me luck. Cheers. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Good, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, this one, there's a lot to catch up on. This one just says opinions, Mauler. Hi, Rags. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Yeah, Mauler. What was my opinion on saying hi to Rags, maybe? I'm mostly okay with it, honestly. I think it's neat. Oh, we're seeing shy guys doing some skiing. Fringy would love this. Ah, if only he was uh, here and not being somewhere else. With his goo, more than likely. This is an elusive little. Oh, you won, you little bastard! Wait, does that mean I die again? Oh, this is a harsh game right now. Mola, what is your opinion? I, I'm just, I'm pro that, you know? I am pro that. I just don't like to fight too hard against it. Uh, give opinion on Daleks. I'm not exactly very... I, I can say the thing of I respect their influence, but I'm not quite sure they make sense as an entity. I think they are very silly. 
It's like they're um they're pretty clunky for how advanced they are. Um, I don't know. It's complicated. I probably need to see a bit more Dalek-related media, but uh, you know, the, the the I was never quite taken with the whole because apparently they they terrified lots of people in Britain, and I was just like, I mean. The whole insta-kill laser, I could see why that would scare people, but that's not really to do with the look of the Daleks, you know? Yeah. They don't look intimidating, they sound kind of silly. I'm just... yeah, I'm just not... Exterminate! You don't find that terrifying? I think they're no. Because that's like a meme voice. It's like a Skeletor. <laughs> Except Skeletor is actually terrifying. Of yeah, course. of course. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. But, uh... I agree with Meme Repository. He said the Cybermen were always more my thing. Daleks grew on me over time. That's pretty much my position. Daleks are like, eh. But, um, Cybermen have always found cooler. And I guess more believable. They're kind of like the Borg. Um, also, what are the best nuggies? Grats on 150. The best nuggies? I mean, I don't know that I know. I don't know. Um... I haven't had chicken nuggets in a long time, honestly. I don't think I've... Yeah. Like... It's rare that I have chicken nuggets that I fucking despise. They're usually fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like... I think it's pretty difficult to mess up a chicken nugget, I feel. Mm-hmm. Maybe chat has better answers. Wendy's has some good nuggies. Popcorn chicken, I guess that's KFC, I think. Uh, Burger King nuggets were the best in the 90s. I guess nobody's voting for McDonald's. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm just not really... I mean, I guess all McDonald's, or all, um... All nuggies that I've had are fine. Mm-hmm. No, they're fine. Uh, wait, does that mean the random bands are coming now? Well, it depends how influential we want to consider Hassan in the in the world of EFAP, you know? But don't feel safe, ever. Oh no. Put me in, coach, I'm ready! I don't know what this related to. Could have been Gothic Phone. Just remember, some people out there can't sleep because snipers, snipers stole their mattresses. Aww. Yeah, it's a really sad thing to think about, that there are snipers out there just taking out people's mattresses. And then they take you out. Yeah, but the mattress pause. And not on a yeah. date. No. And not to the zoo. They ain't taking no bitch to the zoo. No. Grab a nice steel case or Herman Miller desk chair. A few hundred, ergonomic and comfy as hell. Durable too. Oh, is this? There's many, many uh, good chair options out there. What's this? What would a steel case relate to? Is that a, a, a brand of chair or? Yeah, that's the brand. Maybe. I think that's. I think it's the kind of brand. That's what my mind goes to first. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I don't know. Commit to the Hassan gag and ban all the super chats. Please don't actually ban me. Yeah, I mean, we... Oh, no, no, uh, no. I, I, am, I am... We would never do that. I'm not that evil. That is an evil, most foul. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys shouldn't watch Invincible. I don't want you to tear the show to shreds because of how bad it is. It would hurt my feelings. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, uh, we don't have any plans to watch it right now, so... No one's yeah, feelings... No plans, and honestly, not really, not really an interest. Still recovering from the loss of one of my mates who recently passed away from OD. Both loved. Oh. We both love to watch you guys every week. Thank you all for the fun and entertainment that you guys have brought us. Uh, sorry yeah, to hear it, man. I'm very sorry and, to hear that. Um, yeah. But uh, of course, thank you. Um, back way more drunkisms. Uh, definitely um, welcome to to have as many drankledges as you want with. Uh, with good old EFAP. Best served with Gothic Phone, I'd find. Potentially. I love me some Gothic Phone. I was about to say, uh, yeah, I was thinking about it earlier. I was like, man, we need to get back on that Gothic Phone. I'm getting withdrawals. <laughs> it hasn't even been that long. <laughs> we did, like, yeah, I just, super I just, sessions. I really, really, 
This is really like it. It is a really fucking good game. It it makes you question a lot about life. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, not often that I can watch live, but just wanted to say hi, Rags. Keep up the amazing stuff, all of you. Been watching for years, and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Sweet. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Dark Souls 2 rules, Mola. <laughs> rules badness. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the king of crap. <laughs> uh, been listening to you guys since episode one. You got me through some shitty times in wow. previous jobs, so I figured it's about time to give something back for all the free content. Keep on keeping on, and cheers to another 150. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's very impressive, by the way. Uh, every it like it gets more and more impressive. Yeah. People who say they've been here since the beginning. That is legitimately. That is a. That's a lot of content to go through. And you know what, Rags? We're on part three of 150 now. Ooh, boy. The yeah, end man. is... Yeah, the end is... Well, in... well the end of that... We... Hmm. <laughs> Not quite the end of Super Chat Ketchup, but we're closing on uh, 150. We are getting there. Well, I was here for the first two full parts, but alas, I have work tomorrow. Happy 150, you massives, and here's to another year. Also, hi, Rags. Hello to you. Time for more mutilated corpses. Oh my. Oh no. You're describing things oh, like Jim Sterling did. Oh no. I don't know what we're What were we doing in part three? What was happening at that point? Here's some more mutilated corpses. Maybe <laughs> we're talking about... Hmm. I don't know. Part Why? three's opener. What was that? Because the end of part two is the Hassan meme. Yeah. Because that's what all those Super Chats were just about, which, by the way, that was that was top-notch content. Thank you very much for that, That was top-notch content. Um... Jay's great. Hard to remember. Jay's great. Good morning, Vietnam! Slept and awoke with EFAP. Yay! Oh, hope you slept well with us in your ear. Slept and awoke with EFAP. Mm-hmm. It's nice. He just confirmed it. He's done. It's finished. I'm... I think that they're, they're talking about when Meme was confirming the Snyder Cut, but that was, again, unfortunately... Um, I can't remember if that was before additional copyright stuff and, and things. It was... We still got it out at a great time. It still worked out. It's all good. The anti-tism equation controls all critiques. Well, we better get access to it then. Where can I find this? Hmm. Repeatedly Shark. press A to build pressure. Oh, pressing A repeatedly game? <laughs> the record is 200 yards. Can I defeat it? Let's find out. Uh, took a two hour power nap, but I'm back. How are y'all? I'm good. I guess we were still powering through. Yeah. No nap for us, though. Okay. So if we fly this high. Do we have parachutes? I hope we have parachutes. Oh, you do have a build parachute. Oh god, he didn't have a parachute. Oof. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Yeah. I'm sure it's fine. No one, no one worry about it. You guys are hardcore. I absolutely love it. And Rags can actually draw. Also, hi, Rags. <gasps> hi. Yeah, yeah Rags' little images little are usually pretty adorable. Like, they, they very quickly represent the thing that it's about, and usually wholesomely. And then he has to deal with people who are like, let's add a penis. Then I have to understand that whenever I start drawing something, that person's death is a very, very real possibility. Yep. Can I stand to see this thing I've brought into life die so soon? It's very sad, but, you know, sometimes necessary, you never know. I was Wolf doing? He was my favorite YouTuber. Can you guys ask him to send... Sorry, can you guys ask him to send some new book and movie recommendations for the next stream? I'm afraid not. We're, uh... Definitely, Wolf is definitely still trying to maintain the whole no internet stuff, but um, as far as I'm aware, he's doing very well. Yeah, he is. Uh, he seems to be doing a okay. He is in. He was in good spirits when last we spoke. I'm usually in rags. I've been watching for almost two years now. Thank you for all the tisms and fun times. Keep up the great work. Also, hi rags. Hello to you. It is at the point where it's just like, how many times have I said hi rags while reading that super chess? 
many times. <laughs> it's gonna be more. If there was a number for that, it'd be fucking enormous. Do you guys coom with the door open, Rags? I guess generally, yeah. Oh, there you go. Memes drawings have made me dyslexic. Oh, that's nice. You know, and, and, and actually yeah, they, they, drawings they, are... they spelt it dilsexic, so that's suitable in, in a sense. Beautiful, really. Still sexic. Mm -hmm. Oh, I landed on a Bowser space and you just took my money. I, I, oh, satisfying. Uh, learned my childhood cat died last night. Thank you guys for helping me laugh through it. Happy anniversary, you massives. Much love, and here's to many, many money long times with you all. Also, I'm high glad ranks. we were able to help. Yeah. James is dead, sleeping, so there's no one to post our memes. Oh well, no. You'll be alright. Memes will have their chance. Not like it's not like Superman with Zod and stuff, you know. Find the one switch of twelve that will not inflict harm. Great, another luck game. Boo! That fun. Never mind, Don Radkos is Chad. I, I was gonna say there's probably other meme people in the uh, in the Discord. Oh boy. Why did they make this a mini game? What is the fun here? And, and you know what? It took some time to make all of these, like, death animations. But why? Oh, there you go, I win. Morla, congrats on EFAP 150. Do you have any regrets about your TLJ rage and your critique videos in hindsight? What would you change about them? Oh, there's, there's plenty of things in terms of. Um, video quality for one, like, man, back then I was just sort of experimenting, I had no idea what I wanted to do. At this point, I've settled into um, a style of video making that I really like, and it's a little bit awkward sometimes to look back on them and be like, yeah, I guess I just decided that was going to be the way that they would be. And then, of course, um, there's some... After having, like, three years of back and forthing with so many different creators that I disagree with, and so many communities, and looking at threads on how quotes are used, I have a way better understanding of how to make scripts now. In terms of accounting for how sentences and statements can be interpreted. Um, one of them that always annoyed me was the whole, um, everyone was like, he thinks that if you think TLJ's good, you can't say any other movie is bad, or something like that. Like, out of context, when my point was just that TLJ suffers in pretty much every way that most movies are criticized, so it's gonna be really hard to square that away when you try and praise or criticize other things. It wasn't even, like, yeah. a hugely important point, it was just something that's to keep in mind, but it got, like, moved around loads when the video first came out, and I was just like, oh shit, I didn't, I guess, I didn't mean for it to go that way, but I'll go, eh, that's what happens. Well, that's, Have yeah, that's Haven't seen many more, uh, much more rotting fruit from you, though. True. I did, uh, there was a point, I think I was talking with Fortier at the time, because he was the one that helped me decide on that visual, that it was like, going forward, would you, would you cho change the fruit for every film you're talking about? That was like a genuine possibility, uh, before changing up how I was gonna edit the visuals. I do, I do like the visual, though, how it's just a slowly rotting fruit, it's like, alright, here we go, oh, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, more problems, more problems. Yeah. And the fruit just gets more and more rotten. I do, I do like that visual. Well, there were some people that, to this day, if you look at the comment section, are like, what's the deal with the fruit? Like, I don't get it. And it's just like, really? Okay. That's fine. Oh, I'm so dead. Apparently, um, this is, like, breaking news, but uh, Britney Spears is, like, her dad has been removed as conservator now for her. Well, wow. a conservator Sorry. meaning well that was basically that he had control over her estate uh more so than she did <clears throat> so oh that, so i guess she did whatever she needed to do i assume well i guess she just won finally so i think that's um then there's like a transition process or something so she gets to pick someone else to be conservator and then eventually however that goes yeah well, obviously with such little context all i have to say is like i hope whatever is best for her is happening you know yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I guess it's weird that she still doesn't have control of it, and she's well, what? thirteen years. It's been thirteen years. Damn. That uh, yeah, since like two thousand seven or eight. It has been about that since two thousand seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah. 
Why is that the year in particular that's so uh, that was that was when uh, everything was sort of going wrong for her and that was the justification okay. for making him the conservative. Uh, okay, I gotcha. Um an axe mitter in Wales? Save your sheep, Wombo. Well hopefully they're not going for the sheep, oh, just the did people. You guys have an axe murderer? Apparently. Uh, I, oh, I, I don't exciting. remember, but yeah, I know you know, Axe murderers are always the kind of people you like, why why are you doing it? And then Sometimes you get some interesting answers, so... Um, congratulations on three years. Keep up the good rat, you massives. Also high rags. Hello. Um, thank you, chat and gang, for sharing this morning with me. I've appreciated having all of you with me in bed. No problem. You bet. That's what we're here for. A comfy place. Um... Wait, it costs 10 coins to use it. Fuck, yeah. No, no I'm doing that. Uh, Art doesn't go to meme to die. He's not Hollywood. I mean, kinda, though. Like, a little bit. He dies in a different way. No, he just... He dresses... He's like um, the, the character from Hill House who gets people ready for the funerals and stuff. I forget her name. Uh, oh, right. He's um, like that. What is that profession There's called? What profession, sir? Funeral director. I guess or a so, more, yeah. yeah, the person who pretties up the bodies and stuff uh, for a funeral. Who cleans it up, gets it all nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if this is a more specific name. Um, there probably is. Funeral I'm, director? Is that it? Or? Um, that could be it. What I'm do you think, Thanks. Right, because people say be. mortician, it might be, which yeah. sounds like it probably that's the one mortician. In fact, so yeah, many people are saying one. it that that probably is exactly what it is. Wow, appeal to popularity. A funeral director, also known as an undertaker in British English or a mortician American English. Ah, so undertaker was right. Well, there you go. Um. It's a fucking weird minigame, but I'm okay with it. The, bring your Google over these buses. That's not mine. I don't know why you keep saying those such things. Oh, well, I mean, I was told it was, so I guess someone tricked me. I, oh, you were told, is that right? Yeah, I trusted someone, and now it's costing me my relationship with you. I'm so sorry. I just didn't, I didn't mean for that to happen. Yeah, oh, it's drama. I mm -hmm. can't stand it. It's drama. Um... Normally I hate the phrase, I fixed your art, but I will allow Fringy to say it. He legit does. Oh. Wait, what? And what was the context for that? <laughs> His Gothic phone, presumably? Uh, oh. Fringy, did you fix your art? I think there have been instances where I basically tried to make it more detailed again, uh, when detail had been lost. Maybe that's yeah, what maybe. they mean, but I don't know. That doesn't, I'm not sure, yeah. Good guy, Fringu. I watch Maybe, when I yeah. catch up, but I just wanted to thank you all for the good times. Here's to another 50. Oh yeah, we're already... We're thank already, you very much. We're already four into the next 50. It Honestly, like, it won't be long yeah. if we've done the first 10. It'll be like, Jesus Ooh. Christ, we're already a fifth to the next 24 hour. That's uh, one of those things that's talked about, right? Is when people get older, time feels like it's going faster because the amount of time that is passing relative to how long you've been alive is diminishing. Yes, but I also think that the more you do different things, the slower time travels. Uh, probably right. If you if you fall into just a routine that's incredibly predictable, maybe that's... Yeah, time moves really fucking fast. Yeah. Um... Boop -ba -boop. I'm gonna re-refresh for today's ones and check them out again. <laughs> Fringy, where can I send you a Halo beta code? Um, you don't need to send me a code. That's fine. If you breathe near a Gimpy Gimpy plant, it can sting your lungs. Australia seems fucking horrible. <laughs> I mean, everybody says that, but like the reality is, is that you, it's so rare that you're going to encounter some highly dangerous animal life that you'll be fine you will be fine they, they've hit their kill limits before they got to you and they died there you go i i think it's interesting to think about because um there were we had some big animals that were here before um 
Aboriginal sailed over about 40, 50,000 years ago, like mega marsupials. Uh, these crazy animals that I would have personally been more nervous about encountering than, like, a snake. Um. Also, hi, Rags, and happy birthday, Metal. Hello to you. Uh, Nerd Anonymous has three videos, and they're great. Check him out and get him on EFAP for Star Wars coverage one day if you can. If you can, happy Halloween, the best holiday. Do that. We may grab him up. Who knows if he wants to? We can finally have a Star Wars episode again. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. It's crazy. Well, Book of Boba Fett is coming up. Yeah. I mean, we can, uh, yeah, who knows all the Mandalorian stuff we could cover, if that's better, or we can go back to a classic, a t we could do a TLJ classic. Oh, you imagine. How's TFA coming along mutually and high rags? Hello to you. Oh, sorry, it was Muse Balls. <laughs> Muse Balls. That's uh, <laughs> one way to put it. Um, coming along, you know, there's not, nothing else to say. Just, just things come when they come. Let them come. Mm-hmm. What's your least favorite guest who's come on while covering a video? Twin Perfect, easily. Oh wait, does that yeah, count? Twin Perfect was bad. Well, he's a guest. We well, he said while covering video. a video. Does that not count? Because we weren't covering a video with him. How often have I... Uh, I don't know how many... Happened? We've got a selection of people... I'm assuming they're talking about the people who come on during coverage of a video. Which does happen every once in a while. It hasn't happened in a while now, I think. Um, I'm not gonna answer that. Well, yeah, I, it wouldn't be a question I'd be answering personally. If it <laughs> I'm more than work. happy to answer if it's someone like Twin Perfect, though. Like, cause yeah, yeah, if it's just a, just a shit. This isn't the same yeah. as like who out of all the people you've had on as the guests are the, guest. the most boring yeah. or something. It's, like, it's not quite <laughs> that. Oh, we drew nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully that's a good enough answer. Also, Actual Justice Warrior said he'd come on if you asked him. You should get him on. Yeah, well, we got we got all kinds of people we need to get on Maybe. EFAP. Um, October's not been a fantastic month in terms of just sorting out sort of stuff like that, because I'm just so busy organizing um, other things we're getting up to. Spooky things. Yeah, a lot's gonna be Well, happening. I need to work oh, on that Avatar. Busy. That was... I was like, Do oh, it. go work, draw. Do like, it. Yeah, now's the time. I haven't decided yet. Well, oh. Let's see. I'll figure it out. I'll do some thumbnails and come up with some concepts. Hello, EFAP crew. I would like to address Fringy for a moment. I wanted to make a oh, comic boy. about your character uh -oh. called Fringy's Apprentice. Your goo may make a cameo. I will respect the properties the goo will be kept uh, confidential, so can I take creative liberties? Um, yeah, sure, because it's not an officially licensed fringy, you know, work, so... so yeah, if, if your goo, for example, were to be used to, I don't know, just, uh, kill someone, you know, you'd be like, that's non-canon. It's not necessarily... Well, it is, it is non-canon, yeah. The only canon is, is the one that I come up with. It would be adaptation argument, right? So, the authenticity is likely to be highly inaccurate, but hey, look, you know, internally you can, you can tell a story in it, and who knows? What you could do is you could have the apprentice trying to make Fringy Goo, but he doesn't have access to the formula or to the goo Ryan itself. Right, so he botches it and fucks it up because he's not as smart as me. You know, <laughs> uh, whatever, what, you know, whatever the apprentice comes up with, that's his goo. That's not Fringy's goo. So that's that is just a goo that is tangentially related. It was yeah. it was inspired by Fringy's goo, but that could mean, I mean, who knows? Yeah, exactly. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. Um, fuck, marry, kill, Batwoman, Gothic phone, meme faps. Uh, I think I'm marrying Gothic phone. I guess I'll oh, fuck wait, no, I'm thinking, hmm, hmm, mm. actually, uh, let me think a little bit more. I jumped the gun well, there. I might marry meme faps because really? there's going to be, I don't know which one I get bored of first, the, meme videos and stuff, or Gothic phone. Oh, that, that's a good point. I think the versatility of meme fap is, uh, I, I, I'm killing Batwoman, I think. Yeah, I think um, Batwoman's gotta die. Uh, yeah. Cause Gardic Phone is like, it's us hanging out together and meme faps are the community's mm -hmm. work that they put yeah. together. So I gotta prioritize all that. Cause our, our, uh, 
our our stuff is better than Batwoman. The the memes that you guys make are better than Batwoman. Well, yeah, the um, memes, the artwork, and things in general are super valuable. So in that sense, I think yeah, I think now change my mind. So it'd be marry meme fat, fuck Gardic phone, kill Batwoman. Plus, Batwoman won't be going on as long as meme faps. Yeah, um, that's uh, true. Yeah, if if it is continue and they will go on and on. If season three of Batwoman is the end, then. Um... I guess you'll at least see a lot of Batwoman to come well after that show stops, you know? On EFAB. Yeah. Keep her alive for as long as we can. I have a love-hate relationship with XCOM. It's fun, but Muller is 100% right about the game being evil. Mario and <laughs> Rabbids is better with its four shots. 0, 25%, 50%, and 100%. Peach uses a shotgun in it. Okay, that does sound pretty badass, just saying. I don't know if I'd say that it's better it's preferable if you don't like the uh the stuff to do with like percentage chances but there are less variables so it's like that is both the benefit and the weakness i mean i i wouldn't mind playing it to see what it's like it would be interesting is oh on... you probably like it i the it's switch, on switch it? it's okay. really fun yeah it's it's super fun it's it's cool um it's the kind of game where you're like are you fucking kidding me but then you actually play it and it's 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 actually pretty neat did you know what if confirms Cap Captain Marvel can absorb Thor's lightning and the Mind Stone laser can effortlessly slice Thanos in half? Ooh. Okay, awesome. Ooh, that's not <laughs> good. We don't want that. Right. Well, I I saw that the the episode of that is was today or yesterday was what if Ultron wins? That is the that's the man. We are getting super imaginative with these premises, by the way. Why can't we do something straightforward? Fuck me. How do you how do you manage to do what if Ultron wins in like twenty five minutes? I, I don't like see how you of... can, yeah. But okay, yeah. Um, Captain Marvel absorbing Thor's lightning is one thing, but the Mind Stone laser slicing Thanos in half is like, ooh. Mm. So you're telling me that they would have beaten Thanos if like Vision didn't get ambushed, basically? Uh, yeah, that's, that's like, that. That was his fatal flaw. Hello, Mola, Fringy, and High Rags. Start. Hello. 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 Um, have you heard what John Leguizamo said about the cast for the Super Mario movie? I have not. No. No, I haven't. And it would be funny to know because he's the legend that played Luigi. <laughs> um, Fuck, this minigame's horrible. Okay, let me see. John Leguizamo blasts lack of diversity on uh, Super Mario Bros. movie as Charlie Day takes Luigi Baton. <laughs> God, we, we they talk about the right things, you know? Everyone does. That's what we should be talking about, the lack of diversity. That's, that's the one. Does Fringy's goo cause cancer or cure cancer? I haven't tested that yet. He said and it doesn't, it definitely tweet, doesn't cause it, it though. I haven't What's tested that, it, but it definitely said, doesn't cause it. He said Latinx in his tweet. Uh, oh god, so he's glad. using Hashtag Latinx. Super Mario Bros. Yeah, which I'm like, fuck, don't Hispanic people hate that word? That's what I heard. I but... thought they do, yeah. Because I, I it's just, it shows a lack of awareness it. for the reason why these, uh, these terms developed in the first place. Well, Obviously, it's iconic enough, but too bad they went all white. No Latinx in the leads. Groundbreaking Why, but... colorblind cast. It well, you know what? Why don't you fucking go to Mexico and make your Latinx Super Mario movie where they have tacos and wear sombreros wow. and they jump over fences? Ugh. Uh, plus, I'm the only one who knows how to make this movie work script-wise. Wait, he said that. That's in the tree. That's in the is tree. Is he like, what's what's his problem? Is he like, is there something? Does he is he is he sad with? that he's not being brought back to play Ma Luigi? <laughs> is that what's happening? Uh, oh, one of the top tweet. This is the this is the like the, the tweet just right beneath it. I love you, man, and your Luigi rocks. But as a Latino myself, stop saying Latinx. It sounds so <laughs> dumb. Besides, Mario, Luigi, and Peach are already defined in the game. There's no reason to force race into this. I feel like with Mario, it's just like, this is just a little dinky world where they, they go around and jump on turtles. 
Therefore, everyone should be black, Ringy. I guess therefore I thought it didn't matter, but... No, Hence, there you go. So if it doesn't matter, why isn't everyone black? Explain that. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter. That's the idea. It's just, let's not focus on it. <laughs> I know he's dead, but <laughs> Michael Clark Doug could as Barrio. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would be even right, better if he was Luigi. With, uh, help me out with, like, standard... So, I've got a werewolf fringy, potentially. Well, what, what other things are there that aren't Frankenstein or a skull? Because I've done those. Mummy. Well, you did mummy, didn't you? I didn't do mummy, I don't think. Oh. Okay, well, that's one. Let me um, try that. Let me try that, yeah. What's he got? Creature from the Black Scott Lagoon. Reveals, uh, this, this is a tweet. Ridley Scott reveals he has already written Gladiator 2 and plans to begin filming the sequel after his next film. Man. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh Ridley God! Scott. No, he's had nothing but bangers lately. Oh, I, I worry. Oh no, I fear. I maybe do both. Oh, I don't like the idea. Mm, all right. Anyway, <laughs> what about maybe a C Cthulhu? Uh, I'm not sure how I'd fit the plague doctor stuff in with Cthulhu. Well, yeah, you could definitely do that as well. There's, there's ghost fringy as well. You could do. Um, I guess I don't know what ghost fringy would it just be like totally just power white and that's it. And you can do obviously the yeah, like you're transparent to a background, but then maybe throw in yeah. some extra bits like uh, something with your eyes, you know? Maybe yeah. Uh... Let's see, mummy. Star Wars Visions offers cool stories and art styles with a better understanding of Star Wars than Ryan and JJ. Episode three was just stupidly weeb, and I like anime by the way. All right. If that tempts you out there, everybody, you go right ahead. Couldn't they just say uh, Latin instead of Latinx? Latin... I don't fucking... A hey, Latin? Isn't it Latina? Or Lat I, I, I'm it's Latino Latina. and Latina, depending on whether you're referring to a man or a woman. And so X, the idea was to combine it all into it's, one umbrella. Hey, look, it's gender neutral when the, by d the reason why they're specifically different is because that's just part of the... the the, where it came from. Um, on a lighter note, there's a small push for Rahul Kohli to be the next Doctor on Twats. I assume they mean Twitter. And he's keen, apparently. Uh, who would y'all like to hey. see as the Doctor or Bond? Dude, he could... He is the... He's the sheriff? Yeah. Yes. He could do the Doctor okay. with, with ease. Oh, obviously. yeah. I think he'd make sure. I think he'd do great. Yeah. I think he'd be very good at it. He's a very talented actor. I just, my worry is not in his acting, it's in the material he's given. Yeah, of course. And they got, who do you like to see as the doctor? So I'm with Jay on this one. Um, and he's not too old. Uh, Charles Dance could absolutely be a fucking baller oh, doctor. That, be, and let's go a route instead of him being this sort of like happy go lucky clown ish character who can get serious. Let's have him be serious like most of the time. We can do like, even if it's just the one season, let's, let's have some fun. Um, that's kind of an irony, right? But like, it would be fun to do that. And then for Bond, um, I'm on board with the Henry Cavill casting. I feel like he could do a really great Bond with Idris sort Elba. of classic y Bond. Um, but yeah, it, well, so the only thing about it, what's the, how old is Henry Cavill? Uh, I think he's like 35, something like that, mid-30s. See, that seems a little bit more reasonable. Like, it... suited for long term? Yeah. Yeah, but, um... He's looking good for, what is he, 73? He could do Tom he like could... Tom Hiddleston could be James... Charles Dance is, um, he only recently... He's pretty good. ...did this, uh, show where he played, like, the devil, and he had, like, a full prosthetic suit. And I was, like, blown away. Like, for his age, he's, he's still 100%, like, active and willing to be doing all kinds of acting things. Right. Yeah, he's looking good for 73. That's great. Holy shit. Yeah. I mean, this is the thing, man. Like, I just want him in more he's, stuff. Yeah, I, I hate how much yeah. he gets typecast as just general man, doctor man, scientist man. And he'll, he'll say, like, eh, this thing is happening. <laughs> That's my scene done. <laughs> Whoa, this thing is happening. Yeah. Yeah, um, I I would love this Doctor Who. That would that would get me to watch it. 
Fuck yeah. I mean, even if it was poorly written, I would be watching it just to be like, why did you waste all of your shit? Um, rank phase yeah, he four. Had to say, why did you waste all of your shit? Mm hmm. Rank phase four subjectively. And for this person, they're saying one division, then Loki, then Black Widow, then Falcon the Winter Soldier. Um, so Maybe my sure. least favorite hmm. is going to be Falcon and Winter Soldier. Probably that. Um, yeah. That's then the one Loki, that really twisted my nipples, no, the artist. Then Black Widow, I think. Then Loki. Yeah. Then. Then yeah. one division, then I think it's the same list as they've, they've said, yeah. I, I think Chong chi is at the top. Ooh, subjectively? In terms of like oh, how again. we enjoyed it? Oh man. I might put... I would put Loki below Black Widow. This is a hard question to answer, honestly. Um, I'm trying let, to be completely honest with myself sure. in terms of how much I enjoyed watching them all. <laughs> Get uh, assassinated. Okay. Yeah, because they fuck things up completely in all of them, so I'm just like, I don't know, um... Uh, I think I hated WandaVision the least. But at least we can put... Let's start then Shang-Chi. Oh, well, so they haven't included that in theirs, but if we're including that, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Shang-Chi is the least painful, yeah. I think that might be for me WandaVision and then Shang-Chi at the top. Like, the one that pissed me off the most probably was Falcon the Winter Soldier. It was, it was making me particularly angry watching that. Yeah, episode yeah. 4, just, oh. People on Twitter saying it was great and then immediately running away from that position. None of them remember what the plot was anymore, already. Yeah. So many people saying, no, it was great, up until that point even. It's like the boys all over again. And yeah, as for like... Black Widow versus Loki. It's like Loki fucked up the entirety of the MCU. Um, Black Widow really did cool. annoy me quite a bit, though. Like, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I think I was laughing at Black Widow a lot more than I was at Loki. I think I, so on a subjective scale. I think I was having more fun with Black Widow. Oh. Okay, interesting. I think. Yeah. Um. I, yeah, this the incredible durability of her and some of this. Yeah, I, I I probably laughed at it more than a lot of the other stuff. Loki was just a drag a lot of the times, and they just didn't give a shit about anything, and it made me upset. And it was just, it really was like the super kill shot for the MCU. I don't become oh, yeah, big with the mushroom. It was, it was over, oh, you know? lame. I think it was at that point we realized it's like, yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. it's over. Um, I'll watch when I catch up, but I just wanted to thank you all for the good times. Here's to another 50. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I've uh, been following you a bunch for a good while now, but this is the first time I caught you live. Happy anniversary and thank you for your hard work. Keep it up. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Thank you very much. I found this podcast just before the second anniversary, and honestly, it's the happiest I've ever been. Thank you for all the entertainment, the laughs, and the tisms. Here's to another year, you massives. Wow. That's, I mean, yeah. that's something. Mm. Happiest ever. Glad we can provide that, and thank you so much for sharing. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. He wants me to hold can a you, thought. Give me, give me more supernatural go things. I've got mummy, werewolf, ghost. Um, Creature from the Black Lagoon. I haven't seen that. You don't need to have seen that. Uh, well, let me see if I see the picture, maybe at all. Oh, um. <laughs> nah, I don't want to do that. I got it something else. Um, um. What about, like, Spooky Witch? Oh, what? Just with, like, a little witch hat on? I mean, there's lots of things you could do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me give that a shot. I'm leaning towards the werewolf now, though, as I'm drawing all of these. The ghost feels too featureless. Um, let's see. That's you, you but like, that's your challenge as an artist, surely. Um, sure. Uh, I guess it's just I'm trying to think about time 
I need, I need to get this done <laughs> fairly quickly. I don't want to spend too long on this. James was a headless horseman. It's like, well... <laughs> well, then, that, at that point, that loses basically Robo Fringy. I feel like that could be something, maybe, but I'm not sure. Dude, which hat? You gotta get the fucking... There it is. I'm still really bad at drawing hats. Yeah, I mean, because I thought you were going for like classic costumes. Or if you're just talking about movie monsters, I am. I am going for classic. Typically, that's why I got the werewolf. I've already done Frankenstein, so. Good old vampire. You... Uh, I've thought about that. Yeah, might give that a try. See what that looks like. Zombie. I feel like that might be too close to Frankenstein. Maybe not, though. We'll give it a shot. But I am leaning towards the werewolf. I think a zombie's close to Frankenstein. That's oh, interesting. Yeah, um, in, I, I don't know why. It just feels like the... It looks similar. Rags, do you think zombies and Frankenstein look similar? Really? No. Uh, just thinking to himself, I guess. I picture Frankenstein is always green with the stitches, the bolts, and the... Um, yeah, sure, I guess it would be, uh, if I made it, it would probably be, like, more like a pale, uh, color. Yeah, and then you can tear flesh off and stuff, and yeah. usually have it grimacing in some way. Well, Frankenstein is usually chill. He's just, like, sitting there like, hey, man, I, 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 hey, I don't look, bother I'm nobody. Not, I'm misunderstood, all right? Mm-hmm. I think it's that they're both undead. Yeah, I think that's what it was for me. Well, vampires are undead, but, too. Oh, vampires are undead, but I guess they're undead in a different sense. Do you mean, like, decayed is maybe what they're going for? Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking, more so. I'm Medusa? Not sure about the witch. It feels like I'm not. <laughs> nah. It's too much work. Cousin It? <laughs> From Adam's family? Somebody with the brain showing. I don't know if I want to make, be too gruesome. Oh, I, I definitely don't have that restriction. Um, I guess there's that. It's just, yeah, I don't know if I want it to be too gruesome. I don't know how I feel about the witch. It's a little too... The just... mummy might be okay. It just feels like that's also another one where it's like it's a lot of work drawing all of the individual band-aids. Band-aids. Bandages. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oops, what is it more. you want, Fringy? Easy but featureful? Well, the, the werewolf is kind of featureful. It's just more so that it's really obvious what that is, you know? It's not as hard. No, it's not going to be as hard as you make it because of the fear. Um... Sure, but I've, I've, yeah, I suppose that's true. Why can't I just make unsubstantiated claims? Because this is EFAP. Everyone challenges challenge everything. Me on every single claim that I'm making. It's like, well, actually. I disagree well, with that. You know what? Oh, the claim that I, I challenge every claim. Be a fairy, those are scary. We don't want to fucking terrify the audience, Jesus. Plague Doctor Fring is such a good choice. Well, I mean, I'm super happy with the, uh, the Plague Doctor aesthetic in general. I, I really like it. Um, I feel like it's a cool profile that you can work with and, and do some funny stuff with. Like in the Fringy comic, new page up now. <laughs> Everywhere. With uh, the little mustache. Well, that's kind of spoiled. Wow, you just spoiled the entire story. <laughs> I I did no such thing, but if you ever if you ever wanted to see, I'm choking on my own coffee here. <coughs> what Friggy would look like wearing a fake mustache? All right. So some people have said that you're copying me for Halloween, because I have shown you my Halloween outfit. But the thing is that you know it, it, we could be in unison. Wait, sorry, have I seen yours? Can I see it? Um, yeah. I don't want to tread on anybody else's feet. Oh, give me a sec. Discord <laughs> is back being a see. bitch. Because if somebody's doing that, then okay. I don't want to. Um. 
Just give give it a sec. Every once in a while, Discord freezes, so I can't see anything. And what I'll need oh, no. to do is like just just. Oh, there we go. Nope, maybe. Yes, there we go. Oh. Get rid of you. All right. Where am I going? There. There. How are you doing, Rags? Did you get some coffee or tea? No, I did. I got a drink and I um grabbed some grabbed a bite of tuna. Mm. And uh, a couple chips, and then use the loo real quick. After that, made sure to wash my hands. Of course, we were talking about that the other day. Yeah. Yes. All right. Up. Upload. I'm gonna. I'll show you. Fringy. I won't show Rags yet until oh. until Saturday. It's gonna be a. Sure. It'll, it'll be a live surprise. Does Rags have his ready? My what? Your Halloween stuff. I have Halloween images that I can use, yeah. Fringy's thinking about what he's gonna go as. He's, I think he's siding with Werewolf right now. I'm leaning towards Werewolf, but I'm still exploring ideas. The mummy could be cool as well. I'm not as keen on Ghost, and, and frankly, Witch Doctor kinda looks like a pilgrim. Like, that's what he looks like at the moment. He What's wrong with like looking a like a pilgrim? Pilgrims aren't spooky enough, alright? Just throw some blood on there. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I shouldn't go as well. Thingy. So, we'll try some other stuff. It's all right, we'll figure it out sooner or later. We watched the Angel episode with Jeremy Renner last night. He was great in that. Yeah, it's weird seeing him in it, isn't it? Pedro Pascal was in an episode as well. A boofy. Yeah. Can you believe it, Rags? Your favoritest characters. Who now? The uh, Pedro Pascal and good old uh, uh, Jeremy Renner pop up in Buffy and Angel. Ah. Oh. Before they were famous. Fuck, the charge shot's amazing. Okay. Uh, congrats, Mola, Rags, and the EFAP universe. Well, thank thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm. Mola, my guy. I just woke up from the most vivid dream. I somehow took over your body and did the adult thing with your girlfriend. It was whack, and she was very attractive, so thank you. All right. Hmm. Interesting dream you had that there. That is a strange dream. Um, I'm starting to like Fringy's brain damage theory. What was Fringy's brain oh, damage theory? Uh, that the longer you stay up, you basically, when you're awake, you're basically giving yourself low level brain damage. So the longer you stay up, the more decayed you sort of become mentally. And so when you sleep, it's like recovery. Uh, if you sleep brain for, the for next day. 10 years in a row, does that give you like supercharged brains? I'm not, I'm not sure. Incredible. I feel like it's diminishing returns at some point, you know? Oh. Yeah, you yeah you get yourself. Oh, but there was that one Bond villain who took a drug where he never had to sleep. That was Die Diamonds Are Forever, day. right? No, Die, Die Another day. day. Yeah, Diamonds in his face. I think that was mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah, there was a, well, that was a different character, but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like diamonds on my face, squirrels in my pants, you know, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Happy anniversary, EFAP. I just want to show my support. Keep up the great work. I enjoy the content. Thank you very much. So it seems like I woke up to Gothic Phone. Noise. A lot of people do. It's a good place to be. Very good place to start. Mm. You know what, Zombie Fringy? I don't mind this as an idea. <clears throat> You got That's a zombie variant rags at any point? You gonna do that one day? I I don't know. I might. I'm, I've actually just uh, I hit up uh, Kitchiki to ask if we can, because that's one of the reasons I've got a delay on this next video. Is I'm 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 like right in the I'm in the I'm the next spot in the queue for her for getting art assets and stuff. Hmm. So I had a list that I gave her. She said, "Oh, okay, it's X amount," and I'm like, "Oh, that's not as much as I thought. Can I get more?" And she said, "Yeah, sure." And so I'm giving her some more stuff. And I just asked her also, 
could you do real quick? Could you uh, do a Halloween icon for me? Uh, she's in the middle of moving house, I think. So there's a little bit of delays with that. But hopefully I can get a couple. Maybe I could have her get the same face and then she could make the different ones out of it, which I think would be interesting. Yeah. Um, so we'll see once she hits me back up. Um, uh, somebody said Minotaur Fringy. That that sounds really cool, but again, it feels like I gotta do a lot of work in terms of redesign. Zombie Fringy. I think that's I think that's uh, what I'm settling on. <coughs> oh, and hey, pro tip from somebody who isn't fucking pro. Um, oh, I'm not a pro. When, when you when you're doing your art, all right, draw lots of designs real quick. Don't do the first one and then settle on it. That's uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> She's not gonna yield the best results when it comes to ideas. If I had settled on the first idea I had, which was the vamp, uh, the the werewolf, it would have been kind of cool. But we can do that next year. You'd stumble. Would you into... have been the plague doctor all along instead of like your alien superhero fringy? Oh, uh, uh, well, yeah, because that's an example of me not putting an effort <laughs> to uh to figure out a design that works. Well, you know what, Paul Springy would be like, hey, I thought it was neat, okay? Yeah, sure, and I'd tell him it's not. Pr oh. Try again, do better. Suck me. You've got to do better, Senator. <laughs> You've got <laughs> to draw better, Fringy. Oof. <laughs> hey, this game's kind of neat. Don't you, you like this, Fringy? Look, it's, it's not Tetris, but, you know. It's Tristan. something. Fuck. Ah yes, little Tris. Ho 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 ho. Hey, wee, 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 wee. Wait, what have I got to do? Uh oh. This was all a very big mistake. Oh, is there no actual like? I thought that. Okay. What have I got to do? <laughs> I was just gonna fill the board. In which case, I guess that's easy. Oh, it clears. Okay. So I guess it's the rush to clear it is the actual important part. Fucking hell, video games, man. I'm just I'm too old now. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to fill another one. Hmm. Can I do it? Um. <laughs> Fringtum entanglement. Fringtational lensing. Oh. Don't know what the context was for that. <clears throat> I believe in both of those Maybe things. Maybe you though. did something like that was very shiny. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Well, the chatter probably does, but me. How did I lose? Did I not win that? Oh, for fuck's sake. I showed the EFAP 100 Endgame meme to some friends with zero context. Reaction wasn't as funny as one might think, but they thoroughly enjoyed it. Mm. I mean, yeah. That's one I of think those... context helps it greatly. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> fun because you see all these these classic characters popping up to save the day, you know. Otherwise, just like who the fuck is all this? Can Man of Steel melt beams? Mexican Martha. I guess we'll find out. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking so. Mola, just use the transparency and color wheel tools for once, you shleem. I swear to Jeb. Yeah, I, I I never use them. Uh, to be fair, I'm not even sure I remember they existed. But I probably should. Wait, so the rules are if I lose, I pay 10, and if he loses, he pays 5. That... Okay. He also happens to have, like, double the money I have, so... This seems... Hmm, I don't know. Just popping in to say congrats economic, uh, yeah. on Commentary. three years. Yeah, I think that's what this game's trying to do. Mario's always been about that economic entanglement. I never win these. It's getting to be cringe, that's what I think. The big annoy? Yeah. Go away. Ugh. Gonna win. Oh, I still won. Alright, you know what? The game was like, fine, you can win this time. That's what that was. Uh, 
Just popping in to say congrats on three years. Been here since episode six and have loved the ride. Good day, rags. Come yum. Rhino milk. Stay safe, massives. We'll do it. Gonna be honest, the rags one raises less questions from onlookers. I think they're talking about the plushies. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think so. I think he's just a very approachable, cute uh, looking, looking dog out there. Speaking of which, we're just, it's yeah, just over a month before we'll be getting them. How Deliver very exciting. Yes. Buy one molar and a harem of rags. Is, let's say, can you really be satisfied with just one rags? I don't know. I mean, that calls into question either my ability to satisfy on a singular level or your insatiable appetite, so... Mm -hmm. It's probably the latter. Uh, fringy plush? Who knows what the future will hold? Mm -hmm. Um, if buy all... I buy all if we get a fringy slash frinks plush. Oh, I think that was in reference fringy to the sphinx. Fringy frinks? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a latinx. Oh, there you but go. That could be a I Halloween outfit. A long time ago, yeah. The Frinks. I don't know Frinks. if that works. The Halloween. riddle of the Frinks. I guess you could go as like a Pharaoh. That could be a Halloween outfit, right? That, yeah, that's absolutely. Sure. You know what? We know what fucking busts my petunies here is when when you use that the ancient Egyptian stuff and people call it cultural appropriation. Like, let's be clear, all of those people have been dead for longer than you can fathom, and two, modern-day Egyptians ain't got nothing to do with all that. So let's just drop this shit right now. And you know what? If they could see what's happened, they'd be like, eh, well, I mean, it's kind of fun. Let them, let them do it. It's, it's funny. Yeah. Walk like an Egyptian? I appreciate that, yeah. Cool shit. Long time listener, fourth time caller, loved the first intro music and the bat song. Uh, here's to 150 and beyond. Stay long, you massives. Also high rags. Thank Hello you to much. you. Happy 150th episode, you wonderful massives. Thank you for all the laughs and good times you've given us. You've gotten me through some tough times by making me laugh, and I can't thank you enough for it. Also high rags. Hello to you. And thank you very much, yeah. Hi rags, kick J, congrats on 150. Jay was kicked many a time. I think twice. So, pretty good for a, for one stream. What's Fringy's favorite Futurama quote? Um. Oh, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Is kind of the obvious one. Mm -hmm. Um, I I very love useful. stealing. I love kicking things. Oh wait, no, it's I love stealing. I've loved taking things. That's a good one. <laughs> um. Oh, damn. Um, hmm. What other ones are there? Oh, what the hell is that thing that appears to be the mothership? And what do we just blow up? The Hubble telescope. <laughs> <laughs> losing half of it. Stop exploding, you cowards! <laughs> Stop exploding, you cowards. <laughs> That's a good one. I also like the, um... You can't own property, man. He goes, I can, but you can't because you're a pettiless hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid senior citizens, why do we have to pay for their retirement that flashes in the future? Give us free money! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was it? Oh, um, the guy kicked down the sandcastle where I was building. <laughs> Then Layla was like, you know, we, we could take a walk on the beach. Uh, no thanks, ma'am. I'm actually gay. He just <laughs> walks off. He's just a bully for hire. <laughs> well, I am already in my pajamas. <laughs> yeah, there's that one. Um, Kick J. Done and done. I've been following this since I was 15. Student turned 28 two days ago. So, ha. Wait, what am I? Well, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching you for 13 Could you years. Come through a time machine. <laughs> what are you? Years. If Good someone news, came from everyone. the future and said, "Hey, do you want do you want me to tell you if you're still doing EFAP or anything?" I was like, "Don't tell me." Yeah, keep me in suspense. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you tell me, that might change what happens. Imagine they said, "Yes." You're like, <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> what? Why did you say it like, why is it that you said it like that way? <laughs> I just don't understand why have you done this. 
Well, imagine they said, in a way. <laughs> in a way, it's like, why Why would you answer like that? <laughs> <laughs> from a certain point of view. Yeah, what about from, like, just the normal point of view? <laughs> yeah. What about the typical normal person's perspective? Yeah. <laughs> Tragically, yes. Uh, you masses are insane. Been watching since this stream. Uh, any chance I got, and I'm only finishing part one. How are you guys still going? Literally uh, years of training lead to those particular marathons. Yeah. Uh, get Misanthropony on. He's a good boy. P perhaps. perhaps. I'm hearing we should have, uh, have him on. There's no brony representation on this show, you know? And that's what, um, that's what the pony-related thing is. We were asking this in the end of the last one that we did. And it's like, there's a difference between bronies and furries, Rags. You've got to be careful. You don't want to step on fandom toes, you know? They're under the umbrella. They're under the umbrella. That's the, but that, they are under the umbrella. What if they say you're under their umbrella? That's just, like, categorically not true. Oh. And smell a war. Ooh, Donkey Kong punched Mini Bowser in the face and took his money. This is a kid, by the oh, way. Oh, no. Jeez. <laughs> DK's like, but he's evil. And you're like, D yeah. Still. I guess so. <laughs> debate time. Gonna go refill my drink. Whoa. Are we, are we, I don't know which debate this is. So will be curious to find out where in the timeline we are, though. I guess we'll get context in a minute, right? Mm hmm. Kick Bitcoin and J. I don't remember when Bitcoin came up. That would have been. Or maybe if he's saying Bitcoin, was that Blame had a coin for his thing during that? Oh, and they're saying kick Bitcoin and G. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he was he's a bit in coin, right? He's a clip coin. Yeah. Something like that. Good morning, Ketchikan, Alaska. Could everyone say in their most narrative voice, Allosaurus had never seen such bullshit before? So, oh, well, in the most what voice? Narrative. It just says most narrative voice. That's why I went with. Uh, Good old Attenborough. Hmm. Allosaurus, is that what they said? Allosaurus has never seen such bullshit before. I had never seen. Hmm. Uh, let me see. Allosaurus had never seen such bullshit before. Allosaurus had never seen such bullshit before. There you go. You got it. This next one just says true. I dislike the adaptation argument. It's a specious ah. <laughs> argument to justify me no like popular thing because it's not like my thing. You get the impression. Hmm. I feel like it often is trying to... Uh, it's like the younger brother of the continuity argument. Is trying to be like, I'm like you, and it's like, you're not like me. No, you're, you're not. very different. No. And it's important that you're different, because you're about a different conversation. And he's like, no. Oh god, Bowser's gonna cheat again. Um, it seems like the adaptation argument could be resolved by this is a piece of writing, this as a piece of writing is good, but this as a sold thing is bad. So that's literally our argument. Well, so that's our argument, but the, <laughs> the problem is that usually when we have this discussion, nobody wants to have that be the thing. They want it to be like, no, it is bad categorically. Well, yeah. The thing is, how awkward this sounds, we have resolved it, as in my fellow Fringian rags. It's done for us. Yeah, we, we, yeah, don't, we don't have any trouble with yeah. this. Uh, exchange cash. This is not something okay. that we have to worry about. We haven't worried about it really ever. It was it was shockingly quick. How we were just like, oh okay, so yeah, done. Moving well, like on if, with our lives. You know, if there was a character who fucking was like the Punisher in Buffy, and then we're watching the first episode of a brand new Buffy continuity remake, and that character's introduced, and they they wouldn't kill, and I'm like, what the fuck? They fucked it up. I imagine that you'd both be like. What are you uh, talking about? I feel like you've forgotten. <laughs> yeah, uh, I expect to, yeah, I, I wouldn't would, expect to hear you say that. Yeah, no, exactly. I and so, yeah, that, that's the that's the ultimate test for myself. Um, and I don't know that I'd have any trouble with it at all. Uh, I t we typically... Like Galadriel, he's like, I have yet to be tested. I have passed. <laughs> well, you know what? Lord of the Rings, that could be an ultimate test for a lot of us. Depends on what they do. I mean, yeah, mm, yeah I. Yeah, the new thing. 
Because I'm Maybe. not sure. I, I, if I don't think I'm going to have any issues with it. Does it share continuity with the films, or is it entirely its own thing? I think it's its own thing. In that case, yeah, that'll be a real interest in sort of. Because yeah. even if they said it shared continuity, I'd be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Well, so that would only matter to me is if, if they relied on the films to explain a lot of things. I would then be like, okay, so you better be fucking following what those films set in place if you're going to do that. Which I would doubt they would do, but yeah. Um, it's not hard for us. It just comes up that, um, you know, it, we're talking about something that doesn't make sense and then someone else says, yeah, and they didn't even blah 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 from the comics. And then we're like, uh, okay. Like, Starro yeah. is supposed to have a different personality, and it's like... Oh. I don't care. I don't, yeah, I just, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Like, not as faithful as it could be. And I've seen people arguing over the... It seems like a bit of a troublesome uh, conversation to have anyway. Like, if I said, you know, Rags Free, read up on this comic, we're going to look at this TV show that adapted it, and we're going to talk about how faithful it was. That can even be a nightmare, too, because of the whole literally adapting it, like, one-to-one, -one, versus... Uh, keeping its spirit, quote-unquote. It's really hard to draw that line sometimes. Um, unrelated, but my Google... But Google ate my super chat from 13-ish hours ago, so here's the dosh, but I don't remember the content. Also, Rags is the best good boy doggo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there you go. Saved. Good stuff. And thanks, yeah. Shut your traps and have Pipeman read Chuck Tingle. I mean, you got it, so... I hope it was everything you wanted it to be. I hope it was worth it. Debates are gay. True. Yeah, well... Thank you for three years of EFAP, also high rags. Hello to you. Uh, what do you think of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood not following Charles Manson lore? I... I'm fine with that, because so that's an adaptation art. That's one of those ones that gets brought up. It's, um, once upon a time in Hollywood is alt history, it has to be. Uh, yeah. And so, there's a conversation to be had about how much you think that misinforms an audience or disrespects the truth of the matter, quote-unquote. Like, there's, I'm more than happy that that kind of conversation exists, but it doesn't affect the story being told in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, also, thank you, Rags, for showing up and stopping his dodging. I don't know if that reference is... That might be referencing Clip Coin, I think. I don't know. Because that's that's a part, that's the part of this conversation uh, stream, I think. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I Yeah, uh, yeah. I can see how that would refer to that. Yeah. I, Rags and Frogo, I was there for all of 50. Oh, you. All of 100. And in around 24 minutes, I will have been here for all of 150. Love you guys, mm -hmm. and here's to 200. Hello mutually, because I still have characters left. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. And yeah, nice. man, all of 50, 100, and 200. Man. Good times. Trying to make a bad product better brings about a lot of creativity and problem solving. I love thinking about how bad games could be remade. Yeah. The, um, interesting projects to do, you know. Um, how to Train Your Dragon. Book and movie only share names of characters. Toothless in the book can talk and is only the size of a house cat. Oh. Oh, that's a difference. Ooh. I wonder if people are aware of that, because a lot of people like How to Train Your Dragon, but... wonder how aware they are of such things. Mm. Oh, so man, Hill, Hill House often kills this argument as well. Shining. There's lots of examples. Yeah. Um, gay stories, please, Pikeman. The gay, gay stories story. run away. Give me the gay stories. Ooh, Feed I killed another child. Life. Sweet. Oh, good job. Um, I hope you aren't too tired yet, lads. Quite the feat you've pulled off so far. Also, I was quite entertained yesterday. Thank you. Mm. I'm glad you were entertained. Yeah, no problem. Yesterday. That's kind of amusing. It's like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> CW Flash is best Flash. Yeah, uh, sure. Um, <laughs> How depends. many? I guess there's the animated ones, from? but I'm yeah. just not. Yeah, CW I'm not Flash familiar with those at all. Like the shitty show. The, well, yes, but uh, who are we choosing from? I guess. Oh, um, hmm. true. 
Uh, been a great stream, guys. One more super chat before it ends. Oh, and hi, Fringy. Hey. You heard Voxis. More memes. We love you, Blessed Pipeman. Well then. I, I wonder what these ones will say now as his uh, his reading begins. Voxis Smutbringer Productions. Uh, Chris O'Neill from Oni Plays reviewing a new Nostalgia Critic video. I'm going to be praying to all the gods for this one. If um if Chris O'Neill agreed to come on EFAP, that would be one of the things I would ask of, of him. Oh, yeah. It's amusing to... I would reminisce with him about the, the heyday of the Nostalgia Critic. I won't be able to see an anniversary stream till 2024, so making the most of this. I'll be going on my LDS mission soon. Well, uh, best ah. of luck. Good luck, yeah. And we'll see you back in 2024, where we'll be talking about Captain Marvel's death scene in Civil War 3. Yeah. I hope you have a good time, and I uh, hope you convert nobody. So. Hmm. Uh... The blessed pikeman hath appeared to readeth us bedtime erotica. So saith in the Bible. So saith. Who would win? Of... A grizzly or a gaggle of meese? Meese? <laughs> moose. Many meese. a moose Why? versus oh, a grizzly. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the problem is that the moose will be pretty form the meese will be pretty formidable, but how do they do a death blow, you know? How do they typically kill... Uh, I'm assuming they've been known to be able to fuck up Probably predators. Probably one force. I have. One mm. force, yeah. Okay. Well, how many is a gaggle? Uh, I don't know how much a gaggle at least, is. At least, I mean, I guess it starts at three, right? Like, three's a crowd, so well, three would be a... I suppose the question is then, how many do you think it would take to defeat the grizzly, if possible? Oh... I don't know what that looks like, I guess. I don't know what it looks like to see a gaggle, gaggle of me standing meat. over a dead <laughs> bear. Uh, I, I guess they could just bludgeon it to death with their hooves yeah. if there's enough of them, and they could just keep going long enough. I wonder how much a bear can soak up blunt force with all the, you know, all its fat and everything and just the all the muscle it has. I'm... I don't know. It's tough to say. It's an odd pairing. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I don't really have much of a capacity to figure out how that fight would go. Uh, this debate over bear versus tiger is silly. Bear outweighs the tiger over threefold and has a super thick hide and fat. Bear wins pretty much every time. Ooh. Does it not weigh it by... Okay, by we were just engaging with the subject. Sure, yeah. Also, like. um... The problem I have with that kind of comment is that it pretends as though we didn't say anything like that at all. Yeah, at like, hey, look at how right I am, like, unlike you fucks. Well, <laughs> it's like, it's like you, you know? must have heard us talking about the fact that the bear is huge and heavy We and absolutely thick. did. We definitely did. I know and, we did. And we I'm pretty sure the did. conclusion yeah. was, if we run the experiment X amount of times, that the bear is winning more often than the tiger is. Yeah, that was the conclusion, but we also had the conclusion of if the tiger strikes first it might have a shot which i don't think you could disagree with at all yeah, like, the, the, i, I just it's that. amusing to me it's like if you listen to everything we did talk about all that we covered pretty much everything i think like, yeah i think we did yeah. pretty well honestly in we gave it a pretty fair shake fair. yeah uh look up the utility of loose skin on badges also i think a bear skin is so thick it will outlast the tiger it could be it could, I could be wrong, though. Okay. See, that's more reasonable. Well... <laughs> let me show you no, what it actually says. Shit. I was confused oh, yeah. by it, and then I was like, if I try to explain this, I wonder if it'll just be even more confusing. But I realize if I just show you the image, uh, you'll understand. I could I be could green wrong. <laughs> Oh, now, now that boy's happy. just plain green wrong. Yeah, sorry, for you. Tonight. I defended you. Yeah. And, I... and this is how you <laughs> repay me. Green wrong. I bet he feels guilty, though. But Fring goes to bat for him when in his own comment he was making fun of you. Yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, the utility of loose skin on badges, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you either. Probably be tougher to cut through. Oh, because um, it like, okay. Because like, you want to pull something taut before you, you know, like scrape it or cut it. Uh, you know, it's, it's so maybe it's looseness makes it just it's harder to grab, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's easier to grab, potentially. I don't know. Or it can it can stretch and it's got some give to it. And if it does rip or break, you know, it's not like it's more of a big deal if, the, if it's got really tight skin. Um, I don't. Yeah, I, I could see how there could be some advantages to not having skin that's really tight. Uh, thanks for everything. Go ahead. What? Just some disadvantages too, probably. Yeah. Fuck me, I'm terrible at this. Oh, give me. Um. Thanks for everything you all do. Shout out to my boy Ollie, who we love no matter how many times he dies getting the enemy speed buff. Fucking hell, Ollie. Is it really worth it? He's dying every time. Enemy speed buff. I. I do no... not know what this is from. Yeah, neither do I. Oh. How did you beat me, you bastard? Uh, where did you learn to coom? On a farm? Ooh. I feel like that's not, that's not an appropriate way to, to a place to learn how to coom. I don't know. Yeah, that seems a little... Yeah. Rags, wake up. Ah, 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 ah! What's that? I was, was a little bit rude of them to just wake you up like that. I don't know. Maybe don't you were comfortable. Maybe, but that was a different time. That was a happier time. Speaking of the original, I have zero interest in a Black Panther movie without T'Challa. T'Challa is Black Panther. Honor Chad and continue the story. Uh, no. What are you saying? Like th to recast him then? Or oh, in the case of I wouldn't re I would recast him only in the sense of like T'Challa is not being replaced. Black Panther as a title is being move to another oh, person now that he has died. I'm essentially asking them, because they said honor to Ch honor Chad, continue the story, T'Challa is Black Panther. It's like, so they must mean recast him then. Oh, recast T'Challa. Yeah. I think that's what they're doing. Someone else no, is going to be doing. the new Black Panther. Well, someone else is going to be Black Panther. Right? So yeah, yeah, but it won't be T'Challa. It won't be T'Challa. It'll, no. it'll be someone else, probably Shuri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Yeah, Black yeah, Panther. Yeah, I think will this commenter is saying, "Don't T'Challa is Black Panther. It has to be T'Challa." In which case, we're I disagree with the commenter. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think you could. I think you could have it be someone else. Miles Morales can be Spider Man. Peter Parker can be Spider Man. Um, I, I Black think Panther we is. Much hold this for everything. Black Panther is more of a mantle than most of the ones we've talked about too. It's like in universe yeah, is yeah. the mantle of the warrior that protects Wakanda. So. Spider-Man is like something that Peter made, one so you can at least argue that, but like, Black Panther existed well before T'Challa did, in narrative. Yeah. So, of course you it's can have more, more than one Black Panther. That. Yeah, I think that this is, the, the, I think the way they do it is the most respectful way to do it. It makes most sense in universe and out of Yeah, he's know, probably, universe, it, they're it probably going to give him a funeral yeah. in the film, you know? I'm sure they would. I think everyone, that's what everyone said that um, TLJ should have opened on was Han's funeral. And we should have Probably gotten loads of insight guy. into how everyone felt about Han's death, basically. Because TFA didn't give it to us, but then the other films don't either. Because <laughs> they're just shit. Yeah. Miles isn't Spider-Man, though. I just don't know what, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with it. I, <laughs> he has spider yeah. powers. He's Spider-Man. I mean, shit, man. What does it mean to be Spider-Man if you go Peter Parker? It's like, what? what? That's just Peter Parker. That's Peter Parker. I'm yeah. just thinking That's about Peter Parker is Peter Parker. I'm thinking about like a like it's, let's say Raimi Spider-Man three was actually amazing, right? And everyone loved Raimi it. And we all was all three of them actually the whole trilogy fucking incredible, and it's the best trilogy of all time. Everyone agrees. Okay, let me do another trilogy, and like in the fifth film, Miles Morales is is, is introduced, and it's just this kid that Tobey Maguire takes under his wing for whatever narrative reasons. 
And then, you know, the sixth film, they the fifth film, he meets him, and uh, by the sixth film, he's actually, like, working with him, and he, maybe he helps Toby uh, in the end of the sixth film before he dies. Like, really, it gets real serious. And they're expanding, like, we, we have the MCU, but it happened from the Raimi films. Um, and then, like, the eighth Spider-Man movie, Toby's like, I ain't fucking playing Spider-Man no more, this is ridiculous. And they're like, okay, so what if we do a storyline where you do die, and you pass the mantle over to this guy you've had with you for, like, several movies, who has fought with you, and doesn't want Spider-Man as a, in-universe, as, as an icon to go, it wants, it wants to stay, similarly to how we do a lot of stuff. I don't know that- would people really be like, no, he is not Spider-Man? It's like, why are, why are we doing I this? Stop. It. Why Why would you do that? Yeah. It's really wonderful. You know, like how- this is a weird example because there's so many variables, but you know, like, Anthony Hopkins passes down the mask of Zorro to Antonio Banderas. It's like, why wouldn't you want that to yeah. be true? Why wouldn't of you course, want that? Of course, yeah, Antonio Banderas is Zorro, but so was uh, Anthony Hopkins. They were both Zorro. No. Yeah. Miles isn't the Spider-Man, but he is. If you want to get into the nitty-gritty is... of who's the real Zorro, like, I don't even really care. I'm... Well, so when we get to those kind of categories, where it's like, who's the original? I'd be like, yeah, you can call him the original one well, yeah, if you want. Original, one? Yeah. yeah, the original, yeah. That's fine. But the original Flash is not Barry Allen, but a lot of people, Barry Allen is Flash, the one that they're aware of, and Wally West, too. It just comes across as super duper arbitrary and only based yeah, off right. of how what they've attached themselves to emotionally. Yeah. Pretty much. Which I can understand, but I can't agree with. Look at, look at, mm -hmm. I don't mean to single you out, person who said this. Nope, Sony never would have given up the rights, and Spider-Man 3 never would have been great, the MCU never would have had Spider-Man in that. <laughs> so, let me explain what a hypothetical oh, is. Man! It means that <laughs> even if it wouldn't have gone that way in our world, even with pushes and tweaks and stuff, it doesn't actually matter. I assume Fringing Rags got the point I was making. It was, if you got endeared yeah. to this character through great storytelling and the one that you respected character-wise, and they earned the passing down of this mantle, would you still be like, I ain't calling this guy Spider-Man. Fuck that. Oh, or is it because man. you just hate the writing in general? Which, by the way, I think that's fine. It's just, it can come across as really it's petty when you say do. it's impossible for that to be the case. For example, I'm not comfortable calling Falcon Captain America. I don't think he's earned it. <laughs> um, but they could have written it so that he totally had done. But like the guy was given yeah, one of the he was given like one of the greatest suits of all time after doing several things I think was heinous, and then he's just like on his little pedestal like I'm Captain America, bitch. It's just like, yeah, okay, you say so. Um, but that has nothing to do with who the original Cap is. Because remember when it, it, I think he said that like we could we could never call Bucky Captain America even in the comics he's not Captain America mm. and it's just like man <laughs> I don't like this world <laughs> I don't like it I'm, either I'm glad that I'm not tethered to these fucking comics I don't well I think that this we meme repository is an example of someone who's read the shit out of They're them different but yeah <clears throat> doesn't doesn't hold this particular view. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think it's. Um, I think we're getting a little confused because we've had such bad writing that now we're appealing to arguments that don't actually really make sense. If all of the stories that have been coming out lately were fucking top dog stellar, just amazing. By the way, Into the Spider Verse was really well written. Really um, good. It was. It was it pretty feels, darn good. Feels weird that that story is literally a Spider Man passing the mantle on to someone else who has similar powers, specifically because doing the right thing is more important than fucking. Like, do you have to be Peter Parker to be able to do that? You know, oh, it's so weird because that's how I understand Spider-Man. It's, it's supposed to be a Anybody story. Anybody can be Spider-Man. <clears throat> yeah, because the important part is doing what you can to help people. Like, that's exactly. pretty awesome. I guess I'll never quite get it. Uh, would you guys ever consider doing face reveals eventually, or is that completely off the table? Nah. I don't know that I have any reason. It's not a face reveal anyway. My face isn't, like, hidden or anything on the internet, but, um... Because I wonder about that in, like, a fan meetup, if that was to ever happen someday. Just like That would be, like, the only way I would be comfortable, like, just putting it out there. Because I, I like the... I like what we've got in terms of the icons and the memes and the imagery. I like it in terms of branding. Um, I really, I, I enjoy yeah, like that we, kind of aspect. 
to it. I like it's the fun. idea that people think when they think of Rags talking, they see a dog. When they think of me talking, yeah. it's yeah. like the yeah. tall <laughs> tentacle thing. <laughs> like it, it, it's fun. And same for Fringy. Yeah, as well. and I kind of, in a way, I don't want to see what people really look like, especially if they have characters. I like to have the character be kind of them. I think it's just interesting and fun, and yeah. um, it kind of separates any potential maybe bias I might have. Unless they just have a really shitty avatar that I'm like, fuck me, why did you choose that? <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm joking around at this point, but um, yeah, I I it just I I, I kind of like the whole icon. I, I like our our gig. It's cool. Yeah. Also, I guess my brain just like sent me another message, and I was like, okay, yeah. Uh, going back to the honor Chad and continue the story. What if Chad's perspective on this was he wants someone another character to take the role of Black Panther, not to recast him? Which I'm almost certain that would be his perspective. Probably would have been his perspective, yeah. I imagine that would be most actors' perspective. Carry on, carry it on. Here's the torch. Go. Mm -hmm. uh, also, hi everyone and Rags too. I love you guys. Hello to you, Hello everyone you. and Rags. Yeah. All right, there you go. Uh, Peepo grows, Majora's Mask Moon Rumble intensifies. I mean, yeah, pe Peepo's... Peepo's when Peepo grows, he's just trying to protect the viewers in EFAP. <laughs> his goal. Um, Rags, wake up! Oh, why, why, <laughs> why, were, why were people sending that? <laughs> I guess you were sleepy. I don't know. It, well, was this during the, our debate? Because if that's the case, I was quiet for the vast majority of it. Uh, possibly, so yeah. That was that, that might be why you guys were... You know, it was already... There was enough people talking. I only, I only interjected a couple times. I think I was the same. It was mainly Clipcoin and uh, was it Jay and Fringy? Yeah, those. I think, I think so. those were the three main players. Uh, uh, everyone who left, the weak should fear the strong. Very well. Uh, just put on someone's video and leave your chairs for the next thirty minutes. Let's see, that's theoretically what we could do with ourselves. Like, if we wanted um, a fifty-hour EFAP or something stupid, it would be like we put on a pre-record. 11 hour EFAP and leave our cheers to let us take the content forward. Genius, really. Um, just put on someone's video. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, what's the fair use implications of reading those? That's actually a fair question. I haven't even thought about that. Hmm. Say guess, that, wait, say that one more time. So, what are the fair use implications of the fact that he's, he's reading full Chuck Tingle stories, you know? Um,. Because they're done for memes and like hilarity and stupidity, as well as I wouldn't say they're really made for money. You know, like they use the, they're pretty grotesque. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> grotesque. I I feel like we we if anything our viewership isn't exactly increased when we read them. <laughs> but, um, um, it's an interesting thought. Uh. I wonder if if Chuck Tingle found out and wanted us to stop. I guess that would be fair. Uh, I don't know that. It, yeah. I imagine that if people wanted to buy them, it's good promotion. I don't know. It, it, it's, it's something I've not really thought about. It's probably a fair point. But you do have the fact that it's voice acting that's all Vox's productions. Um. But yeah, you know, uh, there's there's a lot of stuff like that that I wonder about, like the. Uh, the comics that get read on YouTube, um, that are basically read out in full. It's like, hmm, and they even show the imagery as well. Yeah. Like, I think, like, you hmm. see, what, what Jay Longbone does and what we do, that's absolutely transformative. Oh, yeah. A she, lot of work goes into it. Like, that is, so, she puts a crap load of work into making those what she does. Um, so, something to consider. Something to consider. I think someone on Reddit told him about it, if I remember correctly, he was pleased it gave people joy. He seems <laughs> like, that seems like, he seems the type. I would, would be surprised with the reading, yeah. Um, that poor doggo couldn't handle the porn, rip rags. Oh, hi again, rags. Oh, it was during the, it was during the reading. Oh uh, yeah, like I muted for the reading, you know, and yeah. I think, I think was, a couple I people did, yeah. I at the time, yeah. Thank you all for the content. Congrats on another year. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. 
Yeah, thank you. Um, what is this fringu? Can I put it on nuggies? Um, I don't know yet. I, yeah. You haven't even tried it on nuggies yet? All right. I'm sorry, I'm That'd preoccupied. I'm trying to then. figure out the correct complexion for the zombie. Nuggy flavor? Wrinkly. No, not like <laughs> that. Just, you know, it needs to be like kind of a more grayish green, I think. Yeah, that's looking better. It's, it's coming together. Mm. Uh, well, this was a fun ride. Stay long, Muller. Buy rags and fringy. Fringy, you're right Good sometimes. Time. Oh, thanks. I yeah, appreciate kind of it. Nice thing anyone's ever told me. <laughs> oh my god, you can punch each other in this game, too. That seems fucked. Nice. I don't like this violence, man. It's just too much. I can't handle it. Now, go commit sleep. Soon. Soon, my child. Um, thank you so much for a great year, and I hope there are more to come. Well, we're already a big chunk into this one. It was August we did all of the... all the things. And look how far we are now. It's a whole extra more than a month. Um, congratulations, congratulations, live long, talk long, be long. Yeah, right, thanks. Well, yeah, we will. <laughs> uh, be done. Have some more money, why not? Sleep well, everybody. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. This just Absolutely. says gay, and then in brackets, again. It's just, it's just so again. much gay, you know? It definitely, yeah, it's another gay. Uh, sleep is for non-long mans. Also, lick J, please. If you if you oh want to go goodness. ahead and lick J, go right ahead. I think there are methods in which... You're one of them there, and they're J lickers. Mm. You know what? You guys are all right. Sleep tight, you massives. Hi, Rags. Thank you. Hello to you. I think we're all right. Yeah. 5 a.m. in Australia. Sympathies to Fring and Meme. <laughs> yeah. That was a yeah. you, you went straight to sleep sort of thing, right? I think everyone tried I, to. <laughs> more so, I, I mean, it's been said many times. I only got about three hours of sleep before the 24-hour thing, so I was dead, basically. Mm -hmm. I needed sleep. Grats on 150 long, man. It is, it is, you know, the more we go on, it is kind of cool to look back at being like, man, we have stacked up so many just breakdowns of things. Yeah. They're all there. Short man bad. That, that's, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, last super chat of 150. That's what it says. And then this one mm. says, second last super chat of 150. Liar! But the true that so we've got one more from 150 and we've completed it. Um, oh wow! Yes. And the last one is from Spwatha, the Duke of Wellington, and it says Spwatha. it says gay. <laughs> A fitting end. If I, I do like the one. idea that we summarize all of what that was. That whole 150 stream is just that was pretty gay. It's like, yes, it was. Yeah, gay. And with that, I'll catch up on any we've missed from today, and that'll probably be that, All I think. Right. So... Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Okay, we've got a lot of fuck, marry, kills on the way. Hmm. Do, do, do. Alright, there we go. Fuck, marry, kill the three Captain Americas. So, marry Civil War. Getting right in there. Yeah. Uh, right, fuck, fuck the um, first one, kill the second one. Yeah, I think so. There you go. That's <laughs> pretty, pretty easy. Um, yeah, that was actually really easy. My thoughts exactly. Um, that one off simultaneously, okay. Giallo Fringy. Or Giallo. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's like hello <laughs> in a different language? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. G-I-A-L-L-O? -L -L yeah. So that's a that's a type of Italian horror movie. It's a genre, Italian horror movie genre, giallo. Oh, okay. Okay. I learned that from Red Letter Media. Oh, you know what? I should probably know that then. Yeah, probably. Um, what if? Argentina. What if and Loki writers had so few collaborations that they didn't know the term Nexus Point and said Absolute Point, confirmed by the showrunner? Are you serious? 
So how what? Can oh. you, how can you hope to construct a coherent shared universe if you can't even fucking so, talk about these types of things? So like the nexus, the concept of nexus points from Loki, those were referenced in What If, but they were called absolute points. Man, just oh, rip a Rooney. Okay, yeah. MCU in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite debate you've done outside of EFAP? Hmm. We, I don't know how to really do debates. Um. Uh. What do you, sorry, did you just say you don't know how to do debates? No, I, I say I just don't really do debates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, so one I was gonna reference, right? Was it was from like fucking three years ago or something? But me and you versus uh, V and Sargon on transhumanism, I think it was. Oh yeah, yeah. We were playing uh, Killing Floor at the time. We yeah. was it Left 4 Dead? Who came Floor? Because V it was, was there. Floor. So I'm sure he doesn't yes. play Killing Floor. Uh, though, right? I that, that's kind of like my mental anchor a lot of the time for conversations and movies and things is what game I'm playing at the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were playing. We were on the farm level uh, on the first Killing Floor. Yeah. Well, I do remember go. that as a bit of a yeah. Quite a ride. I think we won. Oh well. A really hard position to argue because you basically have to just go with trust me it'll end up bad if we don't kill them <laughs> like all right. it was, yeah, uh, i don't know yeah. how i feel about that yeah uh, i don't feel good interesting nonetheless um but i'm trying to think of any times because it doesn't really happen that often um no it really doesn't um we have little mini ones here but it's almost like so we'll all say our positions and then we'll we'll clarify and then the clarification a lot of the time that's where the issue is and sometimes mm -hmm. we could you know like like the whole favorite condiment thing there was the salt thing is like oh yeah salt is almost in everything but my favorite is honey but if i had to only have one it would be salt and it's like mm -hmm. that's like a it's almost it's not even really a debate that, yeah. though yeah but we have well, like no, things like that all the time yeah we have yeah, yeah stuff like that yeah. happens often yeah, if someone says, like, what's your favorite one of those? It's like, I don't fucking remember. We've had a billion of those, <laughs> like... Both on stream and off. Mm-hmm. Um... If you guys could write an episode of What If, what would it be? Um... Hmm. I always liked the idea of what if uh, Tony didn't become Iron Man. Yeah, Cause, that would uh, be something really cool. We have to look at how all the events yeah, were. Of, yeah. Um, the yeah, that has a lot of huge. trickle down effects. Yeah. Um, let me see. I'm, I'm trying to gun for something a small change that would have altered events in terms of. Like, what if things had been just a little what bit if, different? Well, here's one. What if the Iron Legion protocol like works? Essentially, it created a hyper efficient. Like, or what if um, Ultron worked? Maybe. Yeah, basically. What if the Ultron, Ultron but good? Worked? Essentially. Mm. Yeah. Essentially. What if Ultron yeah. Was yeah, like what if like People what if Ultron was that. Well, what if Ultron was Vision? There was just we got a different vision and it was James Ultron. Beta but Vision. Yeah. And he's like really intelligent and caring and careful and he's an like a he walks around as like a almost like a character and uh you know, when Thanos invades, he commands the the Iron Legion to destroy Thanos. Mm -hmm. And then at that point how much power will the Avengers get? What happens in the that world? Do they start policing the universe, going out and mm. fucking around out there? Feels like we could do a lot with that. I feel like I'd want right. a bunch of time, though. That's the caveat. <laughs> I got one so, of someone time. said they did that. Kill Mongo, save Tony. They didn't come close to doing anything we're talking about. They don't do that. They don't. That's not what we're talking about. No, no. like a, we're talking about like actually interesting explorations of storytelling. Like and stuff. maybe, yeah. Like we just have it be that he didn't blow up there. He just went back to America and continued doing his thing. Not that Killmonger was out there and saved his life. I got one. Go ahead. Did, did what it. if... I think this, this might surprise you, but we're going to go with... This is based on the Captain Marvel film. Oh. No, fuck. That's not a film. That's a movie. So this is going from the Captain Marvel movie, right? Um, what if humanity... What, what if we had a realistic repercussion of all those battleships in space? People saw it. All of the, you mean, like, you mean everyone saw it. Everybody knew it. The debris. It was a thing that was recognized by the entire world. This, which is what would fucking happen, right? The debris comes down to Earth. We we discover alien technology. It confirms that in the oh, universe. Oh right, yeah. How does um, Earth react to that? And plus, this is you know in the 90s. 
So we've got time until the Avenger stuff starts and Phase 1 starts. And this is known. Tony Stark knows about it at this point in time. Um, everyone learns about all of these uh, these things that happen. What does that do? Does it you know, help or hinder or get in the way of? Or does it help us prepare earlier? Or Bit of a it, political it's thriller, maybe. Knowledge that this all happened. I think yeah. I think it's an interesting idea. Mm. And then Captain Marvel fucks off, so we're left with, like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Mr. Mongo Longo. Things like that. <laughs> I think a lot of these what ifs would just be based on what if in the what if it, d it made sense? <laughs> you know, yeah. what if something happened like it should have actually happened? Um. You said that you weren't gonna watch Long Schlong Chi and then ten and the ten cock rings, but then you found out about something that made you watch it. What was that thing? Also, team retards all the artards all the way, right? Oh yeah, because it's Mongos <laughs> versus artards. Um, Mongos versus artards. I can't. If I said there was a particular thing that made me want to see it, I'm not 100 percent sure what that was. All I remember now is that I decided to watch it so that I had strong context to be able to talk about it. Um. Which I think obviously helps out when you uh, are reviewing stuff. But um, I still enjoy the format of having a team of people who know it and then one person who doesn't so that they can be bewildered at every single plot twist. It's amusing. Um, if you don't want to see the new Mario movie, you have boring tastes and I don't want to be your friend. Stay massive, you bundle of sticks. We will. We will. I'm sure Patrick Williams will love Mario. Um, fuck, Mary kill, Minecraft Sweden, Halo theme, Doom BFG, Division. Hmm. I'm not as familiar with the Minecraft soundtrack, so it's not fair. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd probably marry the Halo theme and fuck the Doom I think I would. BFG Division yeah. one. That feels right. <laughs> yeah, does feel right, doesn't it? Uh, my favorite vision of Peter Parker was when he was a science teacher, but I guess that wasn't actually Spider-Man. Fucking, I, I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I'm not as attached to these labels as a lot of people seem to be. I think that what makes you Spider-Man is when you are saving people and you call yourself Spider-Man. Like, it's, it doesn't have to be so specific to Peter Parker, I guess. I don't know. Logic is the perfect example of a character that I don't want to see his face. I think of Logic as the pantyhose face debunker. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Buck, Mary kill, death, life, or that one guy who hangs out by the bus stop around midnight for like 30 minutes not moving from the street light only to walk away. Um, I guess I'll marry life, kill death, and fuck that guy. Sounds reasonable to me. Can you kill death? I assume if the premise of the question, and you can, I assume so. Yeah, they gave me the Does option. Does that mean no one dies anymore? Ooh, maybe, see that. What are the implications of not having death? That's a great what if right there. Yeah. How it'll change everything. Marrying death would be interesting too. So wouldn't that make Sam Captain America? Um, like I said, he kind of... He is, in terms of um, reference, and especially in that world, I just, like I said, I don't think he earned the title. Uh, meanwhile, Miles Morales fucking earned the shit out of being Spider-Man. Absolutely. The implication is not having death, it's called Miracle Day. I was gonna say, there's probably lots of uh, fiction that's gone over, like, what happens to the world when death is no longer a thing. Plot of a Family Guy episode? Yeah. Because Peter has to... I think they did that in Simpsons and in... Um, they did uh, it in the Simpsons family and the Family Guy. Yeah, fam that was Norm MacDonald. He voiced death. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I missed yours and you sent it twice. Well, I'll get it now. Uh, fuck, Mary kill, Hill House ending, Midnight, mi 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 midnight Mass ending, Phase 4. Um... I'll marry the Hill House ending. Yeah, we kind of have to. Ugh. Yeah. I think I'll fuck Midnight Mass and kill Phase 4. Just just stab yeah. Phase 4 to death. The man. amount of content, you know? Yeah. 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 Get rid of it. Destroy it. Throw it into the fire. 
Did you read my original super about the tellies? Yes. It was a Game of Thrones, Song of Ice and Fire stuff. That was about an hour or more ago, though. Um, I just agreed with you, basically. Uh, Rags, remember that socialist re... And then they put a four for the A in retard. So re forward, you debated? No. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, Sorry. Alrighty then, that, that's that's the end. Oh or my at least, goodness at, gracious. At least for today, obviously, because we got... We still have more, but um, I'm yep. glad we've completed the catch-up for episode 150. Yet. That was a that was a was like a milestone. That was Herculean, and it has been completed. Uh, yes. So, and with that completion, thank you all so much. Consider that the Absolutely. end of 150. It's completed now. Uh, last year, me and Rags just recorded like 21 hours of responding to super chats. This time, we did it across four streams. Holy shit. Somehow this makes oh, more exactly? sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that about lines up, I guess. Um, oh, this is gay, but with a J. Good J. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, we'll see you folks all again on Saturday. Who knows what shenanigans we'll be up to. This Friday, though, mm -hmm. you got Resident Evil 1, EFAP Movies. Ooh. It's a good fun. one. They're all, they're all probably really great, honestly. Oh, yes. Um, anything else you guys want to say before we, we run away? No, I'm good. Yeah, I'm all right too. I'm a okay. We got a lot of we got a lot of talking in there, and we covered a bunch of stuff. We knocked out a lot. Yeah, it's beautiful. You might even say. Uh, I would say that. Alrighty then. Well, the next time we see you folks, Spooky Ween will have begun. So, mm. yeah, get excited. Um, 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 um. Okay, thank you all so much for hanging out. Donations, and memes, and stuff. Yeah, goodbye. goodbye, everybody. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.